What's this go to? Is this him? Or, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That was that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, I can't even breathe. I can't even breathe. You guys have been begging for it, and we are finally here. Egg Harbor, New Jersey, at the flagship Spirit Halloween. Holy crap, I cannot believe we're here, guys. Look at this. Look at this. I, I just can't. On my way in, I was so excited because I already saw the Spirit Halloween truck. And I'm even more excited because I can hear these flags blowing in the wind. Holy crap, guys. There it is. Oh! And what gets me even more excited, guys, for my retail aficionados, this is an old Circuit City. What the heck? Who remembers the old Circuit City commercials where that is a plug and it comes out of the sky and plugs into the ground? Integrate your circuit at the city. Circuit City. All right, I'm just, I'm too excited. I can't stand it. I have to go in. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, here we go, guys. I'm so excited. I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> Holy crap, look at it right there. That gets me even more excited. Here we go, the official first Spirit Halloween of the 2021 season. And who is waiting front and center but Mr. Howell. Look at this guy, holy crap, guys. He's absolutely huge, and there's a small child who just turned him on. Oh my lord, look how huge he is. He's so enormous. Mr. Howell. And I promised a special someone, William Gaming, that I would shout him out the first time I saw Mr. Howell. So here you go, buddy, Mr. Howell. Here he goes. He's gonna do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it so much. He's so enormous. Okay, before we move on, let's just take a second here to appreciate this year's setup. Look at this. Spirit Halloween Factory. Totally awesome. We got chains hanging from it, animatronics all around, and I see swinging chains of death. We have to go through. We have to go through. Here we go. The swinging chains of death. Oh my gosh, what in the world is making noises? All right, let's go back through here a second. We got, listen, listen. <laughs> we got broken windows here. We got strobe lights. And when you walk through, it makes screaming noises, scary screaming noises. Okay, let's look at this guy. I don't want to just ignore him, but I don't like him. He's a little bit too evil and creepy for me. His name is Barfamet. Barfamet, I don't love you. Here we go. Okay, enough of that guy. I don't like him. He's a little bit too uh, evil for me but I do see two peeking peerers, and I've already walked through here, so I know that they don't just jump at you. So let's do this one first. It's the Huntress. Okay, come on. Come on, Huntress, here we go. No sounds. I'm disappointed in you, Huntress. You didn't scream at me. But speaking of scream, we have Ghost Face right here. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Come on, ghost face with that. <laughs> I hate it when they just hang back and they don't jump out immediately. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, look at this, guys. We've got Beetlejuice. Holy crap, he's so huge. Look at this, he's on a tombstone. Okay, that's cool. Hello, Mr. Juice. All right, shaking hands with the dead. All right, let's do it. Oh, the charm. Yes. It's so loud in here, you can't hear him very well. But he looks pretty awesome. Okay, Mr. Juice, we're gonna leave you alone now and move on. All right, who do we got over here? Oh, we got Henry Hustle, guys. Look at this. This I, I love this guy. Okay, let's see him in person. Wait, look at his cards. His cards are so awesome. All right, let's do it. I can't wait. Come on, Henry. Remember this card. It'll be the last I think he jumps at us. Or it's, oh! <laughs> okay. Look, look at the eyes. All right, Henry. We got to get you popping back out here. Hold on. We got to pop him off. Come on, Henry. Pop off for us. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Look at that face. I love that face. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about him when I saw him online, but he's actually pretty awesome. I love his outfit. Pretty cool. Reminds me of playing blackjack. Holy crap, guys. Okay, we got tons of them over here still, but look behind me right here. Killer clowns from outer space. Sam and Shorty. Look at this. Holy crap. Shorty is actually a lot bigger than I expected him to be. There's Sam. He's obviously not from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, but he's cool. All right, let's do him first. Come on, Sam. Here we go. Okay, there's Sam. I love how they have the, the lights like strobing back here. All right, let's do Shorty. Look, he's got his boxing gloves on and his blue shoes. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to say it, guys, because those are blue shoes. All right, what are those? Okay, <laughs> we got to reserve that for Johnny Punk, though. Okay, here we go. What in the world? I like him a lot more than I thought I would. He's pretty big. I think he's... He's at least four feet tall. I love this guy. His head is absolutely huge. Look. Okay, let's move back over to here and finish some of these. Look, we got Punctured Pete. He's He was out here last year. Look at this guy. He's already going. Harriet Hustle. Holy crap, I don't even think I saw her. All right, let's do it. Harriet Hustle, what are you gonna do? Come on, here you go. What's gonna happen here? Is that all? You're going to swing with a blade in your mouth? Okay, I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. If you hang Harriet Hustle right next to Henry Hustle, I guess it's pretty cool, but I was kind of hoping that she would like flip her head back and scare me or something. Buzzsaw. I love this guy. He's so absolutely enormous. And I have been looking forward to seeing the buzzsaw spin. So let's get this going here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, look at it. Aw, oh, it's ended. All right, let's get him going again. Hold on. All right, buzzsaw. Show me what you got. Here we go. Hammer talking. Spin your buzzsaw. Here we go. I love that. I love the spinning buzzsaw. It doesn't spin long enough, though. Pretty cool, though. Oh, look, we can't miss the jumping spider. All right. No, oh, there he goes. <laughs> I love his glowing eyes. Hello, Mr. Spidey. We'll see you again soon and your brown and red brothers. Look what we got here. Nightcrawler. All right, let's do it. Come on, nighty. Nighty night. Here we go. Nightcrawler is actually one of my favorites because look how creepy he is. Look at how his legs are bent the opposite direction. All right, Nightcrawler, we're moving on. This is one I was really excited to see because this guy is an animatronic, but all of his pieces parts are built into that skinniness of him. Let's see how it goes, Grandma. Oh, look, he reaches for us. All right, that's cool. I was hoping he did more than just talk. The night is young and I'm ready to party. <laughs> you gotta take off your hat and clock out first, sir. That's actually pretty cool. We got to hear what he could say that time because the music wasn't on. But I, do, I like him. Grim. I think he's about six and a half feet tall. I don't think he's quite seven feet. But oh my gosh, look at this. We got a pumpkin factory going on in the background here. How did I miss this? Pumpkin Carvomatic. Look at this. Pumpkin's coming this way. 
they go on the conveyor belt and they get carved inside there. That is so cool. I love that so much. <laughs> that is so awesome. And then they have uh, Grimm's working the pumpkin line. That's hilarious. Look at this. I love that setup. That is so cool. I love it so much. Let's see if there's something over here. Okay, I kind of expected another jumping spider here, but there's not. So, holy crap, guys. Look who we have here. It is Mr. Dark. I have not watched any videos or anything about this guy yet. It looks like he's absolutely huge, and I would guess he's going to jump high. At least I hope so. All right, let's see. What's this go to? Is this him? All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That was that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was going to jump so high. That was awesome. We got to do that again. Look at his face, man. You, sir, just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, guys. Mr. Dark is definitely my favorite so far. Look, my eyes are watering. That was so cool. All right. Now that I caught my breath, we have to do it again. All right. Here we go. Here we go, Mr. Dark. Come on. Look at that. I cannot believe how enormous he is. And he's so scary. Oh, he is my favorite. Definitely my favorite. So uh, these other ones are definitely going to have to do something totally special to win me over after that. Holy crap. That was so awesome. I don't even want to leave this spot. I just want to stand here and keep him jumping all day long. All right. Let's keep moving here. Holy crap. These guys better be good after that. All right. Look. Holy crap. This is the caretaker. Okay. I got to get a good look at him because I don't know what's up with like these knobby knee looking things here. It's a ball. I don't know what the deal is with that, but let's see what he does. All right, come on. Take a good look at my face. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm looking. Thing you ever see right before I seal your coffin for your eternal slumber. Sweet dream. All right, see, I was half expecting that he would, like, stand up or something, but he's not going to. He is awesome, though. Okay, wait, let's look at the background here, because we got the spirit shop going on in the background, the warehouse. Look at this. That's hilarious. He just drove by and he dumped stuff. What the heck? Okay, I don't know if it was supposed to do that. Ooh! <laughs> I love this setup this year. All right, let's move on. So over here, we have the Night Stalker. I love Scarecrow stuff. <laughs> that is awesome. I love the classic Halloween stuff. Listen to him. It just gets more and more extreme as he goes. This factory has worked zero days without an injury. Okay, we got a jumping spider over here. All right, we got the Harvester of Souls. Let's see if he's got... Oh, it does look like he's got the fog going. Here we go. That is one of the most awesome props they've ever put out right there. I lo look, the fog is still being sucked in. Crap, I'm still trying to catch my breath after being scared by Mr. Dark, man. That He definitely is my favorite so far. Okay, guys, here we go. It's the Wacky Mole. Look, he has green shoes, too. Holy crap. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Wait, look, there must be a black light. Okay, this is a black light because he's glowing. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but he's glowing awesome. All right, let's do it. Come on, Mr. Wacky. Step right up, boys and girls. Who's next to get walloped by my hammer? <laughs> I'll be the first on your block to say, Wacky Mole, club me over the head. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he has like candy corn teeth. Okay, Wacky Mole, you're pretty cool. We're going to move on. 
Okay, so what do we got here? We got Ophelia, which, oh sweet, we got Evelyn Leach too. Look at these, that's the one I really wanted to see. Cause she's holding a head. Okay, we're gonna check out Ophelia first though. Here we go, I have no clue what she does. Okay. Your waking nightmare is just beginning. All right, that's kind of weird. Your terror only makes me stronger. That is a very strange prop. All she does is stand here like frozen stiff because she's so scared and her eyes go back and forth. Look. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'll be right there with you. You can escape. That is so awkward. Okay, miss, I'll leave you alone with your ghost. Okay, Evelyn Leach, let's see what she does. Ooh, okay. We see you. And we hear you. Is she like sad because somebody else cut her husband's head off? Or what's the scoop? She just cries and shows us her husband's head. What the heck? One more time. She's like, look, they cut off his head. Okay. These are definitely two of the most awkward props I have ever seen. Okay, we have lots of props in boxes right here and there, and there's a pretty cool kid back there. These are all the props that you own? Yeah. Oh my god. 2017. All right, cool. Thank you. How's that? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. That's so nice of you. Okay, I don't see any other animatronics that are set up. So let's look at the ones that they have in the boxes. We got Man's Possessed Friend, Bubba. Two of those here. Let's see what's over here. Animated Doll Greeter. Okay, oh, we get to try her, okay. Is she gonna work? Nope, she's not working. Okay, Fogging Phantom, this is cool. I don't recall seeing this in any of the stores before. I don't know if this is a new one for this year. Let's look. I'm not sure, I don't see a year on that. But that is pretty awesome anyway. Oh look, we got the sewer varmint. And this one looks awesome. Headless Jack, what the heck, seven feet tall, or it can be extended to nine feet tall. I just gotta see how big his head, holy crap. Look how big his head is. Oh my gosh. I can't even keep the box open, I'm so excited. Look, <laughs> look how big his head is. That's absolutely enormous. Let's find his face. Oh my gosh. I want it. I want it so bad. Holy crap, if I didn't live in an RV, I would buy that right now. Okay, and then over here we got a Harvester of Souls, and we got another Harvester of Souls over here. All right, let's see what we got over here, and holy crap, guys, there he is. Johnny Punk. All right, you guys gotta do it with me. What are those? I am actually tempted to buy Johnny Punk. I mean, I know I just said if I didn't live in an RV, I would buy that other one. But man, I don't know, Johnny Punk and what are those? All right, we got another Headless Jack here. We got a Fogging Skull Pile. We have more animated doll greeters. Let's see if one of these work. Okay, come on now. Hmm, okay, maybe there's like a little Thing, a tab you had to pull or something, but I'm not gonna mess with it. And we also have the 36 inch animated Reaper greeter, which is, where's his face? Oh, his face is up in there, okay. Try me, but all it is is a hole. I'm trying! We got Sitting Scarecrow over here. Actually, there's two of them, $99. Pretty cool, that's on sale. Oh, hello, Mr. Chicken. What do you think about Spirit Halloween this year? <coughs> yes? Okay, uh-huh. All right, yeah. But could you just like close your mouth when you're not talking, please? Okay, let's look at some of these masks here, guys. Oh, here's Michael Myers. Halloween Kills comes out this year, but I don't think they have a new mask for this year. Um, unless it's just not out yet. What? Look at this, Iron Maiden masks. This is honestly one of the best looking masks I've ever seen. I mean, 
<laughs> I don't really like Iron Maiden, but as far as like the art goes of that mask, that is pretty dang good. Ooh, we got Ghostface. Scream 5 comes out pretty soon. Here's Pennywise. There's usually several different Pennywise masks. Look, Raggedy Ann, what the heck? Although it's just called Vintage Ragdoll Mask, but that's totally Raggedy Ann. I always love the vintage masks, that style. Because this is the kind of stuff they sold when I was a kid. Only it was like the cheapest plastic you've ever seen in your life. We'd always step on them and just totally smash them. Okay, let's look at some of the inflatables here. We got a five foot inflatable gargoyle. The haunted tree, you guys know I love the spooky trees. We got an inflatable light up ghost, a skeleton, a wolfman. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I've seen that one before. Light up Frankenstein, a giant skull. Look at this, a huge inflatable light up eye. What the heck? And an inflatable reaper. He's eight feet tall. Man, is it getting loud in this store. Okay, let's look at these dolls. Look, we gotta try me. Where do you try it? I can't figure out where to squeeze the doll and I feel kind of weird. Okay, we're moving on to the eerie Emma haunted doll. How do you try them? I don't know where to, I'm not gonna squeeze dolls anymore, that's it. Okay, we have the creepy zombie babies. I love this guy so much. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this a two-headed cat? It's like a two-headed skinless cat or something. What in the heck? Stitched up pup, it's called. I think it's a dog and a cat. That is creepy. Oh my gosh, we have a baby zombie papoose. <laughs> I've never seen this one before. That is hilarious. Look at that. Swaddled up like a burrito. From now on, your name is Burrito Baby. And we got the bug eater over here, only it's a different bug eater. This looks like it's a a girl bug eater, I guess. I haven't seen this one before either. We have the crawling zombie baby and the two-headed double baby. We got hanging phantom ghost. Not working. Oh, there we go. Look at this. That's pretty cool. We got a shaking reaper. Oh, yeah. It's party time! <laughs> okay, we got anguished Annie here. <laughs> it's hard to make out what she's saying because the music's so loud. I have no idea. Oh, this is cool. We got a couple of vintage ones here. Let's check out uh, the hanging vintage monster, they call it. Oh, crap. Come on. The vintage hanging devil. He just lights up. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's all they do. Their eyes just light up, but they're pretty cool looking. And we got a mummy over here, okay? Oh, yeah. Shaking mummy. Look at this skull with horns. What the heck? It's hollow. Okay guys, I have given out so many stickers in here today. I still have a little handful left that I can hide somewhere, but we gotta figure out where we're gonna hide them. Charlie had a bucket to put them in, so we gotta find somebody that's got something we can put them in. But where would it be? Hmm. Here's this guy, and he is definitely my favorite of this entire tour. So I would love to hide him somewhere around him. Wait a minute. I didn't do this one. Hold on. Oh! Holy crap, I didn't even know what that was. What is that? Experiment number four? <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't even know how I missed that one, but that was pretty cool. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. What I think is this guy is so awesome. And I'm assuming the setup for him is going to be about the same in every store. But in this one particularly, we're going to put them in this box right here. Okay, what we're going to do, since this is the first spirit of the season and this is the flagship store, I have 50 of these stickers that I was hiding last year in Charlie's Buckets. We're going to put them in here. And then I have 50 of the new design. This is the new design for this year. Guys, look, I'm carving a pumpkin. We're gonna also put those in here. So if you guys come in here to get stickers, make sure you only take a couple, leave plenty for other people. And a lot of people have been asking for them, guys. So if you happen to not get them, I'll put a link below where you can get some. Okay, Mr. Dark, you protect the stickers. And here we go one more time. There he is. He is definitely my favorite this year so far. I love him so much. 
and every store that I go into this season, as long as they have him, I'll try to put the sticker somewhere around him. Okay, so here's a ghost face costume with a light up face. I highly doubt his face lights up in Scream 5, but we just don't know that yet. But somebody was asking me to see if they had these ghost face costumes. So they do, and they even have the gloves, and they even have socks. And here's one of my all-time favorites, Nightmare on Elm Street. And I've said this last year, too. This mask here, the Nightmare 4 mask, is one of the best-looking retail Freddy masks I've ever seen. That looks so good. Right behind it, there's a deluxe mask, and that one doesn't even look as good as this one. I love this one. And then they have a couple different kinds of gloves you can choose from. Like, just depends on how much money you want to spend. This is the major one right here. And then it goes a little bit cheaper. And then this one costs the least out of them all. And this one has, like, those soft, kind of pliable uh, knives on it. They've got Freddy's sweater, although they only have one of them out right now. I would assume they're going to get more. And look, they have Freddy's fedora, too. Oh, these are sweet, these Friday the 13th socks. These are so cool. I love the colors in there. The orange, very Halloween-y. And down here we have Friday the 13th Jason masks. And here's one that comes with the machete. Oh, look, we have a Beetlejuice mask that I believe is new for this year. This is a full head mask here. And this one's just the face. Here we got some Chucky masks over here. I think they have the new Chucky show coming out on TV this year. Good guy's sweater and a Play Pals Toys hat. And then they got their shirts here. Look, this is one of my favorites right here. Let's sacrifice Toby. <laughs> Let's summon demons. Caring for your demon cat. Adopt a familiar black magic animal rescue. Bloody Mary, oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at this one. My first knife fight. I like this one up here, Creep Show. And then H is for Halloween with Michael Myers there. We got the Ghostbusters costumes here. And I think the new Ghostbusters movie is coming out this year, if I'm not mistaken. That actually looks really good. They got the suits for chicks and for dudes. Inflatable stay puffed suit. Ghostbuster gloves, belt, the PKE meter, proton pack. That's pretty cool. And look at this, Slimer socks. There's one mask I haven't seen yet, and that's Leatherface. I gotta see one before I go, though, because I'm wearing my Leatherface shirt. And I think this is the only other section with masks. Huh. That's really weird for them to not have a Leatherface mask. I'm sure they do, and I just missed it. Oh, but look, they do have the Toon Squad costumes this year because the new Space Jam movie came out. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this, holy crap. Inflatable balloon animal, that is absolutely hilarious. Look, and it's shiny too, it's not just like a dull red, it's a shiny inflatable balloon animal. Here's some more ghost face costumes in the kids' costumes. Oh, this is a chrome one. Oh, you can't really see it, but it's a silver mask in there. And this is the kind that bleeds. You have like a, let's see, okay, yeah, it's a heart. You have a heart that you squeeze and it puts blood all throughout the mask when you're wearing it. Oh, look, they have the Pennywise side steppers. Look at this. If he was out of the box, he'd be going. Oh, look at this Freddy mug. This is totally sweet. I love Freddy. This is so cool. The whole thing is like Freddy's burned head, his face. And these fleece throws are awesome for movie nights. Look, we got The Shining, uh, The Exorcist. That I used to like that movie, but it's a little bit too evil for me. We got Freddy, Halloween, Michael Myers, Sam from Trick or Treat, The Gremlins, Annabelle, another Halloween, Friday the 13th over here, Krampus, Chucky, another Trick or Treat. And we've got, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, ghost face. All right, I, I'm buying this. I'm totally buying this. I love ghost face so much. I cannot wait for the new Scream movie to come out. All right, that's mine. We got It, we got Friday the 13th, we got another Pennywise, and we got another Pennywise. I am so excited about this. This is so cool, guys. Okay, so look at this. They have all this Beetlejuice stuff here, which they have Beetlejuice throws up here. 
And look at this over here. They have the handbook for the recently deceased. That is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just going to have to have a total spooky movie night because I want to watch so many movies now since I've been in here. Beetlejuice Monopoly. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I almost missed these. Look, we got a sandworm greeter. It's like a candy bowl. And this is a nine foot inflatable sandworm. That is so awesome. I'm thinking they had one of these at like a Home Depot last year or something, but I think it might even have been bigger than that. But that is sweet. Okay guys, that is it for the New Jersey flagship store of Spirit Halloween. Guys, that was totally awesome. There's plenty of stuff I didn't get to film in there because in some areas the music was just so loud that you couldn't even hear me talk. So um, yeah, that was just a quick look at it though. I'm so excited that Spirits are opening. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and you may just see me in your Spirit Halloween this year. That hairdo, what in the heck kind of Laverne and Shirley hairdo is that? All right, guys, the other day I posted my Spirit Halloween flagship walkthrough, and so many people mentioned that I missed the Pennywise prop, so I am back at the Spirit Halloween, and we are gonna go see that prop. Here we go, back into the Spirit Halloween, so we can see the one prop that we missed when I was in here, and that is Pennywise. But first, let's just take a look around. Look at this place, guys. Isn't it totally awesome? You gotta love it. All right, guys, once again, we're just gonna take a really quick look at these as we pass through. We're not even gonna turn them on. But there is Mr. Howell. There is Barfamet. We got uh, the Hauntress here, which we're going to have to make pop out. Hello, Hauntress, who won't yell at me. And then we got Scream Ghostface right here. Come on now. Come on, Ghostface. Oh, okay. <laughs> he always takes his time jumping out. With that one in mind, I'm actually buying this today. This is a Chrome Edition Ghostface. This is a hard to find ghost face mask right here. We got Beetlejuice right here. We're gonna go through the chains of death. It's usually the chains of love. We've got Henry Hustle. We've got Harriet Hustle. We've got Punctured Pete who never shuts up and Buzzsaw. We've got the jumping spider. I can't ignore him. There he goes. Hello, mister. All right, let's keep on moving here. We got the night crawler. We got Mr. Graham. We got the pumpkin carving factory behind him. And here is the Pennywise sewer grate, which I somehow totally missed the other day. I have no idea how I missed this. I think I was just so excited about seeing the pumpkin factory. So, all right, let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. All right, he's talking. But, okay, come on now. I hear him, I think. Go! Oh. <laughs> There he is. Look at that hairdo. What in the heck kind of Laverne and Shirley hairdo is that? Like none of the Pennywise hairdos ever look the same. Let's do it again. All right, come on. Come on, Laverne and Shirley. There he is. <laughs> I do love the face. Look at those teeth and the yellow eyes, Scott Farkas eyes. All right, guys, and while we're here, let's go on back here and look at the uh, Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. Mr. Dark is gone, totally gone. Somebody must have bought him or maybe it broke or something, but somebody asked how much he was. He was 250 bucks and he is gone now. He's a hard one to find. Let's just take a look in here and look at this. There are actually a couple stickers left for some lucky people. Mr. No-Headed Skeleton. Oh, I see, that's where you put your head through that hole right there and make it look like it's your head on top of the skeleton body. All right, give a quick one to the Night Stalker here. Come on, mister. <laughs> Listen to how he gets even more crazy as it goes. <laughs> All right, we got Caretaker here. 
We got another jumping spider. We got the harvester of souls. Let's just get them all going. Come on, mister. There we go. Get them all going and see how chaotic it is in here. <laughs> all right, we're gonna pay Wacky Mole a visit here for a second. I can't get him to go. Come on, there he goes. Oh my gosh, listen to how loud and crazy it is in here right now. Holy crap, I better get out of here before they actually do kill me. We've got the awkward Ophelia and Evelyn Leach, who I still don't understand, crying because her husband's head has been cut off. And while he's still here, I just can't ignore him. Here's Johnny Punk with his water nose. One last look at the Spirit Halloween before I leave. If you want to see the entire video of this whole store, the tour, all the animatronics and everything, go back through my videos and I'll link it below. Holy crap, guys, it is Friday the 13th, and I could not resist coming back one more time to the Spirit Halloween in New Jersey so that we can see all the Friday the 13th stuff they have. Okay, guys, here we go. We are going to scour this place and find everything that has to do with Friday the 13th. I am pretty sure they have a Friday the 13th shirt. Okay, okay, yeah, here we go. I wish it was Friday. Well, you're in luck, Jason. And look, they have four of them in stock right here, guys, if you want to get down here and get them. And look how quickly even just the t-shirts are selling out, guys. I don't get why the other spirits are not open yet. They are leaving a lot of money on the table. But anyways, okay, that looks like it's the only Friday the 13th shirt they have. So let's move on down this way. Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees, where are you? Okay, I don't see anything in this aisle here or that one. I don't see anything in this aisle. We're right there, uh, here, or here. Wait, let me just look right up here. There's Pennywise. Uh, a little bit of Hocus Pocus going on here. We got Chucky here, and we got Friday the 13th, guys. Holy crap. This is just the beginning. Wait, let's start over here with just the basic hockey mask. And if you want this, it's $6.99, and you could customize this to make it look like a sweet old beat up Jason mask. Down here, they even have just the basic machete. Let's see how much this is here. $12.99 for the basic machete. So for 20 bucks, you could have yourself a Jason costume. I actually might just have to get one of these myself to customize it just because that sounds like such a fun thing to do. We've got the Friday the 13th Socks Camp Crystal Lake Counselor. Ooh, and this is a little bit different back here, Camp Crystal Lake. Then we've got these awesome ones that I love so much with Jason's face right on them. And look, oh, Jason lives. I love these socks. I really want to get these. <laughs> I could just go nuts getting stuff in here, guys. And then we have one more style of the Jason socks, embroidered Jason mask right there. Uh, what does it say out here? It's Friday the 13th, okay. We've got a Camp Crystal Lake ball cap. Friday the 13th, what is this, like a, a oh, this is a choker, this is like a necklace. Okay, a little Jason mask on there, and the F-13 tag. Then we've got the Jason Hockey Mask jersey right here. That is for a girl, actually. You can tell by the way that's uh, got the woven thing up here. That's pretty cool. And then you've got these right here, which is just like a basic uh, hockey jersey. Voorhees on the back, number 13. This is pretty cool. I love this mask on there. Jason Voorhees woven work shirt. So here's part of the costume. Again, Camp Crystal Lake. And it says J Voorhees. <laughs> That's too funny. That's adult size. It's just the shirt. Ooh, we got a Friday the 13th beanie. This is pretty cool. That's embroidered on there. That's pretty nice. I like the mask on there. Then we've got a prop replica mask here. This one looks really cool. And this is apparently a replica mask from part three. Made by NECA. That is a pretty good looking mask right there. I like that. 
then that's $39.99 for anybody who's wondering. I always forget to tell the prices of this stuff because I get so excited while I'm looking at it. We got the Mask and Machete Dual Pack. That's $24.99. That's a pretty good looking mask there too. It's not like one of those cheap ones that's just going to break real easy. And the machete has got a black blade with blood on it. That's a pretty cool set right there. Oh, look at this. We got the Jason Voorhees dress up here. This is a pretty cool looking outfit for a girl. Look, she's got the mask and the blade and then the Camp Crystal Lake hockey jersey. I like that. This is just the jersey here. Well, okay, they call it a dress because I guess it's a one piece. But uh, that is pretty cool. Okay, it looks like that's it for this section at least. Let's keep looking around though because I think they have more. Okay, so we're going to look in this section here for anything Jason Voorhees, which, um, well, here's a machete. It's just like a basic machete right there if you're just looking to put together a costume. And that is $14.99 just for the regular machete. Okay, and looking over here, let's see. We do have a couple of different masks. Uh, they're glow in the dark. These two look a little bit different. Um, well, I guess the only thing different about them is that this one here is kind of shiny and this one is dull, but they both glow in the dark. So that's pretty cool. Glow in the dark Jason mask. And let's see if there are any other Friday the 13th masks over here in these. I don't see any at the moment, but somebody did tell me that there is a, a new Halloween Michael Myers mask coming out for Halloween Kills. Um, apparently it was out here the first day when they opened and it wasn't supposed to be, so they put them back behind the scenes. If I remember correctly, there was some Friday the 13th stuff over here the other day. Uh, let's just take a look. I know in other stores, other years, they have had the Jason Pathway markers, but I don't see them, at least on this side of the aisle. Um, okay, yeah, I don't see anything over here either. Hello, zombie babies. Oh, somebody bought the burrito, baby. I don't see any Jasons in this aisle either, but let's keep looking, because I'm sure they have more. Okay, let's head over this way. This is the kids' costumes. Um, okay, here we go. We got a little bit of stuff over here. Here's just basic machete. It's smaller than the other ones, though, for a kid. Here's that hockey mask again. And that kind of looks like that might be it. At least, I mean, for the kids section here. So let's keep looking around here. All right, yeah, I don't see any in kids. But up here in the front, there's always things like these little tins, candy tins. And here's a Chucky tin. So I'm sure we're going to find some more things up here that has to do with Friday the 13th or Jason. Here's our Hocus Pocus. Okay, let's see. I know they have mugs over here somewhere. Where in the heck did I see those things? The store is so huge, I don't know where anything's at. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, I see some other stuff over here. Um, let's just keep looking. Okay, this is all Michael Myers stuff here. Well, not all of it, but look, they have Michael Myers string lights. And I do remember seeing Jason's string lights, but I don't know if I saw them here. Oh, here's a Friday the 13th towel. A tea towel. Who's having tea with Jason Voorhees? Here we go. Here's a Jason mug with a little mask. And he spins. It's a spinning Jason mask. All right, let's see. Is there anything over here? Friday the 13th. There's Jason with his machete. I love the spinning Jason mask. Look at that. That is too funny. Oh, and here's a little different mug down here. I actually have this one, or at least I did have it before I moved into the RV, but it just takes up so much room. But look, the machete for the handle and the mask is the mug. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see. Do they have any throw blankets for Friday the 13th? I don't see any. Oh, yeah, here we go. I wish it was Friday. It's just like the shirt. You could get the shirt and this and have a movie night. That would be sweet. All right, let's go up here and look at all this little stuff up here. They have stickers and magnets and all kinds of stuff. So I bet they have some Friday the 13th stuff. All right, they have all kinds of lanyards here. Um, Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas. Here we go, right on the end, Friday the 13th lanyard. There he is, Jason. 
Holy crap, guys. Look at this. Halloweeny nails. Press on nails. I'm totally getting some of these for Marion. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got Friday the 13th playing cards. And we have a Camp Crystal Lake keychain key fob. That's pretty cool. Look at this. We even got a magnetic notepad that says, Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake, Friday the 13th. I bet Jason keeps his kill list on here. Okay, we got spirit buttons here. I see Freddy. I see another Freddy. Beetlejuice. Uh, let's see. Oh, there he is. Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th button. Oh, look at this. We got a couple of uh, Friday the 13th cups here. Here's a tumbler. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. We got a Jason uh, tumbler back here. This one is pretty awesome, actually. Looks like we have another one back here. Let's see what this looks like. Another tumbler. Okay, got Jason's mask on there. Look, we also have a Jason mini snow globe. Let's make it snow. Let's make it rain on Jason. <laughs> All right, guys, that brings us to the end. And I see, I think, our very last Jason thing right here. This mug, Friday the 13th mug. Let's take a look at it here. Yep, Friday the 13th. That's a huge mug, too. That would be sweet for sitting around fires carving pumpkins having hot chocolate after trick-or-treating and that appears to be it guys but i have to point this out because this is one of the coolest mugs i've ever seen in my life back to the future too how cool is that look we got the hoverboard for the handle wait i almost missed it friday the 13th jason tins sour cherry candy cleavers how cool is that apparently the candy is shaped like cleavers i totally have to buy this just because i have to see it for myself all right, guys, that was it. One last walk through the Spirit Halloween here in New Jersey. I'm so stoked to see all the Friday the 13th stuff. I bought a handful of things right here, and uh, you guys will see those later. Make sure you subscribe and watch the videos. More coming. What in the world is this? I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are those? Alright guys, I am in Champlain Mall right now. Champlain Center, I think it's called, in Plattsburgh, New York. And look what is right in front of me. I am so excited. I'm just about to go off. After all this waiting, there is a spirit Halloween that is open. Holy crap, I think I'm gonna hyperventilate. Look at the ginormous sign. This is one of the coolest spirit Halloweens I have ever seen. Look at this. So, they're like gigantic logs out here. Because everything is like that Adirondack de uh, the uh, theme or whatever you want to call it out here so cool i cannot wait to go in look at this how cool is this they even have these ginormous spirit like stickers on the logs outside the store this is so cool all right let's go in and oh my gosh they have like next to nothing set up all right it's still gonna be cool we're still gonna make a good video hold on let's check this out i am excited though to see that they do have mr howell set up so let's get him going here because he's one of the awesome ones look at this i cannot get over how enormous he is and look how huge his hands are look my hands barely even go past his wrists. Oh my gosh, he's so enormous. Look at the teeth on him and the light up eyes. That is so cool. One more time because I can't stand it. Here we go. <laughs> he rears up and howls like there's no tomorrow. You gotta love Mr. Howl. Oh my gosh, look at the size of his feet. Holy crap, those gotta be size 52s. Mr. Howell, you certainly do have some ginormous feet. Even though there's not many set up, I do see that we have the Hauntress. Okay, come out, scare me, do it. Do what you will. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the Hauntress, I called him a he, but I think she's a she. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Is she a she or is he a he? Excuse me, sir, ma'am, are you a he or a she? I couldn't understand that. I don't speak ghoul. Okay, we are still gonna go through and experience the chains of death. 
Here we go. And this is something I missed before. The floor is like lava. The floor is lava. It's pretty cool. Okay, is it going to scream? Is it going to flash? We got some flashing going on up here. We don't have any fog. I don't remember if there was fog in the last store or not, but there was no screaming. What the heck? Let's go through one more time the chains of death. Will you try to kill me, chains of death? I guess not. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any of the animatronics set up right here, but we do have the evil chunks of death, whatever those are. And look, we do have a Mr. Howl. I believe he's for sale and available right now. Okay, I can hear you, Mr. Howl. All right, well, this is where Buzzsaw will be right here. Mr. Huge with a spinning Buzzsaw hand. Oh, look, we got a Nightcrawler in the box. Pretty cool. We got a Harvester of Souls over here. Pretty cool again. And over on this side, even though we don't have anybody set up yet, we do have the Pumpkin Carvomatic. Look at this, you gotta love this thing. The workers, the Grims, are all standing back here just watching the pumpkins go through. And as they go through the Carvomatic, they get automatically carved. And look at Mr. Grim, he's so bored, he's like, um, I could carve these myself. Watch, he'll roll his eyes. But <laughs> Look, he rolls his eyes like, oh my god, you have to have a Carvomatic? I could just do this myself, guys. And I gotta agree with him. The Carvomatic is cool, but don't you want to carve the pumpkins yourself? Okay, guys, we are gonna take a walk around here real quick. I hear... Where the heck is he? I hear the Harvester of Souls, but I don't see him anywhere. Do you guys hear that? What in the world? Oh, okay, over here, here we go. There he is, he's all set up and ready to roll, as well as Wacky Mole. Wacky Mole and ready to roll. <laughs> Harvester, your new name is ready to roll. All right, Look let's... at me, just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Okay, no fog, but you can see the fan in his mouth is going. Wow. That is seriously one of the loudest harvesters I have encountered, even out of last year, guys. That was so loud right there. <laughs> All right, let's check out Wacky Mole. He's moving. Hi, Wacky. You know, you don't really look like a mole, but you certainly are wacky. Wacky mole and ready to roll. <laughs> and it looks like this spider is already spent. He's already in the jumped up position. So, hello, Mr. Spider. Maybe one day you'll get back to normal. All right, something else I have to check out because a lot of people keep on telling me. Right here, the location of what would be Mr. Dark. And you can see that he is not here, but a lot of people keep telling me that if I looked behind him, there's a clipboard that gives away next year's theme. Now, I don't know if that means that it's like part of the setup here or what the deal is. So let's just take a little peek here for a second. Crazy clown mask trick or treat carved in chest. Okay, I don't see any secret drawings on here or anything, so I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but if I find another store that actually has Mr. Dark set up, I will look again. Mr. Skeleton, you need to sit a little bit better right here so the children can put their head on yours. And I do need to put some stickers in the box for any young children coming to find them. Holy crap, guys, look at this. A psycho jack-o'-lantern big mouth mask. I don't know if I have ever seen this guy before in my life, but he looks so cool. Look at that, huge mouth, and I bet you anything, it's one of those that when you put it on your chin goes somewhere in here, yeah, and can actually move the big psycho mouth with the pumpkin. That is an awesome mask right there. I love that. And I'm seeing a lot of things that I have not seen in stores before, guys. But before we get to them, let's look at the animatronics that they actually have for sale on the floor here. Okay, look at this. We've got a whole slew of sitting scarecrows here. $160 each, and there's two, four, there's six of them. Six sitting scarecrows. That's one of my favorite right there because he's so scary and jumps at you. We got a Hauntress here. On the other side, we've got a Sam. Let's check him out. Here he is. Okay. 
All right, let's keep on going here. And we don't have anything set up here either, but that's okay, that's okay. Posable dunny, dummy prop here. Dunny. You guys know what a dunny is? It's a toilet. It's a freaking toilet in Australia. I am cracked. Okay, I do not see any more on this side, but we're gonna keep on looking, so hold on a minute. Okay, wait, we do have Sam set up over here, so I don't wanna pass him up. Hello, Sam. <laughs> I love your lollipop. Gotta love Sam. Okay, all right. We don't have the uh, the clown over here, the shorty clown, but we do have a shorty mask. That is actually pretty cool. Look, we also got a spiky mask. That is awesome. Holy crap, totally cool. All this killer clowns from outer space stuff here. Here's the costumes up here. A shorty costume if you wanna be shorty. Here he is. And then we got Jumbo over here. But I don't see a Jumbo mask anywhere. But they could just not have it set up yet. I'm just glad they were gracious enough to open with what they do have set up because it lets us come in here and enjoy our favorite time of the year. Hello, Steve. Okay, here's a whole giant stack of jumping spiders. It looks like, it looks like they're all, oh, okay. Bunch of them are brown. They got some black ones in there. Are th is this the red one? Yeah, black and red one here. Black and red, black and brown. Okay guys, I do not see any other animatronics other than everything that I have just showed you, but this is one of the cool things that I see right now in this store that I have never seen in one of these stores before. So maybe it's new for this year. Plush Beetlejuice characters. Look at this, what in the heck? That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I love it so much. And then here's uh, the husband. I can't think of his name right now because I'm so excited. <laughs> Remember how he pushes his hand up through his head? These are the funniest things I've ever seen. Look at the eyeballs on his fingers. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh, if I was a collector, guys, I would just, I would just buy the whole store. <laughs> and look at this mug. The mug is the handbook for the recently deceased. That is hilarious, I love that. This is a sweet trick-or-treat sign right here. Poison, drowning, claw, or knife. So many ways to take a life. What the heck? What is wrong with us loving Halloween so much? This is a days till Halloween, like a counter. Okay, so let's look at the back here. Um, oh, okay, I see. Here's the wheel right here on the side. And you turn it to change how many days are left till Halloween. That's pretty cool. And this right here is one of my favorite Michael Myers things that they have in these stores, guys. Let's see if it works. Oh, look at that. The pumpkin lights up. So cool. Oh my gosh, I love it so much, guys. One, two, three, they have four of them. How much is this? $43. I want to buy it so bad. I want to buy it all. I want to buy it all. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've ever seen this before either. Pennywise shadow lights. Look at this. That is cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you'll float down here. Look at that, and there goes Pennywise's face. You set this in the middle of your room and it casts all this around all the walls and the ceiling. That is awesome. I actually bought this throw from the, uh, the flagship store in New Jersey when I was there. Um, but here's a Pennywise one that I don't think I have seen before. That's pretty cool. And then I did the video of the Friday the 13th at uh, Spirit Halloween. And I don't think, actually I know for a fact that I did not see this throw there. It may have been there. I think somebody mentioned it in the background. I did see this one, but not this one. This is so totally cool. We got Pennywise in the sewer here and he lights up. Look at that creepy face. And then we got Sam sitting on a pumpkin here. Yep, and it lights up too. That is pretty cool. Oh, somebody broke one. What in the world is this? It's like a walking stick with a baby head on top. What the <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is amazingly creepy and crazy and scary. What in the world? I can't even get over this. And it feel, like the feel of this is almost like it's supposed to be like skin. 
wrapped around it. Maybe it's the baby's skin and there's his evil head. That thing is gonna haunt me in my nightmares tonight. Oh, look at these. I haven't spent a lot of time looking at stuff in this area when I come into the stores, but I need to. And this one just caught my eye because we have a flashing jack-o'-lantern and they're black. So that means that when you hang these up, you don't even really see the jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, at night, you just see their flashing, scary faces. What in the world? I have never seen this before. Okay, this is a uh, fog scent. Okay, where is it? Here, all right, here's the fog juice. What you do is you get you a fog machine. Get a fog machine, you get a bunch of this fog juice, and look, they actually have even bigger fog juices down here. That's an, an entire gallon. And then you can put this stuff in here to make it smell like something like pumpkin spice, cotton candy, what the heck, mildew? You want your fog to smell like mildew? Burning leaves. Holy crap, guys. I was just about to try these out, but I'm gonna pass them up because I see something that I did not know was coming. Actually, I kinda knew it was coming, but I guess it put, got put out at the New Jersey store and then taken back off the shelf. The new Halloween Kills Michael Myers mask. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. This is so cool. I love it so much. I think this is my second favorite Michael Myers mask ever. All right, how much is this guy? $69.99. It, it's weird because like, it feels more stiff. The rubber isn't as pliable as the other masks. So it keeps its shape while it's hanging here. That is so cool. That was so worth the trip to come out here to New York, guys. Holy crap, guys. All right, I gotta catch my breath. That's so cool. I'm so glad I got to see that. But let's go back over here to what we were just about to do. I just simply wanted to hear some of these guys, like this talking pumpkin door knocker. Oh no, come on now. There he is. You can knock all you want, but the bell is inside my mouth. I dare you to ring it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. All right, here we got the creepy skull pathway markers. I love that effect. It looks like lightning and they're screaming and being electrocuted too. Okay, we got the scary gargoyle pathway marker. Does he make sound? Okay, just looks like he's burning. Apparently there's no sound. And then we have Pennywise down here. Uh, they must be, there's no, there's no button to push. Almost this entire aisle is empty, but they have a good times doll. This guy is so awesome. All right, let's try him out. Is he gonna do something? All right, his batteries must be dead because he's not doing anything. Ah! Look at this, guys. Here we go. This is the very first Spirit Halloween that I have ever actually seen. Legit Spirit Halloween shirts. Now, these are all long sleeve, and unfortunately, none of them would fit me or else I'd buy it right now. But how cool is this? So much fun. It's scary. And that is $29.99 for anybody who wants to know. Man, if they had my size, I would buy it right now. I haven't even seen anything like that on the website, guys. So, if you live in this area, get down here and get it, and you'll be the only lucky person with one. All right, guys, they still have a ton of stuff to put up in here. Um, if I can manage it, I will come back to this location, and we will do a much better video when everything's set up. But let's go through the chains of death, and we are going to go ahead and call it a day on this one. And uh, stick around, guys, because there's plenty more coming. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I love Halloween. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> what are those? Dear Diary, my favorite Halloween YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. Dear Wikipedia, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. Dear Handbook of the Recently Deceased, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. <laughs> Okay guys, I stopped by here the other day and they were not open, but today they are open. Today I am in Williston, Vermont at the newly opened Spirit Halloween. I can't take it, let's go in. Okay, here 
we go. Oh my God, I can feel that cool air immediately when I step in here and it feels so good. This place is absolutely enormous, guys. Look, they hardly have any animatronics set up, but I know there's been shipping issues and just issues with getting the merchandise in the store, so we're gonna see it for what it is right now. It still looks awesome. Here is the Halloween factory. I do see that we have one set up here and ready to roll, and it is the Hauntress. Come on, are you coming? Here we go. She's pretty loud. That's the loudest one I've encountered this year so far. All right, let's go on through the chains of death. Chains of death, will they kill me? Will they? I think I'm gonna survive this time. But I need to go back through because I really wanna pay attention to this floor this time. I guess, okay, yeah. I didn't notice this before. If you step on it, it actually moves. Like the lava moves. Some people have been calling this blood. And I don't know, maybe it is supposed to be, but it looks orange to me. So as you walk, the lava, or blood, moves. That is pretty cool. Okay guys, we do have the Nightcrawler set up over here. Let's check him out. Look at his creepy face and his disgusting teeth. I think he needs some aqua fresh. Here we go. <laughs> Dang, he's pretty loud too. And he's working correctly too. Look how he sways all the way down. He's one of the scariest props. Okay, I hear you. You have bad breath, sir. Add to your grocery list scope and aqua fresh. <laughs> We got the Carvomatic going here with the pumpkins that go in this side past Mr. Grimm here. And they come out this side past second Mr. Grimm. And they're carved and ready for Hallow's Eve. Look, he's like, if I tip my hat, they won't notice that I'm sleeping on the job. Oh, we got a jumping spider set up. All right, let's get him. Here comes. Hello, Mr. Spidey. <laughs> Okay, guys, over here in the distance, I, yes, I heard Sam. Okay, let's check him out. Hold on, here we go. Hello, Sam. <laughs> he is so loud, guys. I gotta back up in order to talk. The props in here are so loud. That is so awesome. So with the stores that I've been to so far, it looks like it's the same thing. They're getting like the older animatronics in, but it's the newer ones that they're having trouble getting in right now. Don't worry, Sam, we love you just as much. Whoa, I just noticed a Michael Myers shirt I've never seen before. Look at that, that is pretty cool, only it's like pre-fall. <laughs> That's what it looks like outside right now. Everything's still green, but in about a month, it's all gonna be orange and yellow fire. Oh, sweet, they do have one of the new ones in here, guys. Look, it's W Wraith. And it's funny because this one is actually, the word is Wraith, spelled just like that. And Wraith means ghost. So they didn't have to get too creative with that name. But this is a pretty awesome uh, animatronic right here. He just goes back and forth, but he's just like a regular ghost. And I thought it would be cool if he took a pair of glasses and stuck it on his face he would look like Michael Myers. Okay, before we go searching for any other animatronics that are available on the floor in the box, I hear some over here. Yep, here we go. And it looks like it's pretty much the same deal as the last place we were at, like in New York. Oh my gosh, listen to how loud he is. The Harvester of Souls. And I keep wanting to call him the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I know that's not right, but the Harvester of Souls. No stores that I've been in this season yet have had any uh, any fog going with him. Well, maybe the first one, maybe the one in New Jersey, but let's Just see. Just all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Yeah, no fog on this one, guys. Pretty creepy looking though, anyway. And then of course we've got Wacky Mole over here. <laughs> I love that laugh, let's get him to do it again. 
Halloween costumes make me crazy. <laughs> they make me wanna pummel things with my hammer again. I think, I think, I'm going crazy again. <laughs> All right, hold on. I want to hear the other laugh he did, where he was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Step right up, boys and girls. Who's next to get walloped by my hammer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 on to say, Rocky Hole, clump me over that head. <laughs> His laugh is so cheesy, guys. All right, let's move on over here. And, oh wait, we got a jumping spider. We can't ignore him. Hello, Mr. Spider. I love you. Okay, jump at us. There we go. God, he was fast, man. Man, all these props in here are so loud today, guys. Usually you can just barely hear them, but these are so loud in here. Okay, this is where Mr. Dark would be if he were here. And so far I've been putting the stickers in these boxes right here. But I think I'm just going to set a couple around in places, like there. And I think we're going to give a couple to Mr. Wacky Mole. Just as all the others. Maybe we will put a couple in the box, just for the heck of it. Okay, it looks like that's all the animatronics they actually have set up and running at the moment. So let's go look around and see what they have available for sale on the floor. Okay, we got some jumping spiders over here. It looks like these three are all the black jumping spiders. Then I already charged this one, Wraith, which I am so tempted to buy. I'm always tempted to buy everything I see. Wow, and this is the second one I've been to where they had six sitting scarecrows available. I love sitting scarecrow. All right, guys, yeah, that is it for the animatronics that they actually even have for sale in this store right now. I just overheard the guy talking. He said that they're on their way, but they're just not here yet. But we're going to check out a couple of other things while we're here anyway. And I noticed these awesome scorched pumpkin masks as I was walking by. This is really cool. This is like that harder plastic. Wait a minute. Pull tab. To, oh, I'm not going to pull the tab, but... Apparently this lights up somewhere. Probably the light, the eyes above. Hmm. I don't know. What in the world? What does this do? Um. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the whole mask just lights up. Like maybe there's a layer underneath there that ma makes it light up. And this one too. This is what I don't like about these masks though. They like split. And you can feel right already inside here where the plastic is splitting on that one unfortunately and that just scratches your face oh my gosh look they have the creepy baby walking stick this thing just totally creeps me out i showed that in the last video from new york that thing is hilarious what in the world is this prism mask thing prism skull mask right there prism crow and a prism bull. That is, that almost looks like Chicago Bulls. Good time clown mask. This is a really cool one. I like the nun for you. That's hilarious. Oh, cool. And they have the Halloween Kills mask as well. It's kind of strange that they just have it mixed in here among all the other regular masks in the back of the store. But that is an awesome mask right there. And I don't know why, but I love these metallic masks right here. This one is so cool. The pumpkin. And then we got the sinister ghost mask right here. Here's a black sinister ghost mask. And then a silver one. Metallic werewolf. This kind of reminds me of uh, Donnie Darko. All right, let's look at a couple of these things over here. Look at this. A terror clown. It's like one of those side steppers. Yes. No, he's not moving. <laughs> He's supposed to be like Pennywise with the balloon. And he looks totally awesome and he sounds totally awesome, but he's not moving at all. I bet he's supposed to like, you know, like one of those side steppers where they go back and forth. Scarecrow door knocker. Oh, he's not working. We got the Slimer pathway markers. I love him. Look how he lights up. I love that green color. Oh, look at this, Lil Zappy. Oh crap, come on. <laughs> What in the world is this? A filthy bathroom clang. You put these on the wall in your bathroom. <laughs> Look, it's a light switch with a finger broken off. 
cockroaches and dirty toilet paper. Or you could just go to the gas station bathroom. They got a couple of hanging Sams here. Oops, he lost his sucker. Uh-oh, what is he holding? What in the world? Okay, very strange. Hanging phantom ghost. Come on, one of them work, come on. Okay, here we go. I can barely even hear him because somebody's got the Harvester of Souls going back there and he's so loud. We got some more hangers here, the Shocked Skull Ghost. He is not working right now, but he flickers like lightning. We got this creepy guy, look at that nasty hair. <laughs> this one, here's this guy here, let's see if he's working. Nope, creepy though. And then hello Mrs. Uh, transparent Face. Oh my gosh, she's literally called Translucent Girl. I was just kidding. <laughs> but the face is purposely transparent. This is a funny costume I just noticed this year. The Flamin' Hot Crunchy Cheetos Bag. You just put it on and you're a bag of Cheetos. And these are two of my favorites. The Inflatable SpongeBob costume and the Inflatable Patrick. Oh my gosh, look, they have Barnacle Boy. <laughs> that is hilarious. A crusty crab hat. Okay, let's look at the shirts quick before I go here. I don't know, I think I've seen this one before, this ghost face that glows in the dark. I love that shirt. You guys know that I love ghost face. I think I've seen all the rest of these. These are hilarious. I love this uh, style right here. I can't think of what the guy's name is right offhand that draws those. There's the H for Halloween. And then here's a Chucky Good Guy card. That's a pretty cool one too. And here they got one of the really cool Pennywise masks. I think this is my favorite Pennywise mask. Look, they got the socks. Look, they got Pennywise teeth. Holy crap. <laughs> Pennywise makeup kit, socks. Here's the costume, but that is for the other style of mask. Like that one right there, the original. And then here is the, uh, the newer one. Okay guys, we got a couple other things over here I wanna look at quick before we leave. And one of those is the flaming pumpkin. I love this, it's not real flames, it's like fabric that blows up and it, and it lights up and looks like a flaming pumpkin. And then of course there's the Sam greeter with his bowl of popcorn. Here's the Pennywise string lights, let's see if they work. No, they're not, nothing is turning on in here today. There we go, we got the lollipop string lights, those turned on, okay, that's cool. Oh, and we missed the brown brown jumping spiders. And they've got a couple of black and red ones, too. How cool. Okay, I'm not into the Ouija board stuff, but this looks pretty cool. This book here, it's soft. It feels like leather, and you can write stuff in it, like, Dear Diary, my favorite Halloween YouTuber is that Nate guy on YouTube. Dear Wikipedia, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate Guy on YouTube. Dear Handbook of the Recently Deceased, my favorite YouTuber is that Nate Guy on YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. I've been in here messing around for way too long. Back through the chains of death. I will see you guys in the next video. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> Get your last paycheck and get out of here! Sir, please, I need my job! I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are those? Okay guys, today I am in Hookset, New Hampshire, and besides the fact that there is an abandoned big Kmart right behind me, there is a spirit Halloween right in front of me. There it is, right in front of me. I'm so excited, we're gonna go inside. It's funny, because you can tell this is a Kmart Plaza by this type of uh, concrete work right here. There's the Kmart. I'm excited, but I'm more excited <laughs> to go in this spirit Halloween. All right, here we go. Let's see what they have to offer. Hookset, New Hampshire. Here we come. All right, guys, we got a little different setup in this store. I think it's because it's a smaller store. They have a different area to work with. 
here's the pumpkin carvomatic factory over here and here is the archway coming right inside the door though we have the awesome mr howell hello friend scratchy scratchy <laughs> here we go here he goes You gotta love Mr. Howell. And really, guys, it's like so quiet in here that I feel weird turning him on and hearing him howl so loud through this store. Oh my gosh, we gotta do it again just because he's fun. Okay, Mr. Howell, do your stuff. Do your stuff. Here we go. <laughs> kind of resembles a train whistle, actually. Okay, Mr. Howell, we're going to go, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see over here, even though you can't really go through the Halloween factory arch here, here is another one set up. Why does she always hesitate? It's the Hauntress. Come on! All right, apparently she's not going to jump out at us, but look, if you look over here, you can see the Hauntress peeking at us. Hello! I was trying to think of what this used to be, and this used to be a hockey store. Yeah, I can't think of what it was called. Um, it's just something like All Out Hockey or something like that. And I bet if you could see behind the scenes, you could probably see different things on the walls of what it was. But anyways, okay, so here's the pumpkin carvomatic. First, we're going to check it out. And, hmm, the Grimms are not turned on. Look, their eyes are black. Black as your soul. <laughs> I don't know why they're not turned on, but... Oh, and this is weird. The Pumpkin Carvomatic is going the opposite direction than they have been in other stores. Like, usually, the blank pumpkins are coming from this way and traveling this way on the conveyor belt. But here, they're going the opposite direction. That is kind of awkward. It is very strange that their eyes are just black instead of spinning how they are supposed to be. Okay, and we got the Nightcrawler here. This store must be also waiting for other animatronics, just like most of the stores are waiting right now. Don't give up on Spirit Halloween, because they are coming, guys. Once they get here, it's gonna be totally awesome in these stores. But let's take a look at the Nightcrawler here for a second, because look at his eyes. Even before I light him up and hit the button, look how crazy those eyes look. Like, let's get a close-up right here. All right, let's get him going here. Come on, Mr. Nightcrawler. Come on. What in the world? Okay, wait a minute. Here's another. Uh, okay, something's up here, guys. We got a jumping spider who's in the mid-jump. And then we have <laughs> the Nightcrawler who has no power. And we have the two Grimms who have no power. But the Carvomatic is running very strange all right with that in mind let's go on around to the uh the chains of death hello mr spidey don't worry you'll be back to life very soon all right chains of death 68 days till halloween it says chains of death here we go not chains of love chains of death i love looking back through there and seeing the chains of death swinging now this one has a lot of strobe lights going look at this you got almost every one of them on strobing. Pretty awesome. I wish I could be in here after hours when all the lights are out. I bet this would look totally awesome. And in my last video, there was discussion about what this actually is on the floor. If you step on it, it moves around. I thought it was lava, but that doesn't make sense. And people told me to look down here and you can see it's like a sewer that's letting out pumpkin guts. Look, you can see the pumpkin guts there and there. So this is like pumpkin juice on the floor that as you walk through, you can see the pumpkin juice squish under your feet. That is pretty cool. And that totally makes sense because over here, again, we have the pumpkin carve -a Okay, let's take a little walk through the rest of the store, see if they have any other animatronics set up. Oh, yep, we got Sam over here. Hold on, let's go check him out here. Will he work? Let's find out. Yep, here we go, he's working. Sam is working at the hook set location, guys. <laughs> there he is. Factory showroom. Okay, Sam. 
good job. So Shorty is supposed to be set up with him here, but they must not have him in yet. The other thing I noticed though, is that they have Shorty mask over here and a spiky mask here, but up in the costumes, they have Shorty and Jumbo and no Jumbo mask. That must be one of the things that's on a truck that hasn't got here yet. These are totally awesome shirts though. Look at this. I think I like the yellow one better, but then you got the black one over here that has the same design. The yellow really pops out to me though. And if you haven't seen my friend Len's channel yet, it's called Len's Art. I shared the video the other day. He drew Shorty and it looks exactly like him. Okay guys, let's keep on moving here and we'll see if there's any other animatronics. And yes, I do see more of the Halloween factory over here. So let's make a beeline and then we're going to look for other cool stuff. Oh sweet, look, you get to step up to this one. Okay, on the end here is where Mr. Dark would be if he were here. But I'm going to keep with the theme, and I'm going to leave the stickers right over here by Mr. Skeleton. So if you come in here, you can find them right there when you go to get your picture taken with the skeleton body. Guys, holy crap, look at what they have here. First of all, they have an Area 31 capsule. That is awesome. This is an older one. I don't remember what year it's from but I absolutely love it. Excuse me, sir, can you quiet down? I'm trying to tell them about Area 31. So anyway, Area 31. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool to see this one, guys. Um, I am so excited to get around to different stores and see what they have available in each store because look at this. They also have a headless help. They have a hanging hell fiend. I like this one. That one is so cool. Look at his eyes. They have a sewer varmint. And then over here, what are those? They have a Johnny Punk, holy crap. I wish he was like on clearance or something. I wish he was a hundred bucks because the box is open. I'd buy him right now. Johnny, we will meet again, buddy. We will. But Nate, what are those? Holy crap, he's right. I have my yellow shoes on today. What are those? Don't ever be afraid to come up and say hi if you guys see me in a spirit Halloween because we're all here to have fun and love Halloween. Okay, guys, let's move on over here. Oh, look, the jumping spider is already jumping. You little creepy guy. You tried to scare me, but you didn't get me this time. Maybe next time, let's move on to the Harvester of Souls. This guy is so loud. I can hear him over here beckoning me. Just as all the others have. He is so loud in all the stores this year. And I did notice that they don't have the screens up here yet showing the rest of the Halloween factory. I hear you, Mr. Spider. How many times are you gonna try to scare me, buddy? So we got these Grims up here that I noticed and their eyes are working. One right there. And then we have Mr. with the clipboard over here. He's like, we need to fire this guy down here. Sir, please, I need my job. Get your last paycheck and get out of here. Yes, sir, right after we see the wacky mole. I haven't heard a peep out of this dude the whole time. Here we go. I love that stupid laugh of his. <laughs> and I love his candy corn teeth. He is actually pretty awesome. I love how he shines under the black light. Oh my gosh, I'm having a good time in here, guys. Okay, let's move on, see what else we have here. Look, we have sitting scarecrows. There's four of them here. I've seen a lot of sitting scarecrows in the stores this year already, guys. Look at this, we got a whole bunch of jumping spiders, too. We got black ones here, black and red, and we have the little brown jug. We got a couple of hanging Sams here. We got the hanging scary scarecrow. Yes, look at those scary eyes. He is a creeper right there. Then we got the animated clown. Hmm, okay. I, oh, he's, there he goes. <laughs> and it's not a balloon. I would have to guess that it's death. Hooks chain. Now these have these hooks on the end but you could use these to make your own chains of death if you're setting up a pretty cool uh, trick-or-treat haunt outside your house. All right, let's see if Mr. Talking Clown works. Oh, the batteries just must be dying on these. <laughs> They've been used so much. You can all right. have all you want, but the bell is inside my mouth. I dare you to ring it. All right, guys, let's step down and take a walk around, see if there's any more animatronics around here that we miss before we start looking at some other stuff. Uh, there's a lot of twists and turns in this store here. It's almost like you're walking through a haunted house. 
pretty cool, but I do not see any more uh, animatronics. Let me just go up here first before we give up. Okay, yeah, I was hoping there would be some more kind of stacked up around here, but like I said, they're still waiting on trucks to deliver a bunch of stuff, guys. Whoa, check this out. Killer Clowns from Outer Space Doormat. That is pretty sweet. That is crazy. They have a good bunch of Hocus Pocus stuff here. I think I saw some more around the store too. And then over here we have the Haunted Mansion. We have Nightmare Before Christmas. Here's an awesome plush Oogie Boogie. And a Zero, you guys know I love him. Look at the little pumpkin on his nose. Oh look, they have a Hugs costume. You gotta love Hugs, man. I wish they would bring him back again and set him up again. Look at that, he's so creepy. And I love the clown accessories. Like look at this, it's a giant pair of scissors. Like you're just gonna attack somebody and cut their head off. A circus saw bat. <laughs> Sledgehammer, oh look at this. It's a clown machete with a smiley face on it. Here's a bunch of Stranger Things costumes. People were asking me if they had these this year, and yes, they do. I would bet they're gonna have these in all the stores. They usually have a pretty good selection. Plus, the new Stranger Things is coming out pretty soon. I think this is hilarious. This is my favorite Stranger Things costume right here, the Scoops Ahoy. <laughs> we got Pennywise over here. Oh look, there's a Georgie raincoat. That's pretty cool. I heard that there is a Georgie animatronic somewhere this year, but I don't remember where it is. If you guys know, tell me and I'll go there. Okay, let's go over here for a minute because I believe I saw, yep, here it is. I've been finding this everywhere now, the new Halloween Kills mask. Hello, Freddy. Speaking of Michael Myers, here's the awesome light up pumpkin statue. He seems a little bit smaller than the one I saw in the other store, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, this is cool. They got the Pennywise groundbreaker. That is sweet. Okay, well, let's make our way over here for a minute because I saw an awesome clearance section we're gonna go check out with some pretty cool stuff in it. Right around, yeah, right around here. Okay, look at this. Usually the clearance section only has like a few things in it, but this is totally packed. And look, I noticed this awesome one here, the Saturday Night Live Beat Boy Skeleton costume. That is hilarious. And wow, they actually have three of them it looks like. Inflatable Mario Karts, those are cool. You could get these and race your friends around the neighborhood. Just put them on and run. Beer Garden, babe, what in the world? Look at this one though, Mermaid, this is a pretty cool outfit. Holy crap, look, this is Chucky's hat from Rugrats. Is that right even? Nickelodeon. Yeah, it is, holy crap, I recognize that in a split second. <laughs> What in the world? Look at this. It's an inflatable float if you want to be that Baywatch guy right there. Or you could be a Baywatch babe. Oh my gosh, look at this hat here, guys. You put drinks in there, and you put the straw in the drinks, and then you put the straw in your mouth, and you can drink the drinks from on top of your hat. Oh look, they have more clearance over here. I guess this is maybe kids... Uh, outfits or something. I guess I got a couple of adults in here too. Pretty cool stuff. Kingdom Hearts, Baby Shark, Baby Shark, do 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 do. Okay, Western Kit, The Flash, Despicable Me. Look at this head of the class. What in the world? Oh, we got a Pikachu. Pika Pika. Back here they have a ton of different masks. It looks like they got some space for more. Jay the Killer. I've seen this one before and it's hilarious. Green, is that green? Green or gold, metallic lab monster. That's weird, because as you turn it, it looks like different colors. Like, looking at it over here, it looks green. But as I pull it up and move it around in the light, it looks gold. This is a pretty cool saw mask here. You could get you a tricycle and be the saw guy. Oh, these are cool, look at this. These are stencil books for when you're carving pumpkins. Here's Pennywise, Halloween 2, Friday the 13th, and the Haunted Mansion. Okay, this is awesome. This is something I have not seen in here before, but I totally have to get it today. This magnet that says support Halloween. Heck yeah, I'm all about it. All right, guys, that is it for, whoa, I can't even get out. They've locked me in the spirit of Halloween. I could be so lucky. <laughs> that is it for Hookset, New Hampshire. Make sure you come in here and check it out. The girl said that they're supposed to get a delivery tonight of the new animatronics, but she's not really sure if that's gonna happen. So, all right guys, stick around. We got more coming up. Told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Look at this. I'm stomping on here and the Hauntress is just standing still. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk about the Hauntress. You had your chance to be cool. Hello. Alright guys, today we are in Manchester, New Hampshire, and I have found another open Spirit Halloween. This looks like a smaller location, but I am so excited to get inside and see what they have. Alright guys, let's go. What in the world? What do I see right inside the doors? What the heck? They got wacky mole set out here right by Mr. Howl. I kind of like it. You're already talking to us. Going crazy again. <laughs> he looks totally different without the black light on him. Like everything lights up when he's in the other section with the black light on him. Boys and girls, who's next to get walloped by my hammer? <laughs> All right, Mr. Howl, let's get you going. I, I want to hear your major howl. Here we go. Is he turned on? Oh, yeah, he is. Here we go. Look at the size of his mouth. You could fit like your entire head in that mouth. And look, what the heck? I didn't notice before with other ones. Did his mouth do that? The other ones that we've seen, like if you had your head in there, he would be chomping on your skull. Here we go, let's watch it again. Here we go, come on. Yeah, watch this, watch his mouth. What in the world? I did not notice him doing that in the other stores. Okay, good use of the space though. Instead of just having an empty space here, they set all these guys up. Let's go around the side here and see. Oh, sweet, they got Sam with the alternate head. I love the alternate head, but I kind of wish that when you put the different head on, that he actually made different sounds. I don't know what they would be, but something cool. All right, we got our jumping spider here. Let's get him going. <laughs> he jumped up fast. Mister, you are a fasty you are. What in the world, man? Like, he jumped up immediately when I stepped on the pad there. But Mr. Howl, I had to like stomp on it and wait. All right, Nightcrawler, we seriously need to get you an orthodontist appointment. Look at those eyes. Yellow eyes for his yellow teeth. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a look around in here and see if there's any other setup. I do see a whole stack of them back here, but I want to see if there's any more set up anywhere first before we start digging in. Holy crap, they got a whole bunch of cool ones stacked up there for sale. And I do not see any other that are uh, set up to play with. <laughs> so let's just go on over here. We'll take a look at these. Look at this. We got a punctured peat. We actually have two punctured peats. That's cool. We got a, oh, we got a headless jack, but we'll have to look at it on the other side. We have two waving wallies. And then over here, here's our headless jack. I'd love to see him set up somewhere. He is huge. And then we have Wraith, the ghostly figure. Of course, we have a whole bunch of jumping spiders. I think this is the most jumping spiders I've seen in one store this season yet. Black and red, uh, a black one, and a brown one. Isn't there a store that sells like a white jumping spider? I'm pretty sure there is, but I don't remember what it would be. Maybe like Halloween City or something like that. Oh, we got a Harvester of Souls right here. My son was actually looking for one of these. I don't know if he found it or not, and it would cost a billion dollars to ship. But here we got an Area 31 capsule. This is the Second Area 31 capsule I've seen in stores. Actually, the last one was in uh, another store in New Hampshire. I would love to have a setup some year with just like a hall full of about 20 of these lining the hall. And look at this, once again, we have a whole slew of sitting scarecrows. What the heck is up with sitting scarecrow this year? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sitting scarecrows in this store, guys. Okay, look at this. I see a couple things over here that are pretty cool. Live wires. Yeah, it's on Try Me, and they're not working. But there's probably one of those little tabs you had to pull out to make it work. 
We got the mini, look, oh, look at him, <laughs> flashing and laughing at us. That is pretty cool, I like that. And we got little Zappy down here. Oh, he's not working either. We got the creepy clowns. Look at, a lot of these, the button is like totally gone. They're shoved in and you can't even try them. Here's some gargoyles. Okay, that one lights up, that's pretty cool. Looks like a fire inside him. Creepy lantern pathway markers. Yeah, look at that, that's cool. That's sparkly too. Grim tabletop gargoyle. Nope, he's not doing anything. Okay, talking clown door knocker. Crap, he didn't work in the other store that I was in either. And when I say that, I just mean he probably needs new batteries, because if you look, his eyes keep flashing periodically, and of course, now that I'm talking about it, he's not doing it. And even hitting the button right here. Oh, there he goes, he just flashed at me. <laughs> but that's all he'll do. I love walking down through this aisle right here in the stores, because it's like you're walking through a haunted house. All right, wait a minute, what is this? A hand grabber mechanism. Arms move back and forth in a crawling motion. Apparently you stick it out from under like a desk or a door or something. And it looks like the arms are crawling like this, like trying to get out. Oh, look at this. This is cool. This is like pillars for a, uh, a cemetery. If you're building your own cemetery, tombstone pillar set. We got the bag of bones here with a spine. All right, let's check out the clearance section here for a minute. They might have something pretty cool. What in the world? Look at the size of the nose on that. I do like the gargoyle porch light cover. Look, it's just simple plastic. Oh, sweet. That one's even better. Reaper porch light cover. I love that. That is so cool. But anyway, yeah, it's just plastic and you just put it over your porch light and it lights up. That is so awesome right there. What is that? Bone crusher mask? That is pretty creepy. No, thank you. Oh, look, they have the Krampus mask. This guy is so creepy. Oh my gosh. Heck no, man. I do not want to wake up and have him at the foot of my bed. Oh, somebody was telling me to look for gas masks. Here you go. This is a rubber gas mask. And then they have this kind down here, a bio rat mask. <laughs> what the heck? Here you go, haunted house. Billy Butcherson headstone. Tombstone, they're calling it here. Pretty cool. There you go. Trick or treat, Sam. There you go. Look, we totally missed the Hauntress. She's hiding behind the pillar. Let's give her her due. All right, Hauntress. Do what you gotta do. Come on, do it. Hauntress. Look at this. I'm stomping on here and the Hauntress is just standing still. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk about the Hauntress. You had your chance to be cool. Hello. Oh, sweet. Look at this. Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers hat. That is a pretty cool hat. I didn't really like that movie all that much, but it has a pretty sweet hat. And right above it is the Halloween Kills mask. Gotta love this mask. Holy crap, guys, it's the butcher costume. Look, they just call him Pig Butcher. Wee, wee. This is an awesome one here too, this Grim Reaper. This is a sweet costume. They, I bet you anything, they have that sickle for sale back in the back too. We'll have to go look, let's go check it out. If they have it, it's gonna be back here and it's probably gonna be like in a barrel or something. They usually have all, the, oh, yep, here we go guys, right here. This is the exact sickle that we were just looking at on that uh, costume. And they have the evil baby head on a skin stick. Holy crap guys, look at this. We have Nightmare Before Christmas Operation and Nightmare Before Christmas Monopoly. Look, they have the free hug sign. Do they have a Hugs costume though? Uh, I saw one at the last Spirit that I was at, but I do not see an actual Hugs costume here. But the free hug sign is awesome. Wait, I take it back. Here is the Hugs costume. That's a medium, a medium, a large, and a large. If they, I would have to have a 4XL. <laughs> but look at that, how creepy. You gotta love Hugs. He is one of my favorites of all time. Whoa, this is a sweet hat right here. Welcome to Haddonfield. That is awesome. Now, I really like that one. I don't like the trucker style hats, but that is a cool hat right there. Mystery machine hat and socks. And there's Scoob Zoinks. And here's Shaggy. Like, this is uber creepy. Unless you knew I would figure it out. So you told me not to go into the castle so that I wouldn't go into the castle just like you didn't want me to. We got the Ghostbusters string lights here. Ooh, look at that. 
I love how green Slimer is. That is so cool. And the Ghostbusters vinyl table cover. That would be sweet if you're having a Ghostbusters movie night. What the heck? This is totally awesome. Big Frank costume. I don't think I've ever seen this before. That is a huge Frankenstein head right there. Oh, and this is awesome. Inflatable Ghostbusters Stay Puffed costume. <laughs> that is hilarious. And of course, we have the new Beetlejuice mask right here. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And the Beetlejuice costume. Does this come with pants? Oh my gosh, this comes with everything. Jacket, pants, and tie. That is a pretty sweet outfit right there. Holy crap, yes, we have the Billy Butcherson head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta love Billy Butcherson. And here's the Billy Butcherson outfit. Jacket with shirt and wig. I should just do a whole video of all the Hocus Pocus stuff they have at Spirit Halloween this year. Oh my gosh, look at this gizmo suits. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, Step Brothers, Brennan Huff, and Dale Doback. All right, guys, we are gonna get rolling here. I just love Bye, wacky. <laughs> I love how his laugh gets more and more extreme as he goes. Okay guys, today we are in Augusta, Maine, and I have just come across a spirit Halloween. You can clearly see that this used to be a Michael's craft store. Look, right above the top there, you can see the top where it said Michael's. How cool. Oh my God, I cracked myself up. All right, I gotta show you this, guys, because I am just totally laughing about this on the front windows. We just gotta look at these pictures up here first, because these just crack me up. Like, look at Pennywise. Look at the look on his face. He's like, shh, don't tell children. And this guy's like, um, I mean, is there any money in it for me? Is this guy serious? Oh, I think the guy dressed like Jack Skellington has a point. I kept my mouth shut and he bought me this locket. All right, let's go on in and see what Augusta, Maine has to offer. Holy crap, we're going in the outdoor. <laughs> All right, here we go. I see Mr. Wolfman. Okay guys, with just a quick look around, I see a lot of animatronics on the floor in boxes, but we're gonna get started with Mr. Howell. Here we go, buddy. People like you. I hear you growling already. I love how there's like a little echo at the end there. Oh, and look, his jaw is moving. The first ones that I filmed, I never noticed his jaw keep moving after the fact, but it is. So I gotta wonder if K&T Halloween is gonna do a revamp on him this year and what in the world they could possibly do with him. Oh my gosh, you know what would be totally sweet is if they made him into Teen Wolf. Okay, it looks like they're having the same shipping issues here because they don't have a whole lot of things set up, but they do have some. Let's go check the Hondress. Are you gonna scare us today? Come on, haunty. There you go. Look at you, you little fella. All right, let's roll on through the chains of death. You gotta love this shot right here. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. What in the world? That was like a loud sound from the pumpkin carvomatic, and it scared the crap out of me. Or did that come from in here somewhere? As I was walking through, maybe it was true. Oh, there it is. Okay, get it, shut up. <laughs> All right, we gotta do it again. That was so loud. Look at that. <laughs> it sounds like a train. What in the world? All right, chains of death. Holy crap, guys, look at this. We have a sitting scarecrow, but I've never seen one sitting just on the ground. All right, let's see if he jumps at us. There he is. I heard ya. Looks like somebody got all your candy, though, buddy. Oh, I think I have something I can add to your bucket, though, buddy. Here you go. People took all your candy, so I'm gonna leave some for you. There's, like, nobody in here this year with a bucket or anything, so I have to find specific places to leave the stickers. All right, we got Mr. Jumpy over here. Come on, Mr. Jumpy. 
There you go, little fella. Look at you. I love how the sound just lingers on. Oh, look at this, guys. There's actually a price list here for everything associated with the Halloween factory assembly line. You can actually buy all this stuff. Apparently, though, for sale starting 1031. So when the store is ready to close, they actually have the price list up here for all this stuff. If you want to buy this haunt and set it up in your house. And holy crap, the coffin conveyor assembly, which would be the actual Carvomatic, is $300. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You'd have a pretty penny set up in this, guys. Okay, yeah, I wanted to look and see how much the skeletons are. So the skeletons that are in there working are actually $75 each. And looking at them from this angle, it appears that they are a complete skeleton with the bottom half. Instead of being just like half a skeleton sticking out from the conveyor belt assembly. I think this setup is so awesome, but if there's one thing I could change, it would be that the pumpkins that are coming out would have different faces, not just all the same scary looking face. Even though those are cool, I'd love it if they each had different faces. Okay, let's get back to the night crawler here. Here we go. He's not very loud. Some of them that I've seen already this year are so loud. Look at how he sways back and forth. That's just so hilarious to me. Okay, we got some in boxes over here, some down here, and there are others around the store. But first, let's go one over here and see what all they have set up on the other section here. In the unhuman resources section. Look at this, employee of the month. Pumpkin Nester, hello. <laughs> and then we got Employee of the Month Crypt Keeper, that's hilarious. Okay, we got Wacky Mole and Ready to Roll. And we got the Jumpy Spider. Oh, and look, we actually have our Scarecrow. Okay, before I get this guy going, look at his eyes. Look how his eyes are bloodshot, that's hilarious. And his arms aren't even connected. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that before. That is so cool. All right, let's get him going here. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> you are quite the laugher, buddy. I love how his laugh gets more and more extreme as he goes. Oh, and they got the uh, the factory set up here with the screens. Let's just watch this for a second. So they're building a scary pumpkin right here. Or at least they carved the pumpkin and they're putting it in a spirit box. Okay, that's cool. And then I know like at some point over here, he jumped, here we go, here we go, here he comes. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so we got Mr. Jumping Spider here. Come on, here he goes. Thank you, fella. You are such a good scaring spider. Okay, let's get the Harvester of Souls going. Will we have fog? Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever. Nope, no fog on this guy. Oh yeah, 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 there we go, look. Wow, that was actually one of the best looking fogs I've seen on the Harvester because it was just, it was a straight line of fog as if her soul was leaving her and going into his body. And as I say that, I realize just how creepy that is. All right, let's get Wacky Mole going here. Here's his mole. I like your mole. <laughs> He's not moving. I think, I think, I'm going crazy again. <laughs> Doesn't look like you're going to whack anything, Mr. Mole, because you're not moving. Okay, and dang, I was hoping that they would have Mr. Dark. But, like I said, all the new ones are coming on the trucks that are not here yet. So we don't have him yet. Oh, all right, guys. Here is the clipboard that everybody keeps telling me about. And I'm going to take a look at it here. Holy crap, guys. This is so cool. 
You wouldn't believe it if I showed you what's on here. But it is so rad, so cool, so awesome. And I really hope that's what they do next year. It's gonna remain a secret. I'm not telling. Okay, it looks like that's all the ones that they actually have set up. So let's go on over here and look at the ones that they have for sale in boxes on the floor right now. Okay, let's start over here with what they have stacked up at the door. First we have Sam. Ah, ah. Then we have the Hauntress. Okay, we got more sitting scarecrows. One, two, three, four, five. There's been like six at least in each store that I've been to so far. Then we got this guy right here. I love this. Wraith, scary ghost. I think he just goes up and back and forth, which is so cool. That is such a classic uh, Halloween prop right there. I love it. And then we got the Nightcrawler. Gotta love the Nightcrawler. Okay, and then over here we have a couple. We've got Wacky Mole right here. And then we've got Mr. Howl. I thought maybe these were just the empty boxes from the ones they have set up, but they're not. These guys are actually in here, and I could buy this today if I so pleased to do so. Okay, they're unboxing some stuff over here, so we'll see what that is in a minute. But right now we're going to head this way because we have a whole stack of jumping spiders. And let's see, do they have all the colors? Uh, they have the brown, they have the black. Do they have the black and red? I do not see one black and red in this pile here, but there might be some more around the store somewhere. I wonder what's in those boxes. Wait a minute, guys, holy crap. Once again, I almost missed Sam over here. He is set to the side in all the stores, so I always forget to go over until later on. Hello, Sam. Show me what you got. <laughs> so if I ever bought this animatronic right here, I think I would take whatever head I'm not using and put it in his bag. Or at least I would put something in his bag because it's just an empty burlap bag. I think it needs a head in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. They have the Teletubbies outfits. Look, they have Poe and Dipsy and Lala. Okay, I think there's one more. What the heck, there's supposed to be one more. Yeah, Tinky Winky. Not that I'm gonna wear it, but it's kind of strange that they have the other three and not Tinky Winky in the full body suits. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I'm talking about something called Tinky Winky. <laughs> okay, somebody asked me to look at all the Harley Quinn stuff here. So let's go ahead and do that. Here is a Suicide Squad Harley Quinn outfit. Okay, that just makes me wanna hurl. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm looking, but I can't stand Harley Quinn. Okay, we got a bat that says good night. We got the hammer. Okay, what's that say? Okay, anyways, we got, uh, that's the same bat as we just had. We have clip-in synthetic hair extensions. Okay, apparently that's kind of like this only. I only see the red ones there. Let's see, we got the gloves. Um, hmm, okay, there's Joker makeup. Oh, that's hair color. Temporary hair color, that is. We got some other cosmetic things here. Hair colors, hair sprays, lipstick. Uh, what is this? Tattoos, fingernails, more tattoos. Here's an inflatable hammer. If you didn't want to buy this big thing that you have to find somewhere to keep it, you got an inflatable one. Here's tights and Harley Quinn inflatable mallets. Okay, and then here's some other... Harley Quinn stuff here. Jacket and a different kind of jacket here. Is there anything on the back? Yeah, property of Joker. And then, oh, okay, that's nice. <laughs> okay, and then there's a Joker jacket if you had a boyfriend who wanted to dress like a Joker. So, at the moment, that's all I see for Harley Quinn. But there you go, whoever was asking. And then somebody else was asking about this stuff here, this uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, doesn't look like they have a whole lot of stuff, guys, but they have a couple of outfits. Deku, I guess that's how you say it. There's a training uniform, uh, another training uniform, Akatsuki. 
I don't know what that is, a robe? <laughs> That's what the robe looks like right there. And then we got this one right here, which is a little bit different. Oh, that's Naruto. And everybody's gonna tell me that I said it wrong and then they're gonna say, no, it's pronounced and they're gonna spell it, Naruto. <laughs> All right, we gotta look at some of these inflatable outfits, guys. Look at this, inflatable wavy arms guy. That is one of my favorite inflatable suits. But look at this one, the inflatable cow friend. That is hilarious. There's a bull rider. You're, those, that's actually your legs down there, but it looks like you're riding the bull. Here's an inflatable sumo wrestler. Uh, let's see what's over on this side. Look, inflatable chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, here we go. Inflatable toilet. Look, it says party pooper on it. <laughs> There's a squirrel. That one's not inflatable, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, Donnie the dino. And then we have an inflatable green dino. Uh, let's see, oh look at this one, a wrestler piggyback. It makes it look like you're riding on the wrestler's back. And the same thing over here with the skeleton piggyback, like you're riding on his back. Oh, and look at this one, inflatable ostrich, like you're riding the ostrich. So there's where you're, you stand, and that's actually your legs right there. But when you run, it looks like you're riding the ostrich. Holy crap, look at this one, inflatable dragon. That is pretty cool. And they got the inflatable bear right beside it. Okay, this one is absolutely hilarious right here. The close encounter. It's, it's like a, uh, what do you call it? An alien with his arms around you. And it looks like he's carrying you off from your bed. He abducted you in the middle of the night. And these are always cool here, these super skins. These are the inflatable ones that makes you look huge. And look, it lights up too. And then here's the regular one down here. Just a black skin tight suit. Wait, look at this one. It's an alien. They got the blue one here, the inflatable one. And then look at this, this is cool, light up stick figure. So if you're wearing this in the night when it's dark, it looks like you're just a stick figure running around. This is what I have in my hand here, the ghost face socks. I couldn't pass them up. I love ghost face. I have to get them. So very cool. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna wrap it up in this store already because they have a lot of stuff that they have boxed stuff that they have not opened yet, but it's sitting in various places around the store and that's what they're doing. So I'm gonna get out of here and let them get to it and uh, let's move on to the next store. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, Hauntress, if you love your husband, give him a kiss. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are those? All right, guys, today I am at Shaw's Plaza in Auburn, Maine, and right in front of me is another Spirit Halloween. I don't know what this used to be, but honestly, I don't care because all I'm here for is the Halloween spookiness. Let's go in and see it. I'm always excited to go into different stores to see what all they have available that might not be in other stores. This is one of the smaller stores, so they have a little different setup here. We still have the 88, or no, it's 87 days to Halloween. Is that right? 67, I think that says. All right, let's go on through the chains of death here. And then we're going to go around and see what they have set up. And the first thing I hear is Mr. Howell. We always do him first. So, wait a minute. Let's not do him first this time. Let's go on over here and see what they got. I hear you. I hear you, sir. Look, we have only one sir here at the uh, the Carvomatic. Working alone today, huh, buddy? Everybody's calling off now? I get it. I understand. At least the Nightcrawler showed up to work. <laughs> Didn't you, buddy? Did you brush your teeth before work? Um, busted. <laughs> this guy's like, yeah, he could use some serious Aquafresh. That's why he's down there. All right, we got our jumping spider here. There you go, fella. Oh, look. Oh, here we go. He has two red eyes. I thought he was a one eye for a minute. Okay, back through the chains of death. And then we're gonna go over and see Mr. Howell here. Okay, Mr. Howell, give me what you got. He's kind of quiet today. He's been really, really loud in some of the other stores. Of course, they don't have their music up very loud in here either. 
so you can hear them pretty good. Mr. Size 52s. And I noticed Sam over here. Let's not forget him, because usually I get halfway through the store and then I remember that he's over here hiding. Come on, Sam. Are you going to work? He's not working. Okay, buddy. We still like you, Mr. Pumpkinhead. Mr. Rotten Pumpkinhead. I'd hide my face too. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Okay, let's take a walk over to the human resources and see what else they have set up over here. There's some ladies looking. What in the heck are they gonna find? I love this right here. These ladies enjoying the Halloween goodness. Uh-oh, here we go with sitting Scarecrow. Is he gonna get her? Oh, the Huntress got her. All right, let's go visit the sitting scarecrow here. There you go. You are a good scarer, are you? We're going to give you some treats here. There you go. Stickers for all the young children. Let's hit the Huntress here. Come on, Huntress. Oh, there you go. <laughs> sitting scarecrow and Huntress. I wonder if they're ever going to get married. All right, Huntress, if you love your husband, give him a kiss. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, just in time, yes, to see the jumping scary pumpkin. Okay, let's get the jumping scary spider. Hello there, fella. Let's get the harvester of souls going. Here we go. Oh, he's very quiet today. Excuse me, could you quiet down over there? I'll be there in a minute. Excuse me. Okay. No fog either. Very quiet and no fog. No souls for you today. All right, Wacky, I hear you over here going nuts. We're going to give you your due. Boys and girls, who's next to get walloped by my hammer? All right, buddy. There we go. What? Wacky Mole, club me over that head. <laughs> Wacky Mole needs to have something removed. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way over here. See if there's any other animatronics set up to check out before we start digging through things in the store. Looks like they're pretty stocked with everything else. But they don't have many animatronics. They're probably just waiting for the trucks just like everybody else. Oh, here's the Halloween Kills mask. And I love this shirt right here. The happy children carving pumpkins and dang. Surprisingly, the only animatronics that I see on the floor actually for sale is this big stack of jumping spiders right here. But let's see what they have. They have the brown, they have the black and red, and they have the all black. Oh, I was wrong. Look, right over here they got some sitting scarecrows. They have four of them. I don't know why there's so many sitting scarecrows available this year. But he's one of the most awesome ones ever. Oh, sweet. Look, I don't think I've seen this one before. What is this called? Haunted Gothtober doll. Okay, is there a try me button somewhere? I can hear Wacky over there still going nuts on us. I can't find where you actually hit a button on her, though, to make her do anything. But look at that. Ooh, she's got the hollow eyes. Eyes with no soul. And this must be the grown-up version of the haunted Gothtober doll, because look, eyes with no soul, eyes with no soul. Okay, looky here, we have one of my favorites of all time, Billy Butcherson's head. Look, that hair is so crazy on him. What in the world? <laughs> I think this guy needs to get a hairdo. Let's see if the stakeable scarecrow works. Oh, yes! Look at the yellow eyes. I don't think I've taken the time to look at the scary flying ghost. It looks like, yeah, okay. So what happens with this is you've got a line that goes between like trees or your living room or something. You hook the ghost on. You can kind of see a tiny little hook up there. Hook him on and then he's sound activated. And apparently he just whizzes across the line and he probably like screams and make ghost sounds. That's pretty cool. Oh, down here we have the zombie arm pathway markers. These are some of my favorites, look at this. That is so cool. I would love to just have a whole bunch of those lining the pathway if you had a long pathway. <laughs> That's pretty creepy sounding. Look, I almost missed the animatronic Sam sitting here. 
they're kind of spread throughout the store. But yeah, there's a salmon stock. And I didn't forget about you, buddy. Okay, let's take a look at this Beetlejuice stuff over here for a second, because this stuff is pretty cool. Here's the Beetlejuice sign. Oh, it's not lighting up. It's probably doesn't have batteries or something, but look at this. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Here's Beetlejuice mugs with the sandworm on it. Then we got the gel clings. These are cool. What's it say? My whole life is a dark room. One big dark room. Okay. We got the reversible plush throw. This is on one side and this is on the other. Oh, look at this. We're dead. I don't think we have very much to worry about anymore. <laughs> That's cool. Here's another style here. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Coffee mug. Oh, that feels like it's ceramic, I think. Look at these little things here. The shrunken head. Oh my gosh. Oh, it lights up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. It lights up. All right, we got that. We got the sandworm. And we got uh, the main characters. I can never remember their names, but I got, you gotta love this. Look at the eyes on our tongue, that's hilarious. And where his hand punched through the back of his head. All right, let's look at some of these couples costumes they have over here. They have couples wolf costumes, sharks, panda union set. Look, this would be cool if you were gonna have like a Jaws movie night, you could all dress like sharks. Look, the sloth outfit. Look at the face on that, that's so hilarious. Like, what is this? Oh, this is supposed to apparently be, hmm. I guess it's just black, it's just a black suit. But then they put a picture of a panda face so that if you actually wanted to be a panda, you could in your black suit. And this one up here is hilarious. The monkeys suits, <laughs> those are cool. It's almost like pajamas. Okay, here's one that I don't think I've seen before, run. This is from The Purge. This is actually pretty cool. I've seen this one. This one reminds me of, uh, what the heck is it called? Count Olaf from a series of unfortunate events. That's what that looks like. Look, this one's called Lunar Psycho Wolf Big Mouth Mask. His mouth is absolutely enormous. My whole fist fits in there. This is one of those that you put on and, well, I think your jaw fits somewhere in there where, where it will actually move when you talk. Look, we got Deadly Teddy. This is one of the Animotion masks that moves when you talk. Man, that sound back there is loud. <laughs> this mask almost looks like the Hauntress Wailing Mask. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, money, 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 money. What is up with these outfits right here what is this oh this is like the gangster suits from the 20s okay let's check this out look at this this is super sparkly what the heck okay i would wear it and look at this one this one is gold oh my gosh that is absolutely crazy it's a newsboy cap get your tribune here's a sparkly fedora that would match one of these uh coats right here one of these jackets i guess you'd call it a blazer oh and there's the gold one right behind it see this is what i want to be i want to be spongebob with a spatula i just want to run around with a spatula chasing kids who are trick-or-treating we got some rick and morty stuff here rick sanchez here's rick's uh wig we got morty down here and then look at this mr me seekers inflatable that is hilarious that almost looks like a Sour Patch Kid. Here's a couple of Harley Quinn things I think I missed, or at least they weren't at the other store when I was pointing out Harley Quinn stuff. Somebody asked me to find this stuff. And here's a, a jacket. Oh look, this is sweet, Johnny's Cobra Kai jacket. That's like the one he wears in the original Karate Kid. Here's some more Beetlejuice stuff here. We got the new mask. And then of course, what is this? Oh, this is temporary hair color. I wonder if this one will work. Yes, look at that, how cool is that? That's what I'm talking about, that is awesome. Look up here, we have a red dress for Lydia. Then we have uh, Beetlejuice suits for girls. And then this is the Beetlejuice wedding suit. Look at this, this is cool. <laughs> that is so awesome. What the heck, look, we got a sandworm cane. That is pretty cool. Sandworm socks too. 
And of course they have all kinds of Chucky stuff here if you want to dress up like Chucky. If you want to dress up like a girl Chucky or a dude Chucky. We got Chucky's good guy sweater here. The hat, Play Pals toys. Look, we got Chucky socks. These are awesome. A little Chucky knife. Oh my gosh. Look at the face on that guy. What the heck? Oh look, they actually have a jumbo mask. This is cool. I've I've not seen a jumbo mask yet. I saw Spiky at other stores, and I saw Shorty at other stores. But this is the first one where they've actually had jumbo. And then they have the Shorty costume and the jumbo costume. There's such a reflection on there, you can't see it very well though. These top hats over here are screaming at me. <laughs> Look at these things. These are so cool. They're awesomely striped black and white. And then look, we have a black and white striped uh, umbrella and a horn. Oh God, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> then we have a striped bat. Oh, and here's the, uh, the weapons we were talking about the other day in the other store, guys. The big scissors and the buzz saw, the hammer and the machete and a clown nose. You could either wear the plastic mask, the rubber mask, or you can do the clown nose and get some scary clown makeup right here and do up your own makeup. Look at that, that's pretty cool looking. And then of course they have the Sam stuff if you wanna dress up as Sam. Here's the, uh, well this is the burlap mask, but it's a big rubber mask. That might be kinda heavy, I don't know. I'd probably try to find a burlap uh, sack and make one myself actually. These skeleton masks here remind me of Hocus Pocus. Um, I think because the guy that's singing at the party, he, at least his face is, uh, I think, painted like that. Unless he's wearing a mask, I don't remember, but that's what that reminds me of. Oh, and they have the spirit sweatshirts here, too. Those are so cool. I so wish they had my size. This store is pretty well stocked with stuff. Look, they've got the Pennywise stuff. Here they even have the socks. I don't know why I'm into the socks lately. I kind of like those. We got the mask, the costume, the Georgie raincoat, the newer Pennywise suit. Lots of Stranger Things costumes and outfits and wigs. Camp Nowhere hat, 1985. Oh, holy crap, I missed this. The Pickle Rick costume. <laughs> Look, there's a whole bunch of Rick and Morty stuff on the end here. A prototype portal gun. What is this thing here? Oh, this is a little portal gun, okay. Pickle Rick costumes. Here's a different Rick mask. And a Morty mask. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It's a Care Bears Grumpy Pear, Grumpy Bears hat. I almost called it a Grumpy Pears. <laughs> All right, and one more thing here I want to look at. Wait a minute, look. We got the gizmo suits here. These are some of my favorites if you wanted to be gizmos with your friends. But I love these also, the Sesame Street suits. Look, we've got uh, Grover. And then we got Big Bird. And then uh, Oscar the Grouch here. And of course, Elmo. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day on this one. If you have not been down here yet, they are open. Come on down and check them out. They've only got a few um, new animatronics in here at the moment, but they are gonna have a lot more very soon. So come down soon. I told you to stay away. What the heck? These are like booties. They're Freddy versus Jason booties. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> what are those? Alright, guys, today I am at Shaw's Plaza in Auburn, Maine. I already did the full store tour of this Spirit Halloween right there, but today we're gonna go back in there because I'm gonna show you everything Freddy Krueger. All right, let's head in. Now, I've already looked in here a minute ago. I made another video in here and they didn't have a whole lot of animatronics, but that's not what we're here to look at today. Today, we're here to look at everything Freddy Krueger. Okay, we're gonna start right here where the main Nightmare on Elm Street stuff is. We'll just go left to right. We got the Freddy Krueger sweater up here, which they actually, oh, I thought I thought they had some hanging down there too. Usually they do, but now these ones are just packaged up here. So that's pretty cool. Those are $34.99. That's a hard sweater to find. I've actually looked through thrift stores 
to try to find this sweater, and I've never found one like it. Um, well, no, actually, I did find one, but it was too small. Anyways, <laughs> so we got the Freddy gloves, and uh, this one here is just like the basic glove with the rubber um, blades, and, you know, if you try to do anything with them, they would just bend. This one is a little bit better quality here. Um, these blades probably still bend, but it's a little stronger than uh, this right here. And then this is like the major, uh, they call it the Supreme Edition Replica Metal Glove. So that apparently is all made out of metal. That is pretty cool. You can actually get um, ones on eBay that have real knives on them if they even still get away with selling them, but why would you really want that unless it's just to display? One of these would do perfectly fine for a costume. Now we got the Freddy masks here as well, and okay, we'll just start with this one right here. This is like the basic one, and this is just plastic, and you strap it onto your face. That's just the, the bottom of the line mask, basically. And you have this one here that's it's called the deluxe freddy krueger latex mask it's an okay mask but i've said this a hundred times before this one in my opinion looks the best out of all the freddy masks i've ever seen nightmare on elm street 4 the dream master and this is a really really good looking freddy mask it goes down under your shirt or the sweater if that's what you were wearing obviously and uh, it's just it's good quality latex and it's a really good looking mask. Definitely my favorite one I've ever seen. Except of course for the actual replicas, you know, that people make and, and put a lot of time and effort into making them look like they actually came from the movies. But as far as a retail mask, that one looks totally awesome. So let's see, I don't wanna pass this up. This is a Freddy sweater, but I think this is, yeah, I think this is actually this one right here. So if you wanted to wear this, that is what it looks like right there. It's basically the sweater, only it's a little bit longer. Or there's even another style of sweater over here. This one's actually a V-neck, and it's cut shorter than the other one. I actually really like that. That looks pretty cool. We got the Nightmare on Elm Street hat here with the uh, visor that actually looks like the sweater. What is that? Oh, cool. There's an embroidered Freddy glove inside as well. Another Nightmare on Elm Street hat here with the slashes going across the embroidered words. That's like a trucker hat style right there with uh, the mesh on the back. Nightmare on Elm Street socks. Oh, look at this. What's it say on the back? Never sleep again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at that. I like that. If it was a better looking uh, Freddy face though on the front, I would probably buy it. I do like how it's striped like the sweater and here's another one with the slashes on it and it says elm street like the uh the street sign elm street that's cool here's freddy's fedora so you could actually put together a complete freddy outfit from here the fedora one of the masks the glove and the uh the sweater in any style you choose okay we got a nightmare on elm street cosmetic kit oh i see it's gel blood and then a couple of crayons i'm not really sure what you would be putting the makeup on for unless you're like putting it around your eyes or something so that when they see your eyes through the mask maybe you have a little bit of i don't know that's just my guess we got freddie shirts down here the dreamer i think that might be the only style yeah a bunch of jason stuff here which i already did Oh, there's Michael Myers, too. That's another video. All right, I think that's it for this particular section right here. But we're going to make a walk around the store and find the other stuff, because especially up in here, they have lots of little trinkets and stuff. All right, let's see. There wouldn't be anything in weapons, because the only weapon he ever uses are the, uh, the blades on his glove. All right, let's look through here, because they usually have, like, signs and little things you can hang up that are uh, scattered throughout the store. That guy just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got a Nightmare on Elm Street throw with Freddy on it and lots of words on there. Having nightmares. Don't fall asleep. You're mine now. Look, it says Piggy. What in the heck? 
Okay, now I just want to point out this posable dummy prop here for a minute, because if you wanted to make your own Freddy Krueger prop, he wouldn't be an animatronic, but you could get this and actually dress him up like Freddy. Um, does he have hands? Yeah. Yeah, he's got hands, he's got feet, everything you need. So you just buy the, uh, the costume, basically, and then dress him up like Freddy to set him outside or wherever you want to have him. That's a pretty good idea right there. Here's a Nightmare on Elm Street picture frame. Oh, okay, but it's got the newer Freddy on it. This isn't like the 80s Freddy. This is the newer one. I don't know. I don't really care for that all that much. I mean, it's cool, but nah. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. This is a smaller store, actually, so I'm not seeing anything like the pathway lights or anything like that. So let's go into this middle section here and see what we can find, because they always have little bits and pieces of things having to do with the uh, the scary movies. Here's a Freddy vs. Jason. Oh, how cool! <laughs> what the heck? These are like booties. They're Freddy vs. Jason booties. This is Freddy, and then you got Jason on the other one. That's hilarious! Okay, let's see what else we can find in here. This is just funny. Cut off fingers. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Where are you, Freddy? I know there's more Freddy stuff in here. I've seen the Freddy lanyards in other stores. Um, hmm, I'm not seeing it here, though. We got Michael Myers there, but I'm not seeing Freddy anywhere. Kind of strange. All right, let's see. We got the shot glasses here. Let's see if we can find one. There's Jason. I don't think I saw that when I did the Jason video. Oh, here we go. How cool is this, guys? Let me see if I can get it out of here. It's stuck. All right, hold on. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Look at this. Never sleep again. And there he is. Freddy on a shot glass. That is too cool. All right. Here's a Freddy shot glass. Okay, let's keep on looking here. They usually have, like, magnets and stickers and... Here's Pez. It would be so cool if they had a Freddy Pez. Oh wait, here's buttons. Let's see what we got. <gasps> Look, a ghost face button. That is so cool. All right, let's see if we can find a Freddy. Here's a Michael Myers. Um, are you in here, Freddy? Freddy the Thirteenth. Beetlejuice. Look at this. I love butts. <laughs> What the heck? There's got to be a Freddy one. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. There's a Freddy pin right there. Freddy button. $1.99 that is. All right, let's keep looking here. Oh, nothing in there. Here's some cups. Do we have any Freddy cups? There's got to be. What in the world? I am so surprised I don't see any at all. That is really strange. I didn't even see any, like, hiding. Here's a Halloween Resurrection, though. What the heck, they got Halloween Resurrection, but not Freddy. Okay, let's keep on looking here. What is this? Syringe shots? Okay, that's weird. Okay, Freddy, do you have a mug here? What in the world? This is the strangest thing. Maybe it's just because it's a smaller store, but I know there's Freddy mugs that exist. Um, okay, this is really weird. There's got to be more stuff. Hmm, I'm, I'm so surprised, guys. Like, look, okay, we have Pennywise cards, we have Friday the 13th, we even have Beetlejuice and Mandalorian cards, but I see no Freddy cards. Okay, oh, here's the, uh, the stickers. Will we have a Freddy? What the heck? I don't see any Freddies. <laughs> this is so crazy. Hocus Pocus, Friday the 13th. I gotta say, this is pretty dang cool right here. This is a magnet, Friday the 13th magnet. Okay. Yeah, this is really weird to not find more. I love this magnet though. I bought this one the other day. It's on the back of the car, Support Halloween. I love that one. All right, let's make our way around here. Maybe there's, no. Ooh, is there? A Freddy in here? I don't think. I don't see a Freddy in there. Why the heck would they be omitting Freddy's? I don't understand. Freddy is awesome. We got Ouija mints 
and Chucky and oh birds of prey okay here's Friday the 13th Pennywise Halloween what in the world here's even Sam's lollipop here okay this isn't Freddy but this is kind of cool Friday the 13th gator hmm okay well I guess that must be everything for the Freddy Krueger in this particular Spirit Halloween. There he is. I know that the bigger stores have tons more stuff up here and uh, usually about the same stuff that they have right here. But Freddy is one of my favorites. I just can't understand why they don't have more fun stuff up here having to do with Freddy. I told you to stay away! Oh my God! <laughs> Okay, no, they didn't. Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are those? Alright guys, today I am in Salem, Massachusetts, and I just took this ginormous RV down a one-way street, and the people yelled at me when I went by him. I think they said, BURN HIM! But what I'm here for is to see this Spirit Halloween right here. There's actually two of them. This is the one that's in the Target shopping center. The other one's by a Walmart, but we're gonna go in this one today. We're gonna go in both of them while we're here. I'm wondering if this Target has any Halloween stuff out yet, but we'll figure that out later because we are going into the Spirit for now. All right, guys, right in the door, I see some animatronics and cool stuff stacked up right over here. We're going to check them out in a second, but first we're going to check out this guy here. Mr. Powell, if you will. I can already hear Wacky over here going wacky. So here we go. Let's get this guy up and going. He is super loud today. I love that. And there he goes with the chomping motion, like if you had your head in his mouth, you would be chomped. All right, Wacky just will not shut up, so let's get over here and give him his due. Hello, mister. Give me what you got. I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer. <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm gonna whack you over the head, too. I hear ya. You gotta love his green shoes, and I'm not gonna say it. We're reserving it for Johnny Punk, but you gotta love the green shoes. We got Sam over here with the burlap head. <laughs> okay guys, I've heard enough of you. Let's go back here and see if there's any other animatronic setup that we can check out. Here we go, is there anything? I'm seeing all kinds of cool animatronics that are for sale, but we're just gonna give it a minute and then we'll come back to those. Okay, I don't see anything over here, I don't see anything over here, I don't see anything over here. <laughs> okay guys, no more animatronics that are set up, so we're gonna look at what they have for sale here. And we're gonna start out with Wraith. I love this one right here so much, I say it every time I see them. 169 bucks, I wanna buy them right now. Look at this guys, they have something totally awesome right underneath this, but I gotta show you the Feed the Clown game. He is totally cool. And look what they got here, Mr. Toots. They got two of them. This one totally cracks me up, because look at this. As you're looking at the box, they have like these stripes back here that make it look like he's just zooming by. But in reality, he just goes, Okay guys, we got a whole stack of things over here. There's some children over here looking. Look at all these jumping spiders. We got the black and red, we got the brown, and we got the black. All three different colors of jumping spiders right here. Peek over here, and we'll go down there in a minute. I thought I saw something cool. Anything over here. All right, look at what we got here, guys. Harvester of Souls for sale right now. We got a sitting scarecrow right here. And then on the other side, look at this. Wait, we got more sitting scarecrows. One, two, three sitting scarecrows, and a Sam. I think that is it for the animatronics, guys, but I did see something cool over here. I noticed that we have the Halloween Kills mask here. And look, they got a whole bunch of them, man. Somebody told me that there was one of these stores that somebody went in and like bought them all out or something. They got one, two, three, four, five of them here. And then look at this. They have, I think this is the regular Halloween. Yeah. 
This is from Halloween 1, even though, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty good mask. I like it. That one looks better since the face isn't smashed. <laughs> and then we got this one down here, which is Halloween 2. Which, that movie is all right, but that's not my favorite mask ever. Holy crap, look at this Jason shirt. This is the first place I've seen this shirt. This is pretty cool. Look, Camp Crystal Lake, Jason's face, and Jason's machete. Here's some Freddy socks right here. And I honestly, I don't think they had these in the store when I did all the Freddy stuff in uh, Spirit recently. I'm very tempted to buy these. I've been loving the socks recently. In fact, I'm wearing my Scream socks right now. My Scream shirt. All right, let's go back here just for a minute because I know I saw a whole bunch of clearance stuff somewhere around here. Here it is right here. They always have a little clearance section, guys. This one looks like they have a whole bunch of stuff. All right, we got the football star. We got gymnastics leotard. Look, it's shiny too. Winter assassin, prom queen, 80s prom suit. This is hilarious, I love this. This is like the suit Jason Biggs wore on American Pie. Here's a Fortnite Zoe. We got a Nuka Cola gun. Borderlands Moxie's megaphone. Overwatch headset, a Reaper shotgun. They got all kinds of stuff here, guys. Look at this. Navy flight jumpsuit from Top Gun. More Overwatch. Toy Story 4 socks. I would totally wear these if they were made for a dude like me. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at the voodoo doll. This is so cool. I should totally make Nate guy dolls like this. Okay, let's make our way over here, guys, because I saw a whole bunch of cool stuff. Here's the Jason pathway markers we were looking for in the other store. I love how those light up. Look how cool that is. And they're huge, too. They're as big as my hand. Look, I got the Michael Myers door greeters here, but the buttons are pushed out so we can't try them. We got Georgie's boat. Pennywise shadow lights. I love this one. Light this up in your room and it throws that all over your walls and your ceiling. We all float down here. Oh look, we got the Pennywise pathway markers down here. Yes. <laughs> Pretty cool, I love those. We also have the Pennywise ground breakers here. Look, we got the Chucky greeter with the bowl of popcorn. Got the Pennywise statue here that lights up. That's pretty creepy. And look at these two guys going crazy down here. Okay, one at a time. Let's watch his face. Look at that. So cool. And look at his teeth. Look, we got the crawling monster hands. These are cool because they're shaped like a hand. And if you push this button, it actually would walk across your floor. King Clown door knocker. You can barely hear him because everything else in here is going nuts without me even touching it. All right, let's give the door knockers their chance. He says the same thing every time. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, here's our zombie babies, and they only have three of them. Look at this happy, jolly guy doing a handstand. Look at the teeth on this one. That is so funny. Stakeable talking clown heads. Listen to these guys. Oh my gosh, look at his face. Look at this guy. I think he's creepier than this one. What the heck? Here lies Beetlejuice, and here lies Snickers, and here's some more for the bucket. Scoops ahoy! Oh my gosh, for a second I thought this was like a three pack of these socks. These are totally cool. Nightmare Before Christmas. I would totally get this hat if I were going to be anywhere where it's actually going to be cold, but I'm going to Florida for the winter. This is one of the coolest outfits, guys. Look at this. Inflatable oogie boogie. Like I could wear this and you'd probably never know that I'm fat. <laughs> Boogie, you are the best little fat hider ever. We got Beetlejuice. Oh, and look at this. This is only a half mask. I don't know if I've seen this before. This one's like a full head rubber mask. And this one's a rubber mask, but it only covers half of your head. <laughs> okay, no, they didn't. Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> that is too funny. All right, guys, I'm gonna jam. I got one more place to go in Salem here. One more Spirit Halloween before I take off. But before I go, we're gonna leave some stickers here with the Harvester of Souls. All right, guys, that is it 
for Salem Spirit number one. I gotta get back here before my RV gets towed. I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, this has got to be the noisiest spirit I have been in yet. Holy crap. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> what are those? All right, guys, we are at number two Spirit Halloween here in Salem, Massachusetts. This one is in a Walmart shopping center. Here it is. Even the airplanes are coming out to see the Spirit Halloween. Let's go in and check it out. Oh, this one closes early, guys, 7 p.m. Oh, no, today's Sunday. It closes at 6. I'm glad we got here when we did. Oh, I'm getting excited. Look, we got the Hauntress, and she's hiding in plain sight. We're going to pretend we don't see her. We don't see you. Oh, <laughs> here she went over to this side. I was expecting her to come to this side. All right, let's do it again. Give you your due, Miss Hauntress. There you go. Okay. Look at you. Look at those hollow eyes. I know you have love in your heart somewhere. I can hear Sam over here, and I can hear Wolfie over here. All right, let's see what you got. I'll tell you what. Give me a howl if you think the Hauntress has love in her heart. Oh, I think so. <laughs> we know you have love in your heart. Who couldn't who has size 52s? Okay, let's go through the factory over here through the chains of death. What? Okay. We still do have chains of death. All right, chain of death, chain of death, chain of death. And I want you to pay attention as I walk through here. Listen. See, somebody told me the other day that that sound goes off when somebody makes a donation. And I think it does, but it's also on a trigger in here. I also noticed the lights aren't blinking. However, the pumpkin guts are squishing, so I'm happy about that. Okay, they're waiting for animatronics to come in as well as everyone else, but we do have a jumping spider, and look, he's frozen in mid-jump. Sorry, guy, you'll get it back soon. Let's go check out Sam over here, because I can hear him making noise. All right, Sam, I'm here for you, buddy. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you all alone. Okay, I see some animatronics over here on the floor, but let's just take a quick peek around here and see if there's anything else set up. Nothing over here, but look at this. This is cool. This is a whole wall here that goes down three quarters of the store. And then as you walk through here, there's a doorway and it looks like a haunted house. Ooh, wait a minute, I hear him. There he is. Look at all that fog, what in the heck? I hear you too, hold on, we'll get there. This is totally insane, guys. Look at this. There's so much noise going on right now. I hear you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, watch this. Look at this. Guys, this has got to be the noisiest spirit I have been in yet. Holy crap. Look at all the fog on the harvester here. When she blows the fog out, it goes straight up past his head. Watch this. He doesn't even get her soul because it goes the wrong direction. Watch. <laughs> oh my god, look at it. She's just like blowing it into his eyes. Oh my gosh, and those guys both are on the sensor over here, so they are so loud and they will not shut up. Look at this, guys, this is hilarious. All the fog from the harvester is floating around the entire store. This is so cool. This may be my favorite spirit yet. Look, we got this guy going, but we can't hear him because of these two back here going crazy. All right, let's go back over here for a second. Look at that cracks me up. Wacky can't even get in a word otherwise. Here we go. All right, Wacky, oh, 
there's some pieces down there. Maybe he's just not working. Sorry, Wacky. It's okay. Sorry about your mole. Yeah, look at this. Look at all the fog that you can see just billowing out from there. That is too funny. I just want to stand here and watch this all day, guys. <laughs> This is just absolutely insane! Oh my gosh, alright. We gotta come over here to get away from that for a few minutes. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. I don't think I've seen this anywhere else. Friday the 13th, Camp Crystal Lake Counselor. How cool is that? I love that. <laughs> look at the socks. Here's the Freddy versus Jason booties. And here's like a whole pack. How many pairs of socks? One, two, three, four, five pairs of socks in here. Oh my gosh, guys, I was so stoked by the Harvester and the Night Stalker. I forgot about these animatronics over here. Okay, it looks like we got four sitting scarecrows here. And then we got a stack of the jumping spiders. And they're unpacking a whole bunch of stuff over here right now. I think I've said this one before, but this bone skull mask right here reminds me of Halloween Part 3. This one kind of does too, the silver shamrock masks. Alright guys, there's one more thing I want to see over here, and that is all the stuff that has to do with Hocus Pocus, because we are in Salem after all. I'm actually really surprised that they're not 100% totally stocked. Just being that this is Salem but they do have several different outfits for each of Winifred, Sarah, and Mary. We got a couple of wigs here, Hocus Pocus socks. What is this, a three-piece bath set with bath salt? They have the Billy Butcherson makeup set, but they do not have the Billy Butcherson costume or the Billy Butcherson head. Okay, guys, that is it for spirit number two in Salem, Massachusetts. The music was so loud in there, I could hardly talk over it in some areas. And then what the heck, the Harvester and the Night Stalker were going absolutely insane. One more look before I hit the road, guys. Stick around, because there's plenty more coming. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> And another one of my favorites, the inflatable wavy arms guy. Look at an inflatable grandma! I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are those? Alright guys, today I am in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. What in the world is a Woon? No matter, because we are at a Spirit Halloween, and this place looks awesome. Look, this is the first Spirit I've ever been to that's actually in a corner building. At first I thought this was an old Lawson's or something, but I bet you anything it used to be a drugstore. And what was with that crazy hairpin turn off the highway? It is not easy driving this monster boat around these little towns. Let's go in. Woonsocket. You're on. And as expected, right up front, we have Mr. Howell. All right, let's get him rolling here, guys. Everybody loves Mr. Howell, including me. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure that he said, I wouldn't suck it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Wooden suck it. We're moving over here, and we got the night crawler. Let's hit him. Here he comes. I just watched a live video the other day of Brick Thunder putting together the Nightcrawler. It was absolutely insane. I don't even want to try it myself. I would be growling too if my teeth were so dirty. I think you need a little brushy brush. All right, let's get Sam rolling here. I've only seen one store where he had the alternate head. I don't know why that is. Is the other one harder to put on or something? And he never has anything in his bag. Okay, Mr. Sam, we heard you. Let's hit up Wacky Mole here. Hello, Mr. Mole. Come on now. Come on. Here we go. Uh-oh. No lights. No moving. But he does have sound. Let's listen. I don't know about you guys, but when I see his teeth, it makes me want to eat candy corn. That doesn't mean I want to kiss him. 
That just means I want to get my own bowl of candy corn. <laughs> All right, let's take a stroll back here, see if they have any other animatronics set up. Wow, this is actually a pretty big store in here. I didn't expect this. I saw something back there that I haven't seen before, but we'll come back to it. I like how this store is set up with little segments to go back in and then back in there and then back in there. Okay, is there anything? No, that's just a warehouse door or something. Okay, let's keep on looking. There might be more or maybe not. Okay, I don't see any more set up, but I do see a whole bunch in boxes around the floor. So let's look at those. We have the always awesome Harvester of Souls right here. I'm still cracking up about the one I saw in Salem where she was blowing the smoke like over his head. Okay, and then we got a Wraith over here. I would love to see him set up in one of these stores actually. And he is surrounded by sitting Scarecrow. Oh look, and we got a Hauntress down here too. I don't think I realized that the Hauntress is only 130 bucks. That's pretty cool. Of course, we got the jumping spiders. We got a brown one and a black one. And I don't see the black and red in this stack. I thought I saw a whole other stack of jumping spiders somewhere in here, but apparently not because I can't find them now. But I do want to go back here and check out this little cove back here. I love this store. They have all kinds of coves. Here's the Mask Cove, the Haunted Mask Cove. And then, oh, look at this. I, okay, I didn't notice this in other stores, guys. Maybe it's there, but I haven't been looking. Look at this creepy looking clown up here. And then over on the other side, we have the creepy, scary pumpkin. <laughs> Maybe those have been in other stores and I just haven't noticed them because I've been so focused on everything else, like the Halloween Kills mask. Somebody asked me to do a Everything Michael Myers in, uh, in the Spirit Halloween, and I think somebody actually put this back in the wrong place. They probably picked it up, put it on, wore it around the store, and then stuck it over here because I noticed the Michael Myers stuff is over there, although there's a couple more masks there. Holy crap, Michael Myers is everywhere. And then they hung it right over this pig mask. And let's take that right back off there, because I want to look at the pig. I thought maybe that was a uh, The Butcher mask, <laughs> but I don't think it is. I think I saw it like a full head butcher mask somewhere, at least in one of the stores, and I don't see it in here, at least at the moment. Although here's a pretty cool looking happy clown. That kind of reminds me of the newest Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin in Woonsucket. <laughs> so yeah, over here at least, I don't see a butcher mask, but I know that they have the butcher costume. So let's go on over here for a minute towards the costumes and see if we can find it over here. I love the setup of this store, guys. It's coves everywhere you look. Cove over there, cove over there, cove back there. Yep, here it is, guys, right here, the pig butcher. I knew they had a costume. We gotta find the mask, though. I don't know if they have the mask, but they definitely have. The... Oh, look, the mask comes with it. That's pretty cool. All right, full butcher costume. Okay, this is something that I don't think I've filmed yet, but it's just like basic stuff that you can use to dress up for Halloween um, without putting a whole lot of effort in it. These are kind of cool. Look, we got a pumpkin poncho, a silver spiderweb poncho, and all you have to do is like toss it over your head. If you're one of those people who doesn't really want to dress up for the Halloween party, just toss the poncho on. We got a bat poncho. Ooh, she's got purple hair. Okay. Spider web leggings, which would actually look totally awesome with any of these, and that's easy too. And then look at this a bat dress. I absolutely love the bat dress. Look, the arms, the sleeves are like bat wings. And then here's just a basic Halloween jersey, black and orange striped. We gotta look at these shirts too. Look at this. Let's get smashed. A winking pumpkin. Okay, that's yeah, we're just gonna say he's winking. There's a pumpkin creeping it real. This is one of my favorite ones. I love this. And this is a totally sweet pumpkin shirt. Look at that. Little pumpkies all over it. And I want to see one of you guys wearing this. Look at this. It's a total pumpkin suit. Is it the whole suit? All right, let's look. Yes, it is a complete suit. Somebody has to get this, put it on, and take a picture, and post it on my Facebook page. Look, it even comes with a tie. Oh, look at this, guys. This is the first place where I've seen both the jumbo mask and the jumbo suit. So if you want to be jumbo, here's your chance. I absolutely love these socks, guys, which is why I bought them the other day. <laughs> but it's funny because look how skinny his face is. But when I put him on, his whole face stretches out on my big calves. 
Here's the Jason shirt that we saw in the other store. You know, I'm really excited to see, like, once everything finally shows up, all these trucks that are having such trouble getting here, I want to see all the new stuff. I cannot wait to see what starts filling these shelves and walls. Look at this sweet vampire mask from Trick or Treat. That is awesome. Oh, look at this. This is sweet. I don't think I've seen this before. A Trick or Treat treat bag. Sam's burlap sack for trick-or-treating. That's cool. You could put heads in there, too. Somebody asked me to look at the Harry Potter stuff, too. So here we got a whole bunch of stuff. Look, ties from all the houses. Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. Man, they got a great selection of Harry Potter stuff. It's not very often you see all four of the houses in these stores together. They usually have, like, two or three of them. Look, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. We got Harry's glasses, socks from all the houses. We got robes here. Here's a v-neck sweater. Hermione's skirt. And then this looks like a one-piece Hermione suit with the shirt and the skirt all together. Hats, tattoos, and iron-on patches. How cool is that? Wenda. What in the world? I've never heard of Wenda. I've heard of Where's Waldo, and he's right here. But I've never heard of Wenda. I guess that's because they never found her. Here, look at this. We got a cat in a hat tutu. Thing one and two rompers. Thing wigs. Thing curls. Cat in a hat deluxe hat. Oh, look at this. They got the cat in a hat jumpsuit. Cat in a hat tights. Thing leg warmers. Here's a giant bow tie. Look, thing one and thing two socks. These are awesome. All right, let's look in these little coves back here. Let's start over here with the accessories. Here's everything you need if you want to dress like an angel. They have different types of angel wings here. Look, they got a halo. Or the black wings if you want to be a fallen angel. Red wings if you want to be evil. A blind mouse costume. That's hilarious. Glasses, a tail. What in the heck is that? Nunchucks? Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. It's a cane. It's not nunchucks. Okay, let's go in the other cove here and look at some of these inflatable costumes back here. I've pointed this one out several times. I love this one. The inflatable balloon animal. I love how it's so shiny too. Too. Do you guys remember the uh, the balloon animal running around in one of the Night at the Museum movies? That never really made any sense to me, because why would an inflatable dog be at a museum? We got the inflatable chicken, inflatable dinosaur, and another one of my favorites, the inflatable wavy arms guy. Look at an inflatable grandma! Wait, is she inflatable? <laughs> what the heck? I'm such a nerd. No, the grandma is not inflatable, but she does have a big padded butt. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this costume before. Wild West? This is actually pretty cool. This is another cool one. The peanut butter and jelly couples costume. The party pooper. Oh, and milk and cookies. I could go for her giant cookie right now. This is actually a pretty good sized store, guys. From all the little coves. Oh, and look, I almost forgot about this guy here. The deadhead baby on a skin stick. That has got to be the funniest prop I've seen this year, guys. How crazy is that? Here's a ton of weapons back here. We'll save that for another video, though. I can't do everything in each video. More weapons here. Just all kinds of stuff in this store, guys. This is one of the biggest ones I've been in so far this year. And I hardly even touched this cove over here, but it looks like they're still waiting for a lot of stuff to arrive in here. I do like this, though. The two zombie lawn stakes with the hands that stick up. And look at this. We have the lone arm, like it's been cut off or chewed off by a shark. And we got zero with the pumpkin on his nose. And I definitely have to get something today, so I'm gonna get these Michael Myers socks. These are so cool, especially because I'm wearing my Michael Myers shirt today. All right, guys, it seems in these stores I have to just pick little places to put the stickers that are random, because nobody has a bucket this year like Charlie last year. Stickers, stickers. We'll put some on the astronaut helmet. We'll put some over here by the Huntress. We'll put a couple by Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Here's a couple for Sam. And we'll leave some for Wacky, since he's so wacky. All right, guys, that is it for the Wound Socket Rhode Island Spirit Halloween. I got my Michael Myers socks, and I am excited. And stick around. Make sure you subscribe. We're on to the next one. What the heck is this on her head? Like, why does every grandma have to have that on her head?
All right, guys, today I am in Dayville, Connecticut. I'm kind of confused, though, because apparently this town is also called Killingly, which I don't really get, but it fits because this Spirit Halloween is killingly awesome. This appears to be a smaller store, but you never know. Sometimes the smaller stores have the better stuff. So let's go on in and see what they have. Holy crap, guys, right in the door, I see something that I have not seen at any Spirit Halloween this year yet. And that would be... Waving Wally. Holy crap, guys, they got a couple cool things that haven't been set up in other stores. And they also got this little zombie guy here. Hello, Wally, I missed you. All right, let's get him rolling here. <laughs> well, he is certainly waving. <laughs> He's kind of hard to hear because of the music. I totally forgot. I expected him to do something else, but he's waving Wally. All he does is wave. Oh, sweet. We have a whole bunch of animatronics down through the middle here. We have Sam over here, but we'll go there in a minute. And we have the Nightcrawler right here. Here he comes. Look at this. I love when they have his hair hanging down like that. I think he is so much creepier. A lot of times his hair is tucked up in the hood, but that looks so creepy right there. Let's do it one more time because I want to see his hair fly when he jumps. Watch. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. Kind of reminds me of Demonic Dahlia when she would jump and she, all her hair would fly forward. We got Mr. Red and Black Jumpy here. Hello, fella. I like your fur. Let's go through the tunnel of non-existent chains of death and over to the side here to see what they have hanging out. And it would be little skelly bones. Look at this guy. They even got the hat on him. Are you about to make some pumpkins, sir? I don't know if I've ever seen little skelly bones set up like that, but he's so cool looking. He's not actually doing any skelly boning, but <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, guys, let's take a walk through the store here before we come back to those animatronics that are in the boxes on the floor. And we're going to see if there's anything else set up. And it looks like there is. This is a long store, too. And look, we got a couple of things set up over here. That's cool. All right, we don't have Mr. Dark. I always have to look for him just in case. And the elusive clipboard is not here either. But we do have some awesome monsters set up over here waiting for us. One of them is the Hauntress. It's so funny when they have the Hauntress set up like this. Ooh, that looks cool because of all the colors there. But it's funny when they have her set up like this because she's supposed to be hiding behind something. Okay, let's see here. Come on, Hauntress. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> scared the crap out of me because she waited to do it. She was like, I'm going to make this fool wait. But what I was saying was, that it's, there you go. <laughs> it's so strange because you never know which way she's going to go. When she's hiding behind something, you don't even know she's there. So anyway, let's move on to this giant fellow right here. Let me just stand back here for a second and show you this, guys, because it looks pretty cool. It's a little bit darker in this store than it has been in others. So this really looks cool with the blinking lights up here, the flashing lights on top, the little blinking lights here, and then you got the skeletons up here all with their eyes going. They're watching. They must be on the, uh, the sensor because this guy just keeps on going off. He didn't pick her up and there is no fog. He's still cool anyway though, pretty freaky. Okay, let's try out Mr. Howell here, see if he's working. Look how giant he is in here. Look at this, holy crap, is he gonna touch the ceiling? Almost. <laughs> oh my gosh, he almost touches the ceiling, he's so huge. Dang, look at that. Honestly, I wish he growled a little bit more than he does before he howls or even after. <laughs> so cool. I know we already listened to you. All right, let's come on over here to Wacky Mole. We got the black lights on. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk to Wacky over here. All right, let's try that again, Wacky. Bad Halloween costumes make me crazy. Look at the shadow. They make me wanna follow things with my hammer again. I think, I think I'm going crazy again. <laughs> I love how the shadow's moving back and forth up there. So these guys must all be on sensors because they just keep going off. 
but look at this. We got a little spider down here all alone, and I don't know. Hmm. I can't get him to jump, so. Hello, Spidey. You'll get your life back soon. Quiet, mister. All right, let's take a walk back here real quick and see if they have any other animatronics on the floor, even in boxes. I do not see any back in this area. Look at this. I don't know if I've seen this one before. Spinning Head Harlequin. Oh, cool. Look. I don't know if she's supposed to light up or make sound. I don't hear anything. I don't see any lights, but look how her head spins. That is so cool. <laughs> I love that. Spinning Head Harlequin. All right. We got this shaky guy right here, which is the only one out of this whole lineup that works right now. You probably have to pull those little tabs on here somewhere, but I'm just not gonna do that if it's not already pulled. I like the looks of this scary guy. And of course we have our zombie babies. I'm still looking for another zombie burrito baby. Oh, look at this, we got the Good Times doll and I have seen him before, but I don't think I've ever seen this one. The Clown Haunted doll. What in the world? Let's see if we can try him. What's he supposed to do? Where's the button? He's laughing. Okay. Yeah, he's turned down so quiet you can't understand what he's saying, but he is pretty cool. And I have never seen him in a store before. Well, Mr. Clown Haunted Doll, we're going to leave you a few stickers right there. Look at this undead head. It almost looks like Mr. Dark. That is creepy. I love it. Okay, we got a handful of animatronics up here in the middle that we're going to go look at. But here's the bunch of uh, jumping spiders. We got the black one, we got the black and red, and we have the brown. Most stores have all three of the, uh, the jumping spiders if you want one or the other. So let's see what they have in stock right here. Right off the bat, we have the Nightcrawler. Yes, very, very cool. Creepy crimson girl on a swing. You gotta love that one. And again, we have like six sitting scarecrows. And over here, we have a headless help. I haven't seen him for a while. Followed by the Night Stalker. I'm actually kind of surprised they don't have him set up. We got some clown toe tappers on the top here. Oh, they're working too. Tap them. We got both of them going. See, this is what I love about going to all the different stores. You don't see all the same stuff in every store. Look at this. What the heck? It's like a Jack Skellington Mickey or something. What in the world? Vamp Teddy, it's called. I don't even know what the heck that is. I thought it was Jack Skellington, but I guess not. That is Jack Skellington. That is not. That is Sally. I guess it was the stripes that totally threw me off because he's right beside... Jacks, I don't know. Whatever, I'm out of here. Here's a bouncy pillow, Jack Skellington. Scary gargoyle pathway markers. I wish they made sounds. I thought they did the last time I played them, but um, I guess not. They just light up, that's all. You gotta put your own sounds in. We got the vintage clowns, but there's no button to push. We got the creepy pathway skulls. I love those. Like lightning. Oh wait, we got some more down here. Let's see if there's a button. There you go. Very cool. Okay, I see some purge stuff here. A couple people asked me to look at the purge stuff. So here's one mask. Here's another one. Kiss me, that's pretty freaky. Here's this guy. Uh, let's see, oh, we got this one down here. I just saw this one for the first time the other day. We got a purge shirt. I purged. I survived the purge. That's pretty cool. Here we got the purge election year. Okay. And then we got another shirt here. The purge anarchy. An American tradition. Nothing on the back. And of course, even though it doesn't say purge on it, here's all kinds of cool weapons you could use if you were purging. I especially like this one, the giant screwdriver. Oh, look at this. Here's the baby with a skin stick, which is pretty creepy. But then the, here's this one that has like that same feel to the stick, almost like it's supposed to be skin. It's like rubbery. And this skull that totally creeps me out. Oh my gosh, look, they actually have a Billy Butcherson mask. I haven't seen the Billy Butcherson mask for such a long time. $49.99. Billy, you silly guy. Look at Grandma. <laughs> what the heck is this on her head? Like, why does every grandma have to have that on her head? I am offended for you, Grandma. Of course, here's also super soft 
old woman. <laughs> Look at the curls. That just cracks me up. Oh, this is one where you put your chin right in there and her mouth moves with yours. That is super creepy. Oh look guys, we got a Slenderman Super Skins costume. That's pretty cool, but you would pretty much have to be like super tall to pull that off. Okay, we're gonna leave you a couple of stickers, Miss Huntress. There you go. And how about a couple of stickers for Beetlejuice? Guys, I don't think we did Sam. I think I completely passed him by. I'm sorry, Sam, buddy. Here you go. All right, there you go. And here's a whole bunch of trick-or-treat stuff besides Sam. We got the Sam hangers. You just hang them up somewhere. Pretty cool. The treat bag. We got the clown, bunny, and skeleton mask. Sam string lights, which are, oh, they're actually blinking down here already. Look, Sam's rules of Halloween book. Sam's sucker, and this is one you can actually eat. Got the Sam costume, and yeah, this one comes with the mask. I didn't think it did. Jumpsuit, gloves, and mask. That's the full costume right there. Or you can get the deluxe Sam mask here. And they have Sam socks, too. Look at this, guys. I don't think I saw this before. You got all these different Different kinds of socks which i have seen but down here you have like a whole pack of horror movie socks that is sweet look at this guys they have the nightmare on elm street cards here i think these are the ones we were looking for the other day and we couldn't find them and look at this awesome edward scissorhands decal this is cool oh look at the chucky socks and they only have one pair left all right they're mine Crap, look guys, I almost missed this. They actually have spirit hats in this one. I haven't seen those in any other stores. Okay, well, that is it, guy, for this store. Can't even remember where we're at now. I've been to so many. Oh, Dayville, Connecticut. Killingly, that's what it is. There it is, Killingly, Connecticut. I got my Chucky socks, and I am heading to another spirit Halloween. <laughs> Oh, how cool is this? I finally found a place that has the wraith set up. I told you to stay away. Okay guys, today I am in Reading, Pennsylvania. Maybe it's pronounced Reading, Pennsylvania, even though it's pronounced Reading, California and Reading Railroad, I don't know. But there is a Spirit Halloween right in front of me. Now I could be wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me, but I believe this used to be an AC Moore. Look how huge the Spirit sign is on this one. That sign is absolutely enormous. One of the biggest I have seen on a Spirit Halloween. All right, let's go in and check this out. Hopefully they have all the animatronics that we've been waiting for. And holy crap, I forgot my hat, but that's okay. Because we're not here to see the hat. We're here to see Spirit Halloween and the awesomeness. Guys, I'm so disappointed because I don't see the animatronics I was wanting to see, but I do see some other things that I haven't seen before in other stores. So this is gonna be cool no matter what. Okay, we do have Mr. Howell here. However, we're not gonna start with him today. We always start with him. You guys are probably tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over. So we're gonna go over here to something else I see. No, not Punctured Pete, but it is one that I said I wanted to see set up. Look at this guy right here, Headless Jack. Isn't that what his name is? Yeah, Headless Jack, holy crap. I don't know why they call him Headless Jack because he definitely does have a head. I know, Bubba, I'll get to you in just a minute. So yes, Headless Jack, I don't know what he does. Look at the size of these arms. They're so long, what the heck? Okay, I hope, I know I'm coming. Okay, I hope this is his. Let's see if it'll go. Well, apparently it's not gonna do anything, but there are signs on everything that say do not touch the animatronics. So I don't know if people like, maybe they broke them. I don't know. Maybe there's just been so many people in here stomping on those that they broke them. All right, Bubba, do what you're gonna do. There you go. Hello, Mr. Bubby. Hello, Bubby. I like you. Oh crap, I touched an animatronic. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm out. Don't get me in trouble. Nightcrawler, let's see what you can do. 
he's not working either. What in the heck did people do to these animatronics? All right, look, we got the pumpkin carvomatic. And what I notice in here different from other places is they got some serious chainsaw sounds going on, guys. This is absolutely crazy and so loud. And look at this. We have a brown jumping spider. And he actually works. Hello, Mr. Brownie. Okay, we're going to go through the chains of death here. This is so loud in here right now. Please do not pull on the chains of death. What the heck is going on in Reading, Pennsylvania, guys? People must be wreaking havoc on the Spirit Halloween in Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay, let's come on back over here for a minute and we'll get Mr. Howell going. Here he goes. Okay, give it to me. There you go, okay. And I did notice that we have the Hauntress hiding back here. There's a second foot pedal, so let's hit it and see if that belongs to her. I don't know. Will she jump? Will she jump? No, I guess not. You keep hiding there, my friend. All right, let's go back through the chains of death. Don't worry, we're not pulling the chains, I promise. Oh, how cool is this? I finally found a place that has the wraith set up. Let's see if we can get him going. There we go, yes, listen. So cool. Back and forth, up and down. I love it. <laughs> so spooky. That is so cool. That makes me so glad that I came to this location today, guys. So awesome. I love the sounds. Sounds like a haunted mansion. Okay, before we move on to the rest, I want to show you this. This is what I could see from the door that I said I had not seen in other stores before. This is from Beetlejuice. And look at this. This is so cool. I can't believe they only have the one, though, instead of him and his wife. But look at his face. And there's where his hand came through the back, if you remember in the movie. And then look at his hands with the eyeballs on his fingers. That is hilarious. Adam is his name. I can never remember. But yeah, remember he put his hand up here and he pushed out his nose. And then he put his other hand through the back of his head there. That is so cool. We've got lots of animatronics in here for sale, guys. I'm going to get to those in just a minute. But let's go over and see what they got set up over here. Okay, it is pretty much the same as what they have in the other stores. You know, sometimes they swap them out when they don't have these to set up. So it's always fun to come in and look and see what they do have set up. So we're going to start with this jolly guy right here. <laughs> he is so dang loud, man. <laughs> All right, let's move on over here and give these guys their due. Jumping black and white spider. Okay, let's get the Harvester of Souls going. Come on. Nope, he's not going to work, I guess. All right, see if we can get Wacky Mole going. Come on, Wacky. Come on. What in the heck is going on in here? Half of these, like, are not even plugged in or... I don't know. I don't know what's happening in this area, but... Please do not touch the animatronics because apparently everyone has broken them. Let's go over and look here a second on the other side. No, they don't have anything set up over here, any animatronics, I mean. So let's go ahead and look at what they have on the floor because they have a whole bunch of animatronics set up, stacked up around this whole place. To start with, as always, we have a giant stack of jumping spiders. Guys, we got the black ones. Uh, there's the black and red. I'm sure we have brown ones in here somewhere. Um, or I could be wrong. I don't see any brown ones. All right, well, that's cool anyway. Over here, look at this. Look how many sitting scarecrows they have. Oh my gosh, there's like 12 of them here. Holy crap. What in the world is up with the overflow of sitting scarecrows this year? We got a Sam here, if anybody's looking for him. And right on the other side of him, we have two wraiths. That is so cool. I'm gonna have to go over and watch him one more time before I leave. Over here, we got a Night Stalker waiting for someone to add him to their collection. Oh, we have two of Man's Possessed Friends, two Bubbas. We got two Punctured Pete's here. Look at this, how cool. 
they have more animatronics for sale than any other store I've seen so far this year. We got two waving wallies over here. Okay, oh, and here's a whole other stack of jumping spiders. And yes, we do have the brown ones in this stack. So no matter what color you're looking for, they got it. And look what we have right here, guys. They have two headless jacks in stock on the floor. So very cool. Would have been much better if we could have seen him actually working up there because I don't know what he actually does. Let's just look at it a minute. So he has a light up pumpkin head with haunting phrases, lurking posable arms, and that's apparently it. Maybe he doesn't move. Maybe he just lights up and talks. Oh, and we do have another stack of them over here too. So they have plenty of jumping spiders, guys. Look, we have a Sam candy bowl that I don't think I've seen in other stores. What the? Is that a candy bowl or is it? It's a planter. You plant a plant in his head. We have the light up Sam's, pretty cool. And then we have the Sam greeters that has the popcorn bowl or you can put trick or treat candy in or whatever. Ooh wee, look at this one. Halloween Curse of Michael Myers fleece throw. I don't care that much for the Curse of Michael Myers as far as the movie goes, but that is an awesome picture right there. Oh, I always forget Sam over here. He's off to the side, so I always forget him out of an, and look. He has the alternate head. How cool. Hello, alternate head Sam. Let's see if he works. Here we go. He works, kind of. He's talking. He has the alternate head, but he's not moving his arm with his killer sucker. Okay. Man, they are seriously overloaded with signs of what you can and can't do in here. Do not touch the animatronics. Do not try on the masks. And I can understand that, guys. You know. COVID. They have some Chucky stuff here, just the regular costumes and things like that. They have the Chucky socks that I bought the other day. Look at this. They have Chucky iron-on patches and lapel pins. Those are cool. Look at the little knife. That is so awesome. But I noticed that they have the Chucky mask on the other side of the store, so we'll go see that in just a minute. They have awesome Halloween stuff here. They have the jumpsuits. They have the Halloween hats. They have the socks. I did buy some Michael Myers socks the other day, but I don't think these are the ones. Look at this, they have the pins here too. And look at the awesome little knife with Michael Myers' face on it. That is so cool. We have this knife here, but this is more of like a scream knife. Here's the Halloween mask from 2018. Halloween 2 here, the Boogeyman shirt. They have both of the Beetlejuice masks here, the full head and just the face. Beetlejuice socks and teeth. Somebody wanted to see Joker stuff the other day they were talking about, so here's a Joker jacket. Look, they have a whole Joker suit. That's pretty sweet. Even the tie that says ha 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 ha. Joker cosmetic kit. We got a ha 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 bow tie. We got the ha 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 suspenders. And look at this, this is totally awesome. It's not the Joker, but it is the Riddler. A complete Riddler suit. How cool is that? Holy crap, they have the purple Tinky Winky suit. You remember I was talking about this the other day? They got Tinky Winky, they got Lala, they got Dipsy. Aw oh, man, they don't have Poe. They're always missing one, what the heck? Oh my gosh, but they do have both the SpongeBob and the Patrick Inflatables and Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That's so cool. This store is actually stocked up pretty good, guys. Six foot inflatable skeleton hands. They got the toe tappers, let's see if they work. Yes. Those are hilarious. They have the scarecrow door knockers. Um, okay, here we go. Well, this one talks, but this one looks better. Monster crawling hands, creepy clowns, vintage clowns, and creepy skull pathway markers. Ginormous fuzzy spiders. Okay, let's go over and look at these masks because here's the Chucky masks I was telling you about. Here's one from Child's Play 2. That is pretty creepy. Oh my gosh, look at this one. His face is smashed in, so it looks like he's going, ooh. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet Don Post mask up here, like a spooky ghost. That looks like the kind of ghost you'd see on a Scooby-Doo episode. What in the world? Here's some marshmallow stuff, but they have different masks. Like here's the regular one. And then here's a new style, looks like a skull. And what in the world is this one? I've never seen this one before. We got the marshmallow microphone, reversible plush throw blanket. This is on one side and that's on the other. And then we have the marshmallow jumpsuit. Oh look, we even have a marshmallow trick or treat bag. Holy crap, here's a kid's Chucky jumpsuit. 
that kid looks very close to Chucky. And they even have a girl Chucky suit. That is so cool. Oh, here's a cool Beetlejuice mug I don't think I've seen before. It's got the Here Lies Beetlejuice headstone on it. That's pretty sweet. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Lots of different prop skulls. All right, guys, we're going to leave the stickers right here in the Witch's Cauldron this time. I'm so happy about all the animatronics they actually have on the floor for sale in here. But before we go, I want to come over here one more time and see the Wraith in action. This is one of my favorites just because it's so classic and cool. I love it so much. It's so simple, but it's so awesome. All right. Oh my gosh, guys, I almost missed this right here. I have never seen this in a store before. Welcome, have a knife day, and it's Michael Myers. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, look, they have the Corpse Bride costumes. I don't think I've ever seen this in one of the stores either. They have Corpse Bride tattoos, Corpse Bride socks. That is an awesome costume right there. Look at this, guys. They also have two of these, the Chrome Edition Ghost Face. This Chrome Edition was put out for like the 25th anniversary of Scream. I actually bought one of these at one of the other stores, but it was a kid's size suit. This is adults right here. Both of them are. Okay, guys, that is it for that location. I bought another Scream outfit just because it is so cool. One more look here at the Spirit in Reading, Pennsylvania. Dear sir, may I please have some stickers? Yes, you may. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, guys, today I am in Paradise, Paradise, Pennsylvania, that is. And actually, I don't think it's Paradise. I think it's actually just Lancaster, Pennsylvania, or something like that. Regardless, there is a Spirit Halloween right in front of me. I don't know what this used to be, but there is a Gabe's right beside it with a sidewalk sale, and I'm going in there next. You're not coming with me there, but you are coming with me right here. And I see cool stuff. We do have some of the new animatronics in here, guys. We're going to check them out. Look at this gigantic furry guy right here. He is not an animatronic, but here is... Is, I almost called this girl the butcher, the Hauntress. Right, there we go. Congratulations, you jumped out to scare me from behind nothing. <laughs> All right, look, guys, we actually have Buzzsaw set up. How cool is this? He looks like he's thinning down, though. The one in New Jersey at the flagship store made him look so much bigger. I don't know why that is. Look at him. He's just on like continuous movement. Look at his buzzsaw over here. I wonder why it's not spinning either. You can hear it. Did you see that? I saw that, he said. All right, then we got Punctured Pete over here, Impaled Andy, as I like to call him. Let's just look at this guy a second. Look at his eyes. I love how they're lit up red. Usually the eyes that are lit up are yellow but his are red. All right, let's go through the chains of death. Anything loud coming? Well, I hear a chainsaw over here, but that's about it. How strange and random is that? We have the pumpkin carve -o -matic with the guys that are working and they're carving pumpkins, but you hear a chainsaw. Are we to believe that there is a chainsaw in there carving these little intricate faces? If it were an electric saw, it would have to be like a little jigsaw or something with a small blade. All right, let's take a walk around the store here, see if they have any other animatronics set up. This does appear to be a pretty big store. Okay, yeah, I hear some on the other side here. Let's go check it out. All right, well, we only have two, but let's check them out since we're here. I hear you, we'll come back. Let's check out Wacky Mole first. Okay, I hear you. Let's check out the harvester. He's not very loud. Yikes, we don't have any uh, fog on this one. 
but that's all right. Let's see, and no. <laughs> we don't have uh, Mr. Dark over here, I was hoping, but we do have the clipboard here, and everybody wants to see what's on the clipboard, so I'm going to show you. Here's some pretty cool ideas. I really like this. This reminds me of Castle Grayskull from back in the day with He-Man, Masters of the Universe. So according to this, next year's theme is Space Station and Zombie Apocalypse. I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. Like, why would they put this out and really tell you what it was going to be? If it is, that's pretty cool. But I would love to personally to see, like, a whole graveyard set up in here with more classic things like Halloween ghosts and pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns and stuff. That would be sweet. Okay, we do have some animatronics over here on the floor for sale. We'll check out in a second. But I hear Sam somewhere. Okay, so Sam would be, have to be set up. Yeah, he's over there. There's a bunch of people by him, so... Maybe we'll come back to him in a minute. Let's go on down here and see what the animatronics are that they have for sale on the floor. But wait, look at this first. This is an awesome Chucky greeter with a bowl of candy. He looks different from the other Chucky greeters that I've seen. Pretty cool. Here you go. All right, let's look at these. We got a Sam. Sam right here. Then we got the Hauntress. All right, we got a couple of sitting scarecrows, as with most of the stores. Oh, look, we got a wacky mole on the floor for sale. That's cool. And look, there's a sale on sitting scarecrow, $99.99. That's 60 bucks off, guys. Yeah. All right, nobody's over here by Sam. Let's go check him out real quick. All right, buddy. We heard you. We want to go find some more animatronics and stuff. Well, it looks like that's... Oh, okay. We got a whole stack of jumping spiders here. But other than those and the ones I've already showed you, it looks like that might be the only animatronics they have for sale on the floor. They have plenty of shark skulls, and they even have this thing. <laughs> What in the world is this? It says it's a mermaid skeleton. What in the world? There's this half witch skeleton type guy. Let's see what he does. Ooh, we got changing color lights in there. I kind of thought he was going to shake. Because some of these do. Some of these shake. Like, let's see what this guy does. Nothing. And how about this one? Yeah, he's not doing anything. But I think this guy shakes. Yep, here he goes. Okay, let's see what the Hanging White Reaper does. Just lights up. I know, I heard you. We got more shaking Reapers over here. I just stepped up and these guys went off. <laughs> they were shaking in unison. Let's get them all going. Look at that. What if you just had like a whole hull full of those, full of about a hundred of them that you had to walk through and they were all shaking at the same time. I gotta come look at this stuff for a minute because I always see it off in a distance and I never stop to look at it. But these hats kind of remind me of the one that I usually wear in here. Dick's Morning Woods, okay, come on now. Winners get it in, Balls Deep Baseball Team. All right, I'm done in this section. <laughs> Let's look at the wigs for a second. We haven't really taken any time to look at these. Look, this is the Colonel. It's like KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken right there. All right, we got Gandalf here. We got a brown afro. That would be like, uh, what's that guy's name? The artist, Bob. Hmm, I can't think of what his name is. Bald old man, okay. Brunette with beard. If I had long brown hair, I would kill somebody if they called me a brunette. We got the Nickelback beard. Legolas. Joe Dierte. No, this one's more like the Joe Dirt wig right here. That is his perfect mullet right there. All he needs are sideburns. This must be Prince right here. Felt emo again. Might delete. Oh, look, we got Carrot Top right here. He's hilarious. 
Here's a knife headband like uh, the brother wears on E.T. when they go out trick-or-treating. And E.T.'s like trying to reach up and touch his head to heal him because he thinks it's a real knife. We've got Captain Steubing. We got more jumping spiders here. There's always a ton of these jumping spiders in the stores. Scary flying ghosts, crawling monster hands, and we have the Pennywise Groundbreaker. Oh, this snake reminds me of the one that stares Indy in the face on uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And look, we have my favorite zombie baby of all times. Wait a minute. This used to be my favorite. I think now my favorite is the zombie burrito baby, but I've only seen him in one place. Crawling zombie baby. Dear sir, may I please have some stickers? Yes, you may. What in the world? A sequin police hat. <laughs> King Tut. We got a few Fortnite things here. Here we got the Skull Trooper mask, the Beef Boss mask, and what's under this? Rabbit Raider. Lots of boogie bombs. Clinger grenade. It's like a toilet plunger. I looked at the Cat in the Hat stuff in one of the other stores, but there's a couple things I didn't see over there that they have here. Here's a Thing Afro, and here's a Cat in the Hat nose. Oh, this is what I was trying to think of earlier when I was looking at the brown Afro wig. This is Bob Ross, the painter I was talking about. Look, you can be a Bob Ross painting. Always got to look at the Halloween stuff when we're here, the Michael Myers. Look, they have a whole bunch of masks from the original and the mechanic jumpsuit but that's the only michael myers masks they have right now here they do have this awesome shirt a sitter's guide halloween safety <laughs> that totally makes me want to carve a pumpkin every time i see these chucky socks i'm like oh these are cool i should buy them but i remember i just bought them the other day oh somebody was asking me about the plague doctor masks they do have some here a couple of different ones here's one that's like a fake leather that's pretty cool and then over here, they have the actual costume. Oh, well, it's a jacket. It's a brown jacket, apparently. Of course, they have the Pennywise stuff here. That's cool. I'm still trying to get to a party city so I can see the, uh, the Georgie animatronic. When I came in, the girl was folding all these shirts, and I thought I saw one that I had not seen before, but in looking at these, I think I have seen them all except for like this cthulhu one up here what in the world and this is a pretty cool pennywise one i like the green in that it looks even better on the shirt down here i'm not going to unfold it because she just spent all the time to fold them up but that is pretty awesome okay this is what i'm talking about look at this we got zero and the mug says aren't you scared every day is halloween i love zero check this out i'm not into tarot cards at all but this is a whole deck of tarot cards um, styled like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Huh. A couple of snow globes here. Let's see if we can get them going. Oh, yeah. How cool is that? Orange and black snow on Jack Skellington. Here's another one. I bet anything these play music when you wind them up. That's pretty cool. What is this? A zero jewelry tray. Hmm, okay. I don't have any jewelry, but that's pretty cool. A ceramic Jack Skellington planter. I haven't seen that in any other store either. You plant a plant in Jack Skellington's head. How cool is this? Nightmare Before Christmas pillowcases. There's two in that set. Oh, and they got the light up Michael Myers with his pumpkin that he carved. I love that. Billy Butcherson's head, yes! The hair on these things is always such a mess, a hot mess. All right, guys, that's it for the Paradise, Pennsylvania Spirit Halloween. It is totally raining out here. I was really hoping they had more animatronics. In fact, I'm going to put some stickers over here. And I was really happy to see Buzzsaw, but here's hoping there's more in the next place. Stay away! Oh, my God! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skelly. What the heck? Somebody stuck his hand in his butt. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are those? Oh.
Holy crap, guys. Today we are in St. Clairsville, Ohio at Ohio Valley Mall, and right ahead of us is the Spirit Halloween. This actually used to be a Sears. All right, let's go in here. I'm curious to see what's set up, and unfortunately, when we first step in, there is no Mr. Dark. Even though there is a sign for him, there is no Mr. Dark. He disappeared into the dark. Okay, oh, and there also is no experiment number four. So obviously this store is also waiting for all their animatronics. We do have a couple set up here though. All right, this time we get to start with the Night Stalker. Okay, Mr. Laughable. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We got a jumping spider over here. See if he jumps. We got, yep, there he is. Hello, Mr. Spidey. All right, we got the Harvester of Souls. Oh, and it looks like we got the fog going. There it goes. I don't see the light in his mouth, but it, oh, there it is. Yep. Pretty cool. It took a little bit for the lights to come on, but still pretty cool. All right, let's check out Mr. Wacky Mole here. Okay. Bad Halloween costumes make me crazy. <laughs> they make me wanna follow things with my hammer. <laughs> I think, I think I'm going crazy again. <laughs> Look how crazy and messed up his hair is. Surprise, boys <laughs> and girls! One more. Next to get walloped by my hammer. <laughs> I'll be the first on your block to say, Rocky Mole, clump me over the head. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Wacky. Yep, we're still waiting for Ophelia and Evelyn Leach over here. Wait, what in the world? is this i have not seen this in any other stores holy crap this is awesome michael myers knife sign it's an official lamson john covered his halloween the night he came home this is totally sweet and look down here we have the talking animated tiffany doll let's see if she works nope she's not working right now Okay, but I don't think I've seen her in any other stores either. I don't think I've seen the Maleficent fleece blanket in other stores either. Maybe, maybe I just wasn't looking for it, but they have a couple of them here, and here they have a Krampus. They got a couple of good time dolls here. Oh look, they have the uh, Stay Puffed, that's pretty cool. We have this little guy here, I love this one. They got two of those, but no burrito, baby. Something for the bucket. Oh look, we got a sitting scarecrow set up over here. Let's see if he works. Yep. <laughs> look at that guy, you gotta love sitting scarecrow. $99 on sale. We got a whole bunch of jumping spiders. There's always a ton of jumping spiders available. Let's see if they got them all. We got the black, we got the brown, and we got the black and red. Yep, they got them all. I see the Carvomatic up here. We're gonna go check that out in a second, but here's some more jumping spiders. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for uh, other animatronics on the floor that are for sale. Great selection of Halloween masks. Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 2018. Oh, we got a buzzsaw on the floor here for sale. And I noticed the guy over here setting up buzzsaw. We're not gonna go on that side because I don't want to interrupt him. But I do see the Nightcrawler here. He already jumped and tried to scare me. You didn't get me this time, buddy, but maybe next time. We got the Carvomatic going, and we got this guy over here trying to get out of his skeleton hole. <laughs> we got Mr. Howell here. This is actually the entrance from outside, but I came in through the mall. Here's Mr. Howell. Let's get him going here. All right, we want to hear you. There we go. And I hear the Hauntress over here. She just jumped out, but we'll come back to her. 
<laughs> okay, look, she keeps jumping out. The sensor must be set. Yeah, because she doesn't have a, a foot stomper. <laughs> okay, jump at me again. Come on now. Come on, there you go. All right, there we go. Look at this, we got a couple of these over here set up. This is cool. All right, apparently those are on clearance. I don't know why, but okay. I know, I hear you, we already talked to you. Maybe next time, let's go through the chains of death. Chains of death. Okay, I hear impaled Andy over here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I almost missed you, Mr. Jumpy. And there is Buzzsaw getting set up over there, so we're not going to bother them over there. You know, one thing I have not seen a lot or really anything of in these spirit stores ever, I think, is Children of the Corn. Children of the Corn is one of my favorite scary movies of all time. I really don't know what they would have except for, like, you know, t-shirts and socks and stuff like that. Hello, Mr. Skelly. What the heck? Somebody stuck his hand in his butt. I wouldn't want to be that guy. <laughs> hey, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. What the heck? That guy is pretty cool looking. Apparently, he's not animatronic or anything, but how cool is that? All right, we got the talking pumpkin door knocker and the talking sure reaper. Oh, here we go. You better be certain. Dead certain. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him in a lot of stores. I think I saw him in one this season so far, and he wasn't working. He's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get this guy going. Yep. Okay, what is this mug? That looks like a joker. Oh, it's, what the? It's a Krampus mug, but it doesn't have Krampus on it. That is very strange. Look at this. This is almost strange to see in here because they don't have all that many like traditional Halloween type things in here. Oh, this is cool. Look, they have the marshmallow trick or treat buckets. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, look at this. Look at it changes colors. That is pretty cool. Is it going to work? Eh, sort of works. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Nope. Nope, but it changes colors and I think it like strobes. That's pretty cool. Speaking of Children of the Corn, here's like a kind of a sickle. I guess that would work. You gotta love the Zero mug with the pumpkin nose. I love it. This is a pretty cool throw with all the characters from Nightmare Before Christmas on it. Okay, these would also work if you were looking to dress like maybe Malachi from Children of the Corn. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty cool. This is one of the creepiest masks ever right here, the Nighty Night Mask. And that's the kind where you put your chin in there and his mouth moves with your mouth. That is cool. Wild Eyes Clown, Happy Clown, look at the nose. Look, we got Wrinkled Man, that's hilarious. Oh, somebody told me to be on the lookout for Jay the Killer, so here he is. Purple Neon Clown. That's a pretty cool looking one. Look at the hair. This is pretty cool. Look, this is the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. It's like blueprints of the hotel. Okay, this looks even better as a Malachi type knife, a Children of the Corn knife. Yeah, that is, that's awesome right there. I saw this in a store the other day and somebody got mad at me because I didn't know who it was. It's a character from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm gonna have to watch that movie again. I actually have it on Blu-ray and DVD, I think. I think I even have like the sing-along version too. Oh, look what we have here, guys. This is the one I was talking about the other day. It's the ghost that just flies through the room because he's on this string here. Those are only like 10 bucks or something. And I believe they're motion activated. Look, it turns around so the face is facing the way that it's going. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look, they have the talking clown door knocker, too. Oh, and he's working. You can't hear him very well because we got this guy over here going on. Excuse me, you two, could you be quiet? I'm trying to talk to the talking clown door knocker. And here's that scary flying ghost. Let's see, how much is he? Uh, 1999. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's try to hear him again. <laughs> I always thought this was a pretty cool thing here, too. The fresh grave mound simulates a freshly dug grave. It's just like a netting 
basically you make like a heap of leaves or something and then lay it down like that and put a headstone at the top and it looks like you have a freshly dug grave. Oh look this guy's working. Look his eyes are flashing and look at his legs going. That is hilarious. I gotta get this string off here so it looks better. Hold on, let's try it again. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's hilarious. His legs kicking around. Oh good, this one works too. <laughs> Let's see what else he says. I think he says something like it's party time. I don't know what he said right there. I think this is my favorite tombstone that they have right now. What is it called? The Crying Soul Tombstone. It's like a crying angel. Here's their clearance section over here. Look at this, they have this cool one over here, astronaut. Look, your feet, your legs go down in the flames and these legs just kind of hang and it looks like you're flying, like floating around as you walk. That's cool. Gotta love the Incredibles. What the heck, a will wig from Stranger Things. Oh, this is a cool one, a Super Skins crash test dummy. I wonder if it comes with the steering wheel. No, but you could get a steering wheel. Rainbow poop. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day in this one. They still have a lot of stuff they're still waiting on to be delivered, so possibly I'll be back at some point this season and we'll see a lot more. But stay tuned, because we're filming a lot of spirits anyway. We're bound to see it all. I told you to stay away! Oh my God! <laughs> what are those? He said something about beware my half a head, I'm walking amongst the dead. I don't know. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> what are those? Holy crap, guys, I am back in Canton, Ohio, and look at this. I am at the Spirit Halloween that used to be the Toys R Us. This is the Toys R Us that you now see in my awesome intro that blows up and turns into Spirit Halloween. This is my all-time favorite Spirit Halloween, guys, because this is inside the Toys R Us that I used to shop at when I lived in Canton. Look, if you look closely, you can even see the old lettering. The T up there, and over here you can see part of the star under the Halloween. Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's go in. The old Toys R Us, the new Spirit Halloween in Canton, Ohio, on Whittle Avenue. Oh, they got the big spooky Halloween signs up on the windows. Me like it. All right, and look at this. We got Wraith as soon as we walk in the door. And he's already getting spooky on us, guys. Holy crap. I love this guy so much. Look how he just goes up and down and just wobbles like in a spooky way. He's doing the spooky wobble. Okay, I gotta take a step back here. Hold on guys, cause I just went straight for the wraith when I came in. But look at this, I never give the baskets any face time, but they are so very cool. And I know a lot of people wish that they could have one, but they can't. Or maybe they can, I just made that up. There's even more over here, and this is more the style that people like to collect actually. But you can't have those either. Or maybe you can, I never asked. Okay, they are still waiting for many a animatronic to come in, but they do have the Hauntress. Let's see if she jumps to scare us. Are you coming out to scare me? I guess not. Hello. Hello, McFly. Okay, wait, McFly has a step pad. Let's see. Okay, I guess it's not gonna work, but anyways, all right, we like you anyways, Mr. Hauntress. Okay, Mrs. Hauntress, sorry. 49 days till Halloween, two seconds till we walk through the chains of death. <laughs> There's like several sounds that go off when you walk through. It's a, a different tone. Okay, I heard you. Let's do it again, see if we get a different kind of sound. All right, we're waiting. There we go. <laughs> okay, that time it was like a train. Let's see what it does this time. See? Okay. A plethora of sounds through the chains of death. <laughs> that one actually sounded like an old steam train. I don't think I've ever had so much fun in the chains of death. Okay, let's peek over here real quick. We don't have anybody set up here, unfortunately, but I did hear Sam over here. Here we are. Sam, what are you doing so close to the edge? Pull you out a little bit. Uh-oh, he's trying to fall over. Don't fall over, Sam. 
Okay, all right, I gotcha. I tried to straighten him up, but he's trying to fall over. Apparently he needs to be reconditioned or something. Okay, you're very loud, Mr. Sam, we're out of here. All right, let's head back over this way. I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. All right, we got the jumping Spidey here, Mr. Brown. Come on, Mr. Brown. Here we go. There you go, thank you for scaring us, Mr. Brown. Okay, we got the pumpkin carve -o -matic over here. And even though we're still waiting for those animatronics, it's still awesome. I just, I can't get over how the pumpkins go in here, they come out over here carved. Oh look, his hat is tipped. And they all have the same face. I wish some of them had like smiley faces and spooky faces and everything else, you know, instead of just the one design. Okay, let's make our way back here. Holy crap, look at what we have right here, guys. It is Headless Headful Jack. I'll never understand why his name is Headless Jack, because he clearly has a head. Okay, maybe it's half a head. He's half a head, Jack. Mr. Half a Head, I hear you talking, but I can't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Okay, fine, the top half of your mouth. <laughs> He said something about beware my half a head, I'm walking amongst the dead. I don't know. Is he supposed to be moving? I'm not sure. I know I saw him set up in one other store, but I don't remember if he was moving. Anyway, Mr. Half a Head, we'll see you later. If any of these are gonna come back and kill me, it's gonna be him because I teased him about having half a head. Okay, we're missing Night Stalker and Wacky Mole over here, but I do see some awesome things on the floor right here. I'm gonna show you in just a minute. We're also missing Grave Digger Guy, whatever his name is, <laughs> but we do have a jumping red and Black Spider, let's get him going. Hello, Mr. Spider. We also have the Harvester of Souls. Let's get him going as well. I hear you. And I'm looking too, just as all the others have. All right, no fog on there, but he's still awesome. Oh my gosh, they have a bunch of inflatables that I haven't seen in other stores. We'll get to those in a minute. I don't think I've seen this guy in any other store, guys. Look at this. The 36-inch animated Reaper Greeter. He has a Halloween trick-or-treat bag. Let's try him. Oh! He's talking, but the music's so loud I can't understand what he's saying. Here's another picture of him on the side here with his hood half down and his candy bag full of candy. We also have a Harvester of Souls available right here. And look, they have a half a head jack. And okay, looking at this, I guess that answers my questions. Oversized light up pumpkin head with haunting phrases. Posable arms, but I guess he does not move back and forth. Ooh, we got the life-size posable black light skeletons. Oh, how cool is this? I haven't seen these in other stores. The 60-inch light-up scream characters. Oh, that is awesome, guys. I love it. Complete with a knife to gut you like a fish. This would be really cool to have hanging from your tree outside like Casey. <laughs> if this were hanging up, the wind would be blowing. It would be blowing all this stuff all over, and it would be major spooky. And right beside him, we have the Reaper with wings. Oh, look at that. The wings move. I think you, I hear you. <laughs> I think you actually unfold the wings so that they're pretty big. We've got these guys writhing in agony. Hey, look at this skull right here. This, oh, that's ceramic. That's not even plastic, but how cool would it be to have like a bowl of pudding in that skull head? Hey, let's look at some of the inflatables over here, guys. I've seen the Wolfman other places. I've seen the skeleton other places. I think I've even seen the eye other places, but I don't think I've seen this giant skull or the enormous nine foot inflatable light up jack-o'-lantern archway. That is cool. It's almost got like a spooky tree wrapped around it. We've got the inflatable six foot skeleton hands. We've got inflatable gargoyles, inflatable four foot tombstone, and an inflatable black cat. Look at his face. That's hilarious. Look, we got a swinging skeleton boy. I think he's kind of hard to find. This is where the zombie babies would be if they had them, but all they have is this black cat right now. I'm on the lookout for the burrito baby. Somebody told me they were looking for the cat dog. Remember the one that had the head of the cat and the head of the dog? They said they called corporate and they told him it doesn't even exist but I filmed it. Maybe it vanished like a phantom. Maybe he's invisible and we just can't see him. <laughs> I can see these rats. Look at the teeth on that thing. What in the world? These rats deserve some stickers. 
Holy crap, guys, look at this. They have the trick or treat, the wraith mask. I'm still on the hunt for children of the corn, though. Here's an awesome children of the corn Malachi blade. I've always loved this clown right here, like an Emmett Kelly. Oh my gosh, guys, look, it's a grumpy baby. <laughs> And guys, here's a little treat. Right through that door is the old Toys R Us. If you come in here, do not go through that door. If you want to see it, you can go back in my videos. In fact, I'll link it below, and you can see this Toys R Us completely empty right after it was abandoned. I was allowed in to film every inch of it wall to wall. Oh, the fun I had shopping in Toys R Us. All right, around this corner, we've got the jumping spiders. We got the black and whites there. Um, we got a brown and the black and reds. And look at this over here, three thumbs up. What in the world? Oh, it's a haunted mansion thing. Oh, cool, look, it lights. Well, it did light up. <laughs> look at this, a nightmare before Christmas wreath. That is hilarious. Look at the teeth in there. I don't think I've seen this one before either. Madame Leota from the Haunted Mansion. That's a throw blanket. Look, we've got an inflatable Sam. I thought I had all the inflatables, but apparently not. We got the Sam greeter and we have Chucky greeters here. Look at this, the gremlins are coming. This is a sweet gizmo throw. And I'm not into the exorcist, it's too evil for me, but that does look pretty cool. I wanna get one of these Sam heads and just have an enormous bowl of haunted cap and crunch. Holy crap, guys, mermaid man socks. I don't think I've seen the creature of the night hat before either. Look at this Sam shirt. I don't think I've seen this either. Always check your candy. How cool is that? A finger, an eyeball, and a holly ho candy bar. Oh my gosh, and it's got a razor blade in it. <laughs> that is too funny, guys. My parents always ate half my basket of trick-or-treat candy because they told me there was gonna be a razor blade in the candy bar. Oh my gosh, guys, I have not seen this shirt either. I'll see you in hack. Inflatable Garfield costume, yes. I'm gonna try to get my wife to dress up like Mary Sanderson. <whistles> All right, we're gonna leave some stickers where wacky should be. And we're gonna leave some with Mr. Half Ahead. Look at this, guys. Somehow I missed this. Check it out. We got a stack of pumpkins, and Mr. Grimm is standing here guarding the customer service door, which is actually a coffin. They want you to step in and die. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for the Canton spirit, at least for now. I might be back. I don't know. I do want to see everything to get in here. This is a huge store. But uh, stick around, and if I come back, you guys are coming back. So aside from the fact that you plug it into his butt, um, <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at another Spirit Halloween today in Alliance, Ohio, and I am super excited. Not about that loud helicopter up there, but about what I can see through the front doors of this Spirit Halloween. And I forgot my mask, so as soon as I get it, we're gonna go in and see what's in there. That's better, let's go. All right, here we go, guys. I am excited because right up front is Mr. Grimm. Okay, look at his eyes. I love how his eyes are actually eyeballs that move, rather than the animated eyes that we're starting to see on so many different animatronics. And I like how they don't have the music so very loud in here so we can actually hear what he has to say. I think we already heard that part. <laughs> he said, you look like death warmed over. So this is one of my favorites, guys, because He's just so cool that the mechanism has to be hidden so well because he's nothing but a skeleton. So aside from the fact that you plug it into his butt, um, <laughs> oh my God, I can't. There's just a very small mechanism right there in his throat that has to go down like his spine and also into his arm over here because his arm moves. So let's just watch this. 
All right, the head moves, the jaw moves, the eyes move, the arm moves, and the whole mechanism, his body moves too. So the whole mechanism has to be hidden very well inside his spine. That is such a cool prop. I love you, Mr. Grimm. Okay, we also have the Harvester of Souls over here. See if we can get him going. Come on, Harvester. Um, okay, I guess he's not gonna work, but that's okay. We've seen him a million times. We got the Night Stalker. Let's fix his little price tag thing there and get him rolling. He's not very loud. He is very quiet today. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stalker, if you want to stalk me properly, you're gonna have to be louder. Okay, we got the jumping spider. Ooh, he was super loud, all right. And then beside him, we have one of my favorites, the Wraith. He's not very loud either. This is a very quiet store. I think one thing I love about him is that the sound he makes just reminds me of Scooby-Doo. All right, let's take a little walk around and see what else we can find in here. Okay, yeah, it's very quiet in here. It's almost eerie, because usually in these stores they have really, really loud music playing. Hmm, okay. All right, wait, let's go over this way a minute. Lots of masks over there. Lots of coming soons. Let's see. All right, not very many animatronics in this store. I am glad they have Mr. Grimm. But let's go ahead and look at some of the more basic things in here. Oh, look, we do have the empty soul girl on a swing. We have three of those. Okay. Got a zombie baby. It's the crawling zombie baby. I'm still on the lookout for the two head, the uh, the cat dog, and the uh, the zombie burrito baby. <laughs> this one's called Gorious George. I never noticed that before. We have the inflatable Frankenstein, eight feet tall. Inflatable tombstone, four feet. Inflatable cat with the face. We have inflatable light-up jack-o'-lantern stack. Okay. Inflatable light-up ghost. Uh, let's see. Oh, look, we got a reaper. That's cool. He's eight feet tall. And then we have the 12-foot scary clown archway. Whole bunch of the posable dummy props. These are really cool. I think I was talking about these before where you could get like a costume and dress them up like Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees or something and just, you know, like set them on a chair in your front yard. Ooh, we got the Michael Myers greeters. I love these. There's popcorn in that one, but you'd have to put like different kinds of candy and stuff in there for trick-or-treaters. Although if you left these outside for a trick-or-treater, I guarantee they would just grab the whole Michael Myers and take off running. Oogie Boogie Roll the Dice, what the heck? It's like a dice game, I think. I think those actually come out of there and you can actually play with them. We have Hanging Sam's. Everybody loves Sam couple of Chucky greeters here. Take a look at this. Yeah, that's really cool. And look, he did, he's got a bowl full of like candy balls. <laughs> look, I don't know if I've seen this anywhere else. The Sam Sidestepper. I think somebody was just telling me to keep an eye out for this too. He's 30 bucks. Does he have a button? Yeah. Ooh. That is so cool. <laughs> All right, okay, Sam, hush. Oh, look, he has like fingerless gloves on. Okay, cool. Let's try out uh, Pennywise. He's pretty cool too, I like that. All right, let's turn it off. I feel weird making noise in here because it's so quiet. <laughs> oh, this is sweet, look at this. Welcome to Haddonfield, have a knife day. <laughs> Foam clown mask, that is really soft like that's unlike any other mask i felt except for maybe the ones where the jaw actually moves does that move oh i guess that one moves okay here's this guy that's in dire need of aqua fresh oh this is cool look we have a puppet master mask that's a pretty sweet one gotta love the alien mask and then below him we have smiley Ooh, that's a thick one too 
Dang, it is a thick rubber mask. Here's a skeleton mask from Trick or Treat. That's a pretty awesome looking one. Look at this, I should get this and be a bald guy for Halloween. Wait. <laughs> oh look, we have headless skeleton here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I've seen him before. Have you come for a treat or a trick? All right, that was cool. Another one. There's something spooky out tonight, and I think it's you. <laughs> somebody, somebody else said that. I think it was one of the props at the uh, at the Lowe's. It was like a witch prop or something. Have you come for a treat or for a trick? <laughs> for a treat or a trick. Okay, I think that's everything that he says. Oh, look, we have the fogging skull pile. Somebody was looking for this. They have two of them in stock. Alliance Ohio, get down here and get one. A lot of people ask me to keep an eye out for certain things and I can never remember all of them. But when I see them, I will try to mention them to you guys so you can get out here and get them wherever I may be. Speaking of, somebody else was asking me about the Beef Boss mask. Here's just the basic one. I know a couple years ago or maybe last year they had like the big actual burger mask, the full head mask. And over here, I see just about every Fortnite costume except the Beef Boss, including Peely. Look, it's a banana. Oh, look, somebody was also asking me if they have Ghost Face, and they do. Now, these are all kids' sizes, but I did notice they have three different kinds. They have the regular one, they have the Bleeding Ghost Face, and they have three of the Chrome Edition in stock. These are hard to find. While I'm thinking about it, let's go over to the adult costumes and see if, yes, here they are. They do have ghost face in the adult sizes, and they even have the chrome faces. Guys, these are really hard to find. They got one, two, three, at least three of them over here in both child's and adult sizes. While we're over here, let's check out the Michael Myers. They got the, right, the Halloween 2018 mask. We got the regular Halloween mask, which is all, there we go, that looks much better. And then we got Halloween 2. They got the mechanic jumpsuits for the Michael Myers. We got the socks. We got a Halloween Curse of Michael Myers hat. I thought I saw more Michael Myers over here, but maybe not. I do see Freddy, including my favorite one, the Nightmare on Elm Street 4 mask. I just think that is such a good looking mask right there. The gloves. We got the sweaters. Friday the 13th with the hockey masks and the shirts. We got this shirt here and the Camp Crystal Lake Counselor costume. I think that is so cool. Look at that shirt. We got both of the new Beetlejuice masks, the half face and the full face. Beetlejuice costumes up here for girls. Chucky costumes here. And yeah, guys, we're in the uh, adult sizes here. And here's that shirt I saw the other day. I think that is totally hilarious. They have all three Killer Clowns masks, Spiky, Jumbo, and Shorty. Sam costumes, here's Sam treat bag, and the lollipop. Another uh, trick or treat mask, the clown mask. And then uh, let's see, oh look, they have the Sam hooded dress here. And Sam outfit, the Sam mask. A Couple of different Pennywise costumes here. This one is the older Pennywise, and this one actually comes with the suit, the mask, the gloves, the collar. There's the mask in there, and then over here, we have the newer uh, Pennywise stuff. Masks, the full suits, I think this one actually comes with a mask as well. And of course, here's a Georgie costume, comes with the jacket, the mask, the, the balloon comes with it too. Alright, that's cool. Oh, we got the Adams Family, we got Gomez, and Morticia, and Wednesday. You guys ever see that meme where Wednesday was like dancing to a white zombie song? I haven't seen that forever, but if you find it, come over and post it on uh, the Facebook page, that Nate Guys and Gals. Somebody was asking me about finding Cru Cruella stuff. Here's a couple of, I think these are wigs. Yeah, both of these are wigs. This is a shorter one, and that's a longer one. Here's the Cruella choker, but it looks like that's... Pretty much all they have right now in the Cruella department. They got Woody's Roundup. Lots and lots of Harry Potter stuff. Lots and lots of Hocus Pocus. They have Mystery Machine socks. These are so cool. I've always wanted to buy a van and have it uh, painted just like the Mystery Machine. I just might have to do that one of these days. 
Ghostbusters suits here. And they got the inflatable Stay Puffed over here. Oh, look, they even have the Proton Packs. That's pretty sweet. Holy crap, guys, it's the first one I've been to where they've had all four Teletubbies suits. We have Poe and Tinky Winky <laughs> and Dipsy and Lala. I can't believe I'm talking about the Teletubbies. Oh my lord. Inflatable gizmo costume. Guys, I haven't seen this anywhere else. This is totally awesome. I love it so much. Hi, Giz. <laughs> see, this is why I love going to so many different Spirit Halloween stores, because you always see things in other stores that you didn't see in other stores. Like this mask. Here's a Scarecrow mask that I haven't seen. I mean, if the, if the other stores had it, I didn't see it. There's better ones than that, but that one is pretty cool. What the heck? I don't think I've seen this one either. The One-Eyed Willie Pirate Mask. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm kind of liking the swashbuckling ladies' costumes here. What would my wife do if I brought this home and said, Babe, I got you a costume. <laughs> I like this. It's a parrot that if you dress like a, uh, a pirate, you attach the parrot to your shoulder. That's hilarious. Reminds me of the toucan at the Rainforest Car Wash. Dookie dookie. Okay, look at this. This is a cool take on the Little Red Riding Hood costumes without actually calling it Little Red Riding Hood. Look, this one's just called Little Red. Woodland Red Riding Hood. Okay, I actually do call that one Red Riding Hood. Big Bad Red and Dangerous Red. Somebody asked me the other day if I thought this statue was worth it because it's $43. Look at this. I think this thing is well worth it. That is so cool. And it's like, I think it's ceramic. You'd have to be careful not to crack it or anything. But yeah, look at that. So cool. Well worth it. Buy it. Oh, I almost forgot about the stickers, guys. Here we go. Come get them. Oh my gosh, guys. Look, here's two that I have not seen in other stores yet. But these are awesome. Look, okay, this one has a skull. Or, tch, crap. Of course it has a skull. It's a skull. That's heavy, too. I think that's ceramic. It's a skull with a snake twisting all the way through from its mouth, inside, out the eye, and around its head. And then this one is just a skull made up of a billion skulls. Look, there's a rib cage, too. A billion skulls making up this skull. <laughs> And they're boxes. Look, if I took this off, you'd see that that top comes off and you put stuff in there. Now, me personally, I'd be using these as cereal bowls. Here's one that doesn't come with a top, but it's basically the same thing. Look, okay, it's about the same size. And yeah, the top comes off of that one and it makes a bowl like this. I'm talking about haunted cap and crunch in that. Gosh, I missed this before, guys. Look, we got peeping peepers. Their eyes that light up. Hold on, we can try them out. Hold on. Let's do this. Oh, and look, you hide them in the bushes. Do they have different styles? Um, looks like they're all the same style, but wouldn't that be cool if they were all hidden in your bushes and flashing at people, peeping at people? Oh, look, and speaking of eyes, they have blinking eye string lights. Let's see if they work. Oh, I see you, it said. <laughs> I see you, I'm watching you. That is pretty cool. How many are those? Um, oh, it includes eight eyeballs. Okay, I gotta look at this one more time because it's so cool. The Sam Sidestepper. That is so awesome, guys. And I don't think I've seen him in any other stores. So I think I'm gonna buy him. All right, guys, that is it for the Alliance Ohio Spirit Halloween. Um, the guy said that they will be getting some more animatronics in. They're just not sure when. They just got the Night Stalker in. He said they had Sam set up, but they sold this morning. And speaking of Sam, I did buy the side stepper. So cool. All right, I'll see you guys later. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, yes, look at what I have discovered right here. The elusive burrito baby. I am totally buying this burrito baby today because he is so hard to find. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi.
Holy crap, guys, we are back in New Philadelphia, Ohio at the Spirit Halloween that is in the old JC Pennies. I shopped at this JC Pennies for years before it closed, and now we get to shop at it as a Spirit Halloween. It's super noisy out here, but let's go in and see how much fun scary really is. Okay, guys, holy crap, where do we even start? I do see some animatronics that have not been in other stores. Well, okay, kind of. We'll get to it. Let's start with the chains of death that are strangely parted, so they're not trying to murder me in here. Why are you not trying to murder me? At least the squishy floor is trying to murder me. We got Buzzsaw over here. Let's start with him. I All got right. a hammer, and I hammer in the evening. Oh! Over this place. He's super loud. I love it. All right, let's do it again. Keep going, mister. I hear you over there. We'll be there in a minute. Did you see that? Here we go. I saw that. We're spinning. Dude, I love that. I think that's my favorite thing he says. Did you see that? I saw that. Don't forget to duck. There we go. The spinning buzzsaw. All right, mister, it looks like you're losing some weight. I think you need to make a trip to Taco Bell. <laughs> All right, guys, look, here we go. This is what I was talking about. We got Harriet Hustle. Hello. How does that knife taste? Okay, so Harriet Hustle. I don't know how much I like her. I think she's cool. She's a cool prop that, like, you could add to your haunt outside. And alongside Henry Hustle, which should be right here, she would be totally awesome. But alone, she's just kind of like a swinging clown girl. Actually, the more I stand here looking at her, the more I like her. I've been here for like five minutes trying to get a good picture for a thumbnail, and she just keeps laughing at me. What are you laughing at? Okay, wait a minute. There's something else I have to point out here about Buzzsaw. Let's get him to say it here. Hold on. Don't forget to duck. Not this one. Hold on. When he says, did you see that? It reminds me of the scene on Elf where, like, Buddy burps for a real long time. And then he looks at the kid and says, did you hear that? Big fast. You have to be faster than that. <laughs> okay, wait. One more. Here we go. We'll get him to say it. You need to be. What in the heck? Down the size. He's saying everything but what I want him to say right now. Come on. Looks like you need oh. a. Did you see that? Okay, let's go on around here. I noticed the Huntress here, but she doesn't have a foot pad. So, hello. Are you gonna scare me? Or are you just gonna stand there looking creepy and haunted? Okay, creepy and haunted it is. All right, let's come around this way, guys. We do have some coolness over here. We got Mr. Grimm. Oh, and he's already going. All right, let's watch him. I see you reaching for me. Roll your eyes. There they go. There go the eyes. Looks like his head is tilted a little bit. Okay, here he goes. <laughs> Took him a minute to really start moving, but... Okay, Mr. Grimm right there. We got the pumpkin carve -o -matic, And they are... Hey, wait a minute. Where's your hard hat, sir? You are totally fired. We got the Nightcrawler here. Let's see if this foot pad actually works. Kind of strange that he's aiming... The, okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> That's kind of strange. The foot pad's over there, and you got to come over here to get scared. Pretty cool, though. All right, Mr. Wiggler. Wiggle on back down. This is a pretty big store, guys. We're gonna come over here in just a minute, though, because I see Sam over here. All right, let's come over here and give Sam his due. Here we go. I need to take a good look at his sucker, because I do the Saturday night snack in a movie, and I wanna do trick or treat and make those suckers. In fact, I think you might even be able to just buy the suckers here up front. I'll have to look. Anyway, the music over here is super loud, so we're gonna move on to a different section. Holy crap, guys, yes! Look at what I have discovered right here. The elusive burrito baby. I am totally buying this burrito baby today, because he is so hard to find. They not only have one, they have 
two burrito babies. Hello, Mr. Burrito. The burrito that bites back. Seems there is a discrepancy as to what his name actually is. This one says Swaddled Simon, but on the back it says Swaddled Silas. I prefer burrito baby. Okay, anyways, let's go on over here. We got a couple of them set up, including the Harvester of Souls. Let's see if he'll get going here. Here we go. Look at me, just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever! Okay, Mr. No Fog. I still like your feet. And we do have the wacky mole, so let's see if we can get him I just going. Love hitting you bozos with my hammer! <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm gonna whack you over the head, too. Oh, please, come a little closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, candy corn teeth. Okay, I noticed they do have a couple of animatronics on the floor here. As most of them have, they have a whole handful of the jumping spiders. We have the brown, we have the black, and unless there's another stack somewhere else, I don't see the black and red, just the brown and the black. Over here, I see they have a, what the heck? <laughs> so, as I was saying, they have the little daisy and the maestro. That's pretty awesome. Oh, they do have another stack of spiders over here. Okay, and yeah, right on top, it's the black and red jumping spider. So there you go. Any jumping spider you want, they have. They even have these enormous fuzzy guys with several eyes. Fuzzy guys with several eyes. Let's check out the inflatables. We got the scary clown archway, 12 foot archway. We got the eight foot inflatable ghost, eight foot inflatable Frankenstein, eight foot inflatable skeleton, eight foot inflatable reaper, four foot inflatable jack-o'-lantern stack, four foot inflatable ghost, four foot inflatable tombstone, four foot inflatable cat with the face, eight foot inflatable wolfman. Oh, they got the fogging skull pile. Six foot inflatable light up skull and a five foot inflatable gargoyle. They have two of those if you want to do one on each side. My son told me he just bought a scary flying ghost yesterday at another spirit. We have the crawling monster hands, the creepy lantern pathway markers. I love that there. Scary gargoyle pathway markers with the flames inside. We have three black cats. I wonder if these are supposed to be like zombie cats. All right, it just says rubber cat. Hello, Mr. Rubber Cat. With one eye. What in the world is up with that? They forgot to paint his other eye in there. I'm sorry you can only see out of one eye, Mr. Cat. We got the zombie arm pathway markers. I really like these. Let's see if they work. Yep. Look at that. That is pretty cool, like an electricity sound. Okay. Burning skull pathway markers. I think those are really cool too. They're red and look like they've been charred in a fire. Plenty of posable dummies. This guy talking to me. I know you're a big orange bowl of fingers. I think that's what it was. Oh, you silly goose. Okay, hanging phantom ghost. He's not very loud, but he's pretty cool. All right. We got the hanging barbed wire zombie with arms cut off. And I think you need the aqua fresh. Thank you. We got the hanging ghost face with the knife to gut you like a fish. Hanging Sam. We got the hanging witch, hanging skull witch. All right, that's cool. I like how it changes colors. Then we got the stakeable scarecrow. Ooh, with the yellow spooky eyes. We got these hanging zombies. Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to talk about the zombie here. Anyway, this hanging zombie here who needs at least some scope, because he doesn't even have any teeth to brush with the Aqua Fresh. Hanging arrow in head guy. Oh, I almost missed the headless skeleton. I love this guy. Can't hear him over the, the Phantom of the Opera in the background there, though. <laughs> Excuse me, Phantom, can you hush up, please? I'm trying to talk about another guy. Okay, so anyways, the headless skeleton. Yet another creature of the night approaches. 
I am a creature of the night, although it is day. Don't worry, Burrito Baby, I haven't forgotten about you, but I do see another zombie baby right over here. Hello, Mr. Fangs. Sinister Spirit Dolls, there's four of those. Look, we got the Chains of Death with the Neck Piece of Death and the Hooks of Death. Oh, look, we have the hospital patient with his butt sticking out. And the nurses who want to give him a shot in the butt. Oh, this is cool. Look, we got Mickey Mouse gloves and Mickey Mouse feet. I don't think I've ever seen the Mickey Mouse feet before. What in the world is that, though? Excuse me, ma'am, could you put some clothes on, please? There are children in here. That's called indecent exposure. We got Super Mario and Yoshi. All kinds of Hocus Pocus stuff, but I'm kind of surprised that more stores don't have the Billy Butcherson head. Ooh, they got Woody and Jesse. Ole, 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 And look at this, I don't think I've seen this Chucky throw before. Hi, I'm Chucky, you wanna play? We got the bouncy Sam heads. Inflatable Sams, they got three of them and the popcorn holders. You gotta love the Beetlejuice shrunken head. Sitting Sam doll, I don't know that I've seen this in other stores. That's pretty cool, removable pumpkin. And this is such a sweet Pennywise doormat here. Every time I see it, I think, oh, I haven't seen that before, even though I have. Look, we got the banana face, and we have an enormous scarecrow hat. What the heck was that? What in the world? I don't know if I've seen this before. Here lies good old Fred. A great big rock fell on his head. What the heck? And look at this throw. I know I haven't seen this before. It's from Edgar Allan Poe. It's an excerpt from The Raven. Now this is what I'm talking about. Every day is Halloween. Welcome to Halloween Town. That is a sweet rug too. They got lots of ghost face and oh my gosh. Look at this knife. Look at both of these knives. This is so cool I, I said the word knives wrong. <laughs> But look at this one. It's a knife like a lamson with ghost face bleeding on it. That is so cool. Ghost face hat. He's ready to gut you like a fish. In the world, it's a ghost face trick or treat hand, too. How cool. Would make this one perfect as if it had a retractable blade so you could like stab and the blade would go back in the handle. I just can't stand it, guys. I think I'm going to have to buy this. I need it. Oh, yes. I need it. All right, Burrito Baby, I gotta come pick you up. You're coming with me. I'm gonna adopt you, Mr. Burrito Baby. Okay, I think Harriet needs some stickers here. And second, Mr. Burrito Baby. Some for the jumping spiders. Up all for Mr. Wacky. And it looks like our witch would like to hold a few. Can we do this? Will that work? Yes. There we go. Protect them for me. All right, guys, that's it. New Philly Spirit Halloween. I left plenty of stickers in there in plenty of different places for you. I got the Burrito Baby and the Sweet Scream Knife. I will see you guys in the next video. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> what are those? Say Chains of Death. Chains of Death. Don't oh. kill us. Say <laughs> Okay guys, today we are back at the Spirit Halloween in Canton, Ohio because I have it on good authority that there has been a whole bunch of new stuff delivered here. But today we're gonna do things a little bit different. By many a request, we're gonna take my wife in the store. Say, holy crap, babe. Holy crap. <laughs> oh yes, this is my wife, Marion, and she is not a Halloween person. Are you ready, babe? I think so. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, babe, say hello to the biggest Spirit Halloween sign ever. Hello, biggest Spirit favorite Halloween sign ever. Say thank you to the automatic doors. Thank you, automatic door. Say thank you to the other automatic, doors. You, automatic doors. Welcome to Spirit Halloween. Okay, babe, this one here is Headless Jack. We actually call him Half a Head Jack. Oh, here he goes. Can you even understand the word he's saying? No, I can hear something about you. So I think he said something about half a head. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, babe. Okay, this is something, you get to witness something that I have not seen in the store before. Spirit Halloween t-shirts. They've had these, they've had the hats, but I have not seen the t-shirts before. I think you need a t-shirt. 
Okay, let me just say, dear spirit, please put fat guy sizes in the stores because I can't buy these shirts, I can't buy these shirts, and I can't buy any of those shirts because I'm a fat guy or at least send me some shirts I can wear. Size 4X. Look at you. <laughs> Is that what you're going to wear for Hallow's Eve? Maybe. Okay, let's go back over here. We have to go through the arches and through the chains of death. But first, let me introduce you to the Hauntress. All right, Hauntress, are you coming, Hauntress? Hauntress, excuse me. Okay, so she's not gonna work. This is the Hauntress, babe. Don't you think she's cute? Okay, Hauntress isn't working, but we can go through the chains of death. Say chains of death. Chains of death. Don't kill us, chains of <laughs> Okay, that was awesome. We gotta do chains of death one more time. Say chains of death. <laughs> okay, come on over here. This is Wraith. This, this is Wraith. <laughs> This is one of my favorites right here. Babe, can I get this today? No. And that is no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a no on the Wraith, but the Wraith is the most awesome ever. It's pretty cool. Okay, come with me, babe. Over to the other side here to see the pumpkin carvomatic. Oh, okay, we got Grim going on here too. Go ahead and step on, step on that little thing right there. Look at how his hat is crooked. <laughs> Alright, let's get a picture with Mr. Grimm here. Okay. Okay, Mr. Grimm, excuse me while I explain what's going on here. Okay, babe. So right through here, this is the pumpkin carvomatic. These are the workers who are trying not to get fired, even though they're lazy. Okay. The pumpkins come out here. They go along here. Would you please be quiet a minute, sir? And then they come out here, and they are already carved. Pretty cool. Okay, let's make our way around here because I see another Mr. Awesomeness over here. Okay, babe, this is me in just a few years here. <laughs> okay, stand up there and step on that and see what Mr. Buzzsaw does. Oh, crap. Okay. Look at how his saw buzzes over here. Oh, here's what you gotta say. You gotta say, holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> okay, you gotta say, what in the world he has a buzzsaw hand? What in the world? He's got a buzzsaw on his hand. <laughs> okay, next up we have the jumping spider. Go ahead and step on that thing, babe. Just step on the, the stepper pad. <laughs> Thank you, little guy. You did a good job. Okay, scratch his head and tell him he did a good job. Quickly before he goes in. <laughs> okay, let's make our way over here because there are a few more set up. Ooh, and today we get to take a picture with Mr. Skeleton Body. Okay, babe, he doesn't do anything, but here's the thing. We get to go behind that hole in the wall right there and put our head right there and take a picture. So you go first. Go through there. Okay, yeah, stick your head right through there on the skeleton body. There you go. Okay, yeah, you take the camera now and I'll go through there and do it. <laughs> okay, guys, unfortunately, there are no more animatronics set up here except for Mr. Jumping Spider. Let's go do him real quick. Okay, babe, you do Mr. Spider here. Step on the pad. Get him going. Here he comes. Wait, stomp on it a couple times. What in the world? Mr. Spider, I am disappointed in you. But we do have a whole store full of other awesome stuff that was not here the other day, so let's take a look at these things. Holy crap, hold on, I see something over there. Babe, say holy crap. Holy crap! Okay, right down here I see something that is the coup de gras, the best thing you can find oh, in a spirit right now. What do you think it is, babe? Those bundle babies or... The bundle baby! <laughs> Think Taco Bell. Uh, burrito baby. Burrito baby. Why don't you pick that little burrito baby up? What do you think of that little guy? Would you like to adopt him? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I have a secret. I adopted one the other day. He's hidden in the car right now. 
All right, yeah, look at the face on that oh, one. That's like a nice. crawling zombie baby. Do you like him? No. Okay, I was going to get it for you for Christmas, but I guess that scratches that idea. What about this guy right here who's planning your fate? I think he's praying to become normal. Is he? <laughs> I don't even know what you're calling me. He's some kind of a zombie, but he needs some scope. Okay, so we got to remember to bring the scope with us the next time. And then you got this guy over here, babe. Check this one out. This guy needs the Aqua Fresh. Did you bring any Aqua Fresh? No, I didn't. I keep forgetting the Aqua Fresh. Okay, say hello to Mr. Many Eyes there. Oh my gosh. He is horrible looking. Hello, Mr. Many Eyes. Okay, let's go on over here and look at some of the inflatables. All right, babe, here's what we got we got the haunted tree. We got the light up cat. Okay. We got the skull. We got the reaper. We got the creepy skull oh. pathway markers. You want to push that button? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's bring it up here so it's easier. Okay, push the button. <laughs> Electrified. <laughs> okay, we got plenty more over here, babe. We got the skeleton. We got the Frankenstein. We got the wolf man. We got the jack-o'-lantern. We got the ghost. Holy crap, here's one I have not seen before, guys. Look at this 14-foot inflatable light-up hearse. Babe, can we get it? No! All right, babe, look at this. We got the light-up eye. Can I get one of these, please? No! Can I get one of these, a burning skull pathway marker? No! Can I please get the tombstone? Yes! What? <laughs> Holy crap, I actually believed her for a minute. Look, we have the haunted tree here. Look at this, guys. We actually have a swinging skeleton boy. I don't know if I saw him in here the other day. I think I did. But he's here if you want to come get him. These are the talking pumpkin door knockers. Push one of those buttons. It's a no-brainer, he said. All right, let's see if the Reaper works. No, Reaper? Oh! You better be certain. He's not very loud, but he works. Yeah, give that one a try, babe. There should be a, there's a button down there. How'd you like to see that guy at the foot of your bed in the middle of the night? Look over here, guys. I see one that I have not seen in other stores. This is totally awesome, and I can't wait to get here and show it to you. Oh, my gosh, babe. Look at this. Yes. What is it? My favorite creature from the Black Lagoon. Look at that thing. That is one of the most I awesome masks it. I've ever seen. It's a full head mask. It is. Oh, my gosh. But this is the one that I saw from across the store. Look at this. This is a sweet Frankenstein mask. This is the best Frankenstein mask I've ever seen in my life. These are the Universal Monster masks. That is sweet. This is sweet. I wonder if they have any more. None for you, babe. <laughs> Look, I don't think I've seen this one before. It's a nerd cap. It's a half a rubber head with nerd glasses. Look, there's tape on the glasses. Can you even see through that thing? Do that again. Look at this. It's totally shiny. Babe, you're shiny. You're a shining star. Okay, babe, I'm gonna put you on sticker patrol this time. You choose where you wanna put the stickers. Okay, we're gonna leave some by Mr. Grimm on this special Halloween brick. We're gonna leave some for Sam. We have to leave some with the zombie babies. Here, babe, put them right on the papoose here, on the burrito baby. Yes. Oh, it looks like Sam wants to hold some. See if you can balance some right on there. Perfect. What in the world is this? It's skeleton keys. I have never seen these anywhere else. These are sweet. We're gonna leave some for Mr. Jumping Spider here. So if you come in, take a couple of stickers, make sure you leave plenty for other people. Okay guys, we're gonna call it a day. We made a quick run through. The lady working here told us that they have new animatronics coming in like tomorrow, I think she said. And so Friday. I will, and Friday. So I will make another trip back here when they get more animatronics. Say goodbye to the spirit for now and say goodbye to Marion. Bye, guys. I told you to stay away. Oh, oh my God. <laughs>
Okay, guys, today we are in Wadsworth, Ohio. The sun is in my eyes and a child lost his shoe. But no worry, because we are going into a spirit Halloween. This spirit Halloween right here. Let's go. I believe I filmed this one last year. Let's go in and see what the deal is. Okay, will the door open? Thank you, ghosty door. Waiting right up front, we have Half a Head Jack. Hello, Half a Head. Look at his teeth up there. It's actually just a jagged part of the pumpkin. Let's see if we can get Jack to do something here. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look, we can see up inside his head. He has lights in his head. Holy crap. I'm sorry, Jack. I can't understand a word you were saying. Even if I wasn't talking, I still wouldn't be able to hear you. Okay, I understood the word eternity. I'm just kind of excited about those lights in his head. Okay, this is going to be a tough one because as you can see, they haven't got their deliveries yet. So there's nothing in here except for the spooky bricks. Why won't they do anything? Are they supposed to try to kill me? I'm disappointed in you, spooky bricks. Okay, let's keep on moving here. See what else we can find. Is there anybody? There's nobody waiting to scare me behind these pillars. But we do have the chains of death. Through the chains of death. Past the floor of squishy death. Every time I go through the chains of death, it's a little more fun. Okay, guys, let's go this way and see if there's any animatronics. There's none here, but I'm still scared by these spooky bricks. And these spooky skeletons. This spooky whatever it is. None of these spooky bricks work. Maybe the jumping spider will work. All right, let's give him a try. Do we see? Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Okay, you did a good job. You just saved the day, Mr. Spider. Around to the pumpkin carve -a where once again there is new for 2021 Spooky Bricks. Wait, what in the world is going on here? The conveyor belt's not even running. What the? And we got half a pumpkin over here. I'm sorry, sir, but you are fired for stopping the line, and you are fired for letting half a pumpkin come through. Let's go in here and see if we can see this half a pumpkin. Yes, look at it. We have half a pumpkin on the conveyor belt. You, sir, are fired. Hold on just a minute. We have one of the pumpkins right here on top. I was kind of hoping there'd be a different face on the back so they'd be interchangeable, but I guess they're not. And speaking of the spooky bricks, take a closer look at them. They're foam. That is actually pretty cool. They look like real bricks. Okay, spooky bricks. I was really, really hoping there would be more animatronics and stuff in here. I do see Sam over here. So let's go pay him a visit. Hello, Sam. Let's see if you'll do anything for us here. Here we go. Oh, yes, Sam. Sam is saving the day for us. Okay, Mr. Sam with your blinking lights. Let's make our way back here to the other part of the factory and see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. We got the wraith. All right, mister. Come on. Yes. Up and down he goes back and forth, murdering us with his spookiness. I'm glad they at least have him set up. I do see other animatronics on the floor for sale. Kind of surprises me they're not set up, but I guess it is what it is. Look, a pickaxe. I gotta feel this cinder block here because this as well is fake. It's just made of foam, but it looks so real. Good job. Okay, I don't... Oh yeah, we do have a couple of things set up over here. All right, let's start with Miss Wister... Little Mr. Wacky. Wister Mackey. Come on, Wister. Uh-oh. Somebody broke his hand. I'd be crazy, too, if I had a broken hand. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that is very... That is kind of sick, actually. <laughs> All right, let's move on over here to the Harvester of Souls, see if he'll get moving. Look at me. Yes, Harvester. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever! Oh, boy. No fog for Mr. Far Harvester. Okay, all right, let's do the jumping spider. All right, good job, fella. At least the spiders are working. That's a good thing. 
Okay, Mr. Night Stalker, show me what you got. <laughs> Okay, around the corner, and we don't have Mr. Dark. Excuse me, sirs. You're behind on inventory. Could you please put in a new order? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't super disappointed that there weren't more animatronics in here, but I do see a lot of things on the floor for sale, so let's go look and see what they have. Is that okay with you, Mr. Bony Shark? Yes. Okay, we have a whole bunch of things right here. Let's start with this stack over here. It is the sitting scarecrow. We have one, two, three, four. I think they have enough where they could have set one of them up just to take up the space that should be taken up by something that's not here. We also have a punctured Pete. And a lot of the stores that I've been in have had punctured Pete set up. So it kind of surprises me that he's not set up. We have the empty soul girl on a swing. The Scary Clown Inflatable Archway. We have a handful of the posable dummy props, but let's make them presentable here. And we have two of the Sinister Spirit Dolls. We have skulls on baling twine, skulls not on baling twine, skulls on sticks, and skulls in hands. I know, it's hilarious. All right, let's see if they have any burrito babies. I do not see any, but they do have four crawling zombie babies. Excuse me, sir, do you think you could find your mom to wrap you up like a burrito? Oh, look, we have the many a skull skulls, the snake through the eyes skull. Here's the monster crawling hands like we saw in the video yesterday from the, uh, the yard haunt, Hunter's Haunted House. Oh boy, presentation, presentation, presentation. We have the inflatable wolf man, the inflatable skeleton, the inflatable cat, inflatable Sam, Inflatable Frankenstein, Inflatable Ghost, and Inflatable Skull. I hope these two are enjoying their honeymoon. This guy too is waiting and wondering where all the props are. Let's just take a minute to look at these vintage masks here, because these are really cool. Here's a vintage gray cat with yellow eyes, and then this one is a black cat. <laughs> This one's actually pretty cool. I think I like this one better than that one. Although he does have the big Cheshire smile. This one's a vintage ape mask He uh, with a purple face. Right above him is the evil monkey, the vintage devils. And I like this one, the vintage phantom skull mask. I like the green in that one. Oh wait, we also have a vintage skeleton down here. Look, he has a, ha a top hat on. That's pretty cool too. Okay, hold on, we got a couple more over here. Look, we have the vintage Frankenstein, the vintage werewolf, that one's pretty cool. The vintage mummy, I also like the colors in this one. This looks really cool. And then we have the vintage pumpkin over here. Wait a minute. Okay, oh, it's just the same smile as the cat. For a minute I thought it was the same one as over here, but that's a cat. Oh, look at this one, I don't think I've seen this before. It's a light up clown mask. He's smoking a cigar. That's a full head mask. Apparently there used to be a, a button there that we could try him, but look at that. Kind of reminds me of John Wayne Gacy. Oh, look, we got a money shooter. It's like a gun that shoots money out. And right beside it is a whole bunch of fake $100 bills. I bet those fit right in the gun here, and then you shoot the money out. Okay, let's look at the clearance section here, see if they got anything cool. Okay, so we got a Rick Sanchez. We got a Hotel Transylvania Frankenstein. That's actually a pretty cool one right there. We got the Ghastly Gargoyle. Incredibles glasses. Look, it's the Nerd Alert. Yes, here's something I haven't seen in a lot of the stores, guys. Billy Butcherson's head. We got the Bouncy Sam heads. The Pennywise side steppers going crazy look they're almost moving in unison we got the whole toon squad set up here all you need is the new lebrons we've got beetlejuice we've got michael myers all right let's see what mask they have they have the regular halloween one from halloween one uh, this is Halloween 2, then we have Halloween 2018, and we have Halloween Kills. Lots of Freddy Krueger stuff, lots of Jason stuff. What is that gun doing here? That's not a Jason thing. Lots of Chucky stuff here too, and look, I like this throw. This is actually a really cool one. How much is that? That is 25 bucks for that throw. 
Hi, I'm Chuck. You want to play? And they're pretty well stocked with the uh, Sam costumes here, too. All right, we got to find somewhere to leave some stickers in here, guys. Holy crap, somebody just asked if they had this in any stores. This is the first one I've seen it in, the inflatable Barney costume. This is the adult size, too. And look, they also have South Park and Garfield and Gremlins and Taz. Oh look, they also have Snoopy. All right, let's find some kind of a bucket. I wish we had Charlie's bucket, but we just don't. Or I suppose we could just use a hat. That'll work. Let's put it on the bottom shelf here so it's easily accessible. And there we go. Lots of stickers for the girls and boys. Okay guys, that is it for the Wadsworth Spirit Halloween. I'm getting out of here. I will see you guys later. Oh look guys, they actually have, I think it's called experiment number four. There, oh yes, it worked! All right, guys, today we are back at the Spirit Halloween in Canton, Ohio, and what in the world is that? Jason Voorhees is in this car. But we're not here for that. Today we are here because I wanna see everything Pennywise in Spirit Halloween. Now, I haven't been in here for a few days. There's a chance that they have new animatronics set up because they were supposed to get a new delivery. Thank you, ghosty doors. Okay, well, what I do see is the green eye inflatable right here. He's gonna be watching our every move as we move over here to see everything Pennywise. You know what, let's start with the shirts over here because I think they might have a Pennywise shirt. Ah, yes, right here. There is the Pennywise shirt. That is actually a pretty cool shirt. That's the old, uh, the original Pennywise. Oh, and here's the new one. Okay, I really like that one. I remember pointing this one out in another video because I liked that green haze around him. Looks like they have both of them in stock too, but they're not my size. They have all kinds of awesome clown stuff that is not Pennywise. And look at this one, the patriotic clown. I don't know if I've seen this one before. That is pretty funny. Look at his face. And I love the girl clown outfits. Look at these, these are so cool. Look at that, that is totally creepy. Now, unfortunately, they do not have the Pennywise animatronic, the new one for this year. It would be sitting right here if they had it, but they don't have it. So let's go back over here. I believe Pennywise would be right, yeah, right on the other side of the Corpse Bride stuff. Look at the Pennywise socks. I have not bought Pennywise socks yet. Although I highly doubt these would fit. These are so skinny. Here's the full costume from the original Pennywise from the 90s. That includes the jumpsuit, the mask, the gloves, and the collar. Yeah, everything is in this one package here. That's not too bad. $59.99. And here is the new version of Pennywise. Let's see, shirt, pants, mask, collar, and gloves. So yeah, this is the whole outfit in one package as well and that one is also $59.99. Look, we got Georgie here. I think this is the full thing too. Jacket, mask, balloon with a stick. Look at his face there. That's obviously the Georgie after he got caught by Pennywise. There's the mask and you can see the red balloon there too. And that one is $49.99, so that's pretty cool too. We got the newer Pennywise mask here. This is not the full size mask, like a full head mask. Just one that you strap on. We got a cosmetic kit here with lipstick and face paint and crayons and I don't know, I guess everything you need to dress up like Pennywise. If you decide to paint your face instead of going with a mask. And look down here, we got the girl it. It's the, it's the chick it. <laughs> I forgot I called her a chick it the one year. That comes with a dress, collar, wrist cuffs, ankle cuffs, thigh highs, everything you need except for the face paint. This one does not come with a mask, but it comes with everything else. That's where you would need the, uh, the cosmetic kit. It looks like that's all the Pennywise stuff on this display here as far as like a costume goes. But they have tons of other Pennywise stuff around the store, so let's go ahead and just start looking around. Okay, wait, we can't not 
not go through the chains of death. We have to go through the chains of death. And the first thing I see is Pennywise mugs. Look at this, this is actually pretty cool here. Ooh, and right above it, they have another one here. Look at this, this is cool. That's a spookier version with like a silhouette of Pennywise and blood dripping from the top. Ooh, let's see what it says on the back. Come home, come home. Okay, look, we have Pennywise dish towels embroidered time to float there's actually two of them in there okay this is hmm i guess this is just like a collage on that one this looks to be all friday the 13th here but we do have georgie's boat right below it it's like a plush boat okay we got a couple things on the other side here here's another georgie's boat the ss georgie that's just like a wooden a wooden plaque like i guess you could set it in the middle of your table Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, here's a, a framed picture. You will float too, if I can get a hold of it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that, oh, Georgie disappears. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Here we have a reversible Pennywise uh, plush throw, like a blanket. That's cool, this is on the one side, and this is on the other. Let's see how much that is. Man, that's heavy, that's a, a nice uh, blanket there. $39.99, I like that. All right, let's see. Um, I know they have another style of the plush throw, but I don't see any over here. Oh, this is not Pennywise, but I like this from Hocus Pocus. I lit the black flame candle. Okay, let's head back this way, see if we can find anything. Whoa, holy crap, guys. These guys are like totally sold out of all their animatronics. Oh, look, guys, they actually have, I think it's called experiment number four. There, oh, yes, it worked. <laughs> Look at that. Red hands. It's like a red witch hand or something. That is pretty creepy. I'm so surprised they have it. That is so cool. All right, we got to see that again. Go back to your home and then scare us again. Let's see if it's... There we go. <laughs> that is so cool. I totally missed this one at the flagship store and everybody is still telling me that I missed it. Okay, let's go ahead and head over this way. Here's the inflatable light up eye like we saw when we first walked in. I wish they had an inflatable Pennywise. That would be awesome. This is not Pennywise, but it's the stakeable talking clown head. I like that guy. He's not very loud though. Holy crap, guys. Look at all the zombie babies they have. I do not see a burrito baby, but they have tons of zombie babies. Look at this one. It's called Snackin' Stevie. He's snacking on someone's hand. What in the world? $42.99. Yeah, Snackin' Stevie. That is hilarious. He's just a hungry boy. And then we have Spider Biter Billy. <laughs> snacking on spiders. Look at that. That is so funny. Look, there's spiders in his mouth and everything. Oh my gosh, okay, so we got two Snack and Stevies, then we got one, two, three, four, five Spider Biters. And then we've got four of this guy. I don't even know what his name is. I always see him everywhere I go, but all right, let's look. Gorius George is his name. That is hilarious. Look at his face. Holy crap, guys. Look, they have two Hugs dolls. Oh my gosh, one of these is coming home with me today. And look, we have other haunted dolls too. We have Eerie Emma right here. Look at her, look at her eyes. That is eerie. Then we have Decrepit Haunted Doll. She doesn't even get a name, she's just decrepit. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just a bunch of the same ones up here. But how cool that they have the Hugs doll. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I'm totally getting sidetracked. I'm in here to see Pennywise and I end up playing with Hugs. Okay, before we move on, we gotta try him out. It's hard to understand what he's saying because the music in here is so loud, but he is so cool. $26.99, you are coming home with me, mister. Okay, I see other clowns here, but no Pennywise, but I do see the pig head on a hook. What in the world? Look at this. That is so hilarious. I don't know if I've ever seen that in here before. Pig head on a hook. It's like the butcher got caught. All right, let's get back on track here, see if we can find any more Pennywise stuff. 
Oh, look, there are a few other things that weren't here while I was here the other day. Look, they have experiment number four. He's actually on the floor for sale. And then they have a whole bunch of the fogging skull piles. That's cool. Sometimes there's like little trinkets and things mixed in among the aisles, but I don't see any out here. Here's the freaky foam clown. Somebody had this mask on in the uh, haunted car wash last year. We got a crouchy mask up here. All right, I don't see any other Pennywise in the kids section, but let's go up in here. Okay, this is not really a Pennywise mask, but it kind of looks like it. We do have the Pennywise lanyard here. Oh look, it's Georgie's boat in the red balloon all the way down. That is pretty cool. It comes with this little rubber thing that says, time to float. Here's a Pennywise magnet. Swear if it, swear if it isn't dead, if it comes back, we come back too. That's pretty cool. Here's an it keychain with, oh, it's got Georgie's boat. It's got a little Pennywise, a balloon. Oh, I guess that's it. Those three things and then a little hook here. I like that. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of Pennywise eyes. Mm, strangely, I don't see any Pennywise buttons in here. These are not Pennywise, but they're pretty cool. Light up scary clowns. I like that. Look, there's a little tiny light inside there. Here's one that's lit up already. Look at that. The eyes are blue. There's the light. I like that. That's pretty cool. Here we got the Pennywise gel clings. These you stick like on your windows. And they're this weird kind of squishy gel thing. Come home, come home. I love dairy. There's Pennywise. There's the Pennywise silhouette. Time to float. Come back and play. And that just says Pennywise and it's dripping blood. Oh, look, we have the Pennywise candy in the tin. Yes, these are really good, too. If you guys remember, I bought these, the Jason ones, when I did everything Jason. And I didn't on film, but I opened it, and they're shaped like little candy cleavers. They taste so good. Okay, guys, that was it. We're going to look at this picture out here one more time. What in the world? It's Pennywise, but his head is split. Okay, anyways, that's it, guys. I expected to see a lot more in there. It sucks that they didn't have the uh, the sewer grabber, or not sewer grabber, um, sewer jumper. I don't even remember what it is this year. <laughs> I've only seen it one place and it was at the flagship store. So anyways, all right, we'll see you later. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> They have the Michael Myers door greeter. What is he, a lunch lady with this hairnet here? Can I get an extra chocolate milk, please? Or maybe a sloppy joe, slop sloppy joe. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> Alright guys, today we are in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, where we have found another Spirit Halloween. I believe this used to be an H.H. H. Gregg. Because you can see right under the Spirit Halloween where it says appliances and electronics. Plus, I think I've filmed here before at least once, maybe twice. And this lucky little guy over here just got some stickers. Anyways, I'm wearing my Freddy shirt and my Freddy shoes. What are those? So I am definitely ready for Freddy and whatever else this awesome Spirit Halloween has in store. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, ghosty doors. Thank you, other ghosty doors. Right up front, we have the Barfamet. All right, this guy is creepy looking. Let's just look at him a minute. Look at his yellow eyes. I do like that. He's just too evil for me, though. But that's just me. All right, guys, I do see that they have... There was just a fly trying to get me. Did you see that? I do see that they have some animatronics set up that I have not seen in other stores. Okay, maybe I have seen them in other stores, but at least they're set up. Okay, we're going into the Halloween factory. And first off is the Hauntress. Okay, Hauntress, do me right. Oh, there you go. She didn't jump out as far as usual. Usually, she jumps out a lot farther. And then over here, there should be... The scream, the the ghost face, which is basically just like the sister or brother to the Hauntress. I know I'm talking about you still. Give me five. Okay, let's go through the chains of death. We love the chains of death. Uh-oh, I didn't hear any sounds when we went through the chains of death. Let's try it again. Chains of death. 
Okay. Even though there's no sounds, there's still fun. So let's go through the chains of death again. And we can't forget about the deadly pumpkin guts on the floor. And let's just take a second to look at these awesome skulls on the top here adorning the sign that says how many days are left till Halloween. Of course, for people like us, it's always Halloween. But for everyone else, there's 28 days. Okay, let's see what's over here. First there's Hen, wait a minute, no. First there's the spooky bricks. You gotta love the spooky bricks. But aside from the spooky bricks, there's Henry Hustle. All right, look at his cards. Look at the scary spooky skull on his cards here. Oh wait, look, oh my gosh, look. <laughs> You can see his scary head peeking out at us. He's ready to pop out. Now, I don't know if he's gonna work. Let's give him a stomp here and see. No, he is not working, guys, but I'll tell you what. It's worth it to see him like this because I think it's so hilarious that those eyes are just peering out at us. Henry, you are one silly guy. Excuse me, Henry, your neck eyes are looking at us. All right, let's move on over here to the sitting scarecrow. Let's see first if he jumps at us if I try to take his candy. No? <laughs> All right, let's use the foot stomper here. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. I hear you, mister. Look at your eyes. Black eyes of the sitting scarecrow. All right, mister, you deserve some stickers. Let's move on to Buzzsaw. All right, mister, show me what you got. Show me what you got. I don't think he, he's not turned on either. Guys, they are like in the middle of setting everything up. I can even see over there that they don't have the, uh, the conveyor belt set up yet. So Mr. Buzzsaw is not working, but he does look awesome. Look at his face. <laughs> I do see that they have a handful of awesome animatronics on the floor for sale, but let's look over here. We got these guys getting prepared to take their shift as everything gets set up for the pumpkin carve -a I told you this was a H.H. H. Greg. Look, digital home theater. Okay, let's see who we have set up over here. All right, let's first go to the jumping spider, the red and black jumping spider. What do you got for me, sir? There he is. You always do such a good job at spooking us. Hold on, let me fix your broken leg here. There you go. Okay, buddy. We got the harvester of souls, but I don't think he's quite ready yet. Let's find out. Oh yeah, I guess he is. Here we go. No fog on this guy. Maybe later, though, because they are still setting up. I hear you, Mr. Wacky Mole. Okay, keep going. Let's hear you. Oh, now you want to shut up. Okay, let's do it again. Come on now. Come on now with your candy corn teeth and your spiral Step eyes. Right up, boys and girls. Who's next me. To get by my hammer? Um, not me. <laughs> I'll be the first on your block to say, Wacky Mole, club me over the head. I don't know about you, but I don't want to get whacked by the Wacky Mole. Get your paycheck and get out of here. We got Mr. Skeleton over here. Mr. Dark should be right here, but he's not here. So let's take a look at Mr. Skeleton. What I want to show you on here is that if you notice me limping around today while I'm in the stores, it's because my foot has the gout right here on this toe, on this joint, and it hurts so bad. Okay, Mr. Skeleton, thank you for posing for me so I could show everybody about the gout. Seriously, though, it hurts and it kicks in for about three days at a time and I can barely walk. I would be willing to bet that this guy has the gout, but I'll tell you what he doesn't have. Aqua Fresh. Excuse me, sir, you need a happy hour at the dentist? They give you free toothpaste and toothbrush and everything. You won't regret it, sir. Oh, look, they have the Michael Myers door greeter. What is he, a lunch lady with this hairnet here? Can I get an extra chocolate milk, please? Or maybe a Slobby Joe. Slop, Slobby Joe. All right, Michael, I'm sorry. Let's see what you got to offer. Spooky eyes. Ooh, they're flashing at us, too. And the Michael Myers Halloween theme. This one's from H2O. I just watched that the other night. I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. This guy is not the lunch lady. Oh, I almost didn't recognize you. You smell so different when you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's look at the inflatables. We got the four foot light up inflatable big green eye. That reminds me of Mike Wazowski. I must have read the map wrong with my one eye. We got the six foot inflatable skeleton hands, the eight foot inflatable light up reaper, the eight foot inflatable light up ghost, the eight foot inflatable light up Frankenstein, and the six foot inflatable light up skull. This is actually one of my favorites. I'd love to have about 10 of these in my front yard. Oh, we got the five foot inflatable inflatable light up haunted tree. Oh, I almost forgot about the animatronics over here. Look guys, they have a Barfamet for sale and they have the 36 inch animated Reaper greeter. I love this guy. Look at that spooky skeleton face. We got Bubba Man's Possessed Friend. Look at those eyes. We got the Sitting Scarecrow and look, we got Grim. I don't think I've seen a Grim available in a store yet. Good job, Cuyahoga Falls. We got a whole stack of jumping spiders. We got the black jumping spider. We got the black and red jumping spider. Do we have the brown? Where are you, Mr. Brownie? I don't see any brown jumping spiders. All right, guys, we got the Sam Greeter over here and he's surrounded by posable dummies. Look how real the hands look on the posable dummy. That is really cool. All right, I gotta look at Freddy over here a minute. Because when I was putting on my Nightmare on Elm Street shoes, I was trying to figure out if I had Nightmare on Elm Street socks. And I don't. So I wanted to see what they have, even though I've looked at them before. Okay, I have these right here that have like the, uh, well, it's, it's striped like the sweater. And then they have the claw marks on here, Elm Street sign, okay. We got these right here with Freddy's face on it, which I don't know, I wish the face looked better. That would be really cool. Um, oh, that says never sleep again, so that's cool. And then we got the Freddy versus Jason booties. I'm certainly not gonna wear these. Although Freddy versus Jason is definitely one of my favorite scary movies ever. I think these would go cool with the shoes, but they just look so small. They don't even look like they would fit me. But they do have an awesome Nightmare on Elm Street beanie. Look at this. We got the hat, the glove, the Elm Street sign, and it says Nightmare on Elm Street, and it's colored like his sweater. And they have the Supreme Edition Nightmare glove. Look at that. That is such an awesome glove. I thought about buying that, but I don't think I will. <laughs> I gotta be very limited with what I buy. Which reminds me, somebody told me the other day that they have an Uncle Charlie doll, so I gotta go see if they have one of those in stock. If they had it, it would probably be in one of these aisles over here. Hello, Mr. Two-Head. Hello, rat. Let's see if the Shaking Reaper works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. All right, he's not in that aisle, but maybe down here. No, I don't see him, and I don't see a burrito baby either. Wait a minute. Okay, here's the haunted dolls. If they had him, it would be hanging right here. It totally cracks me up that they call this one Eerie Emma, and they actually give her a name. But this one, they just call the decrepit haunted doll. They don't even give her a name. What do you want your name to be? We could call her Donna, decrepit Donna. At least she'd have a name then. Hello, Gorius George. Hello and hello, Spider Biter Billy. You gotta love this guy. Look, he's got the spiders in his mouth. I point that out every time because it's so cool. And I know we love looking for the burrito baby, but if you guys see a cat dog, let me know the zombie cat dog. Cause I have not seen him since the New Jersey store and somebody in a store even told somebody that it doesn't even exist. But we know it does because I saw it and I got it on film. Isn't that right, Spider Biter Billy? Oh look, right underneath the Michael Myers sleigh pillows is the sitting Sam doll. I haven't seen him in a lot of stores, but he is pretty awesome. He's probably one of my favorite Sam props that they have. Holy crap, yes, they have Billy Butcherson's head. I just watched Hocus Pocus the other night, Saturday night. If you guys have not seen my Saturday night snack and a movie videos, make sure you watch them because we always watch an awesome movie and make an awesome snack. And this is Billy Butcherson's head. Man, that hair is an atrocity. <laughs> However, in the movie, his hair is an atrocity too, so. Okay, how much is Billy Butcherson's head here? Let's see, 39, $39.99 $39 for Billy Butcherson's head. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted. All right, Billy, I think we're gonna have to wait for another day, but I promise when I buy you, I will take you to the salon. Okay, now this is sweet too. It's a Skull Morning Star. I thought it was called a mace, 
but it's called a morning star. And look, he has bones in place of what would be like nails, because usually these are made with a ball on the end and there's nails sticking out of some kind or spikes, but he has bones. I gotta say, their masks are very well displayed in this store. Look, they have a Captain Spaulding mask. I'm not really a fan of the House of Thousand Corpses movie, um, but this is a pretty cool mask. Oh, look, I almost missed it. They got a Hugs doll. I actually bought a Hugs doll the other day and I've been using him in a lot of my cameos. Oh my gosh, guys, I was about to leave and then I realized I have not come over here to see Sam. So many times I've almost missed Sam because they set him off to the side over here. Come on, Sam, do your stuff. Come on. All right, it's not working. I'll do it for you. <laughs> All right, Sam, buddy, I didn't do it as good as you, but I still tried. All right, before we leave, I'm going to leave some more stickers right by the blood. All right, guys, that is it for the Cuyahoga Falls Spirit Halloween. This bush smells like cat pee and my foot hurts, so I'm out of here. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, look what I see here. I told you to stay away. Oh my god! <laughs> what are those? Alright, guys, today I am in Mansfield, Ohio, and right behind me is a spirit Halloween that is in an old Chuck E. Cheese. Look at that, you can see where Chuck E. used to be right up here. And then it used to say Chuck E. Cheese right behind the Halloween. How cool is that? All right, let's go in. How very strange. You come in the doors here, and then this over here is the door to go into Spirit. Very weird. Okay, let's go check it out. Enter. Admission to the fun is always free. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Oh, there's actually doors that come in from the outside right there that I didn't see. Anyways, as you come in these doors, here is the setup that greets you. And right over here we have Punctured Pete going crazy. Hey, mister. Oh, you got a splinter? Okay. We got half a head Jack over here talking about something, about walking amongst the dead with his half a head or something like that, I don't know. He is actually huge. Look at his long fingers. I know I've said it before. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's a little louder than the other ones have been. I still couldn't quite catch exactly what he was saying, but something about unearthing the ground and your destiny or eternity or something, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I know, sir, I already heard you. And look up here, we have one single chain of death swooped over the side. But we do have the tiles of death. We got the pumpkin carvomatic with the two guys who apparently have already been fired or died on the job or something because the carvomatic is not even moving. These pumpkins are just like standing still. All right, guys, you're gonna have to get on unemployment, I guess. Oh wait, I see a jumping spider peeking out over here. Let's see if he works. Come on now. Come on now. He doesn't work. All right, little guy, one day you'll come back from the dead. Well, we do have some animatronics over here that are available. We have two of experiment number four. That's the one where the hand like shoots out at you. Yeah, there's actually two of those. And then we got two Harriet Hustles over here. Kind of surprises me they don't have one of these set up. We have four creepy crimson girl on a swing. She reminds me of that singer Sia with that white hair. Creepy. And of course we have the jumping spiders. Then these are, we got the brown one, we got the black one. Uh, and I guess that's it, the brown and the black. All right, let's take a little walk through here, see what else we can find. Any other animatronic set up? I don't see any at the moment, but maybe on the other side of the store because they do have a whole other side of the store. Hmm, yeah, nothing over here. We'll come back and look at the costumes and stuff in a minute. Well, here's where Sam and Shorty would be, but there's nothing but 
a random chair sitting there. That's weird. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, here's some more setup back here. Some more of the Halloween factory. Let's go see if there's any man animatronics. Mmm, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. There are none set up, guys. Absolutely nothing. I don't think I've seen any other stores that had no animatronics set up in this part. Okay, that is a disappointment, but let's go back over here and look at some of the costumes. I know, Punctured Pete, we've already talked. You crazy, crazy guy. I don't think I've seen the Midnight Sorceress before, or the Coven Witch. Look, a where in the world is Carmen Sandiego backpack? And a little lipstick and compact set. Binoculars. Colonel Sanders. Oh look, they have the Hogs costume. I haven't seen this costume in a lot of stores this year. They are all for kids. I'll have to check the adult section and see if they have it too. Hugs is definitely one of my all-time favorites. And look at this clown cleaver. This is pretty cool. Look at the teeth on that thing. Oh my gosh, now this one is cool. Bobblehead pumpkin costume. Look at that. Look how big the pumpkin head is. That's awesome. It's like a big foam pumpkin mask. Here's a bald wig if you want to be that Nate guy for Halloween. Look at this. You could be A.C. Slater from Saved by the Bell. You could be a donut, french fries, or a taco. Look, it's an eyeball that you glue onto your head. Oh, look, they have lots of Scream costumes here, including the one with the chrome ghost face. Whole wall of Hocus Pocus stuff. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Oh, look at this. Somebody told me to keep an eye out for snow globes. This is a skull with a blackbird in there, and it's snowing black snow. Look, guys, they have the Uncle Charlie costume. That is totally sweet. That's extra large. That's the adult size. Wish I could put some stickers in his bucket. Oh, they actually have Cruella's red gown at this one. I haven't seen that in other stores. It's usually just the wig and uh, the makeup and stuff. Oh, they have the choker, too, and the earrings. They have a Sully suit. Look, from Monsters, Inc. They had a really awesome one of these that came out of the Disney store years ago. This one's pretty cool, too. Lots of Hocus Pocus and Harry Potter. They have the inflatable Stay Puffed. Whole bunch of light-up marshmallow helmets. Let's see if it works. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Changes colors and everything. Pretty cool. Astronaut suits and helmets. Wait, look, they actually have astronaut boots up here, too. Apparently, you just put them over your shoes or something. But look at the cool helmet. My son wanted to be an astronaut one year, and we made a helmet at home. It was kind of a pain, so it's kind of cool that they have these available. Look at this, a steampunk goblet. I don't know if I've seen that in other stores either. That's kind of cool if you're into steampunk. Then here's a medieval goblet. That's pretty cool. Look at this helmet over here. Put this in, put this on and go into battle. And if you win the battle, you could become the noble king. Look, I thought this said Warrior Queed. It says Warrior Queen. What in the heck is a Warrior Queed? Oh, look, you gotta love the hippie stuff. Look at this shirt. All right, let's see what comes with this one. Shirt, wig, glasses, peace sign necklace. So I wonder, do you, oh yeah, you get the fro, you get the afro wig and the glasses and the peace sign necklace that he's wearing. That is too funny. Oh, look, you could buy it separately too. They have the peace pendant tie-dyed shirts, and look, a hippie poncho. I love that. Fringe boot covers, like what she's wearing. I love that outfit, actually. And here's the feather headband. Here's the dude's hippie kit with the peace necklace and the glasses and the headband. And then up here is the chick hippie kit. The hippie chick. Holy crap, guys. Look what I see here three zombie babies I have not seen in other stores. This is the one that everybody keeps posting pictures of on the Facebook page. That is so hilarious and so creepy. And then here's this one that's actually eating bugs. Let's see what his or her name is. Ravenous Ruby is her name. She's eating cockroaches. What in the world? And then this one, look, oh, this is the snake one. This is the snake one that a bunch of people were trying to find. Let's see what his name is. 
Ronnie the Rebel. Why wouldn't it be like Sandy the Snake Eater or something like that? I don't see any burrito babies, but it is cool that they do have those that I haven't seen in other stores. Animated Reaper Greeter. The animated doll greeter. Let's see if she works. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta love that laugh. <laughs> okay, let's try this guy. No, he's not working. And he's not either. That laugh sounded like the Angeline animatronic from last year. <laughs> they do have the inflatable haunted tree and the skeleton. Inflatable ghost, inflatable reaper, the skull, the Frankenstein, and the wolfman. Apparently this is the only haunted doll they have. Decrepit Donna, as we were calling her in the other store. Look at this sweet thing. It's, an, it's a, like a zombie skeleton arm holding a swinging light up pumpkin. Oh, and this is a skull. It's a mossy skull under there. That is actually pretty cool. And then we have the burning skull pathway markers. Yeah. Gotta love those. Let's see what kind of spooky stuff they got hanging over here. All right, oh look, they got the double head. Hello, double head. Look at how his mouth is like stapled on the one, that is creepy. They got this guy that needs the scope because he has no teeth for Aquafresh. And the creepy uh, nurse, I guess, the screaming nurse. Let's see. Okay, here we go. What? I couldn't understand a word she just said. But there's these guys up here who need the Aquafresh. Now, this is an awesome mask here. I pointed this out before. The Nighty Night Mask. And this is the one that the, uh, yeah, the jaw moves when you talk. That is cool. They got a couple of Halloween masks here, Halloween 2, and then Halloween 2018, but I don't see Halloween kills. They do have both of the Beetlejuice masks, this one and that one, and a couple of the outfits here. Oh look, it's Lydia's dress. Of course they have the Jason stuff, Friday the 13th. Freddy, and oh they got the Freddy shirt, and the Freddy glove, the Deluxe glove. All right, guys, that's it. That was pretty uneventful, actually, but stick around. We still have the rest of October and a whole bunch more to go to. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, look, they also have the light-up Pennywise balloon. Hold on, I, I gotta put down my vintage doll. Nobody touch it, nobody touch it. Okay. <laughs> I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay guys, today we are in Medina, Ohio at a spirit Halloween that is inside a bed, bath, and beyond the grave. And look at this, beside it there is a Sir Troy's Toy Kingdom. We're not going to go in there though because this is our toy kingdom. And holy crap guys, look who works at this store. It's Tom's Terrific Retails. Make sure you go subscribe to him on YouTube. All right, let's go in. Dear Lord Almighty in the heavens above, I hope there are some animatronics and awesome Halloween stuff in here that we have not seen at least for a while. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing some cool stuff, guys. Yes, our, ans our prayers were answered. Oh yeah, they have a handful of them, guys. And right off the bat, I see at least two that I haven't seen probably since the New Jersey flagship store. Here it is, the Spirit Halloween Factory. And right up front, we have Barfamet. And yes, I said Barfamet. Here he goes. Look at his giant scythe. I do like that. Okay, Barfamet. That's all the screen time I'm going to give you. As we enter the Halloween factory right here on the left where there would be the Hauntress, we have the Ghost Face. Yes! I haven't seen him in I don't know how many stores. Probably This is probably only the third store I've seen him in. Let's do it again just because it's Ghost Face. Come on now. Come on now. There you go. I really wish he said something like, do you want to die tonight, Sydney?" Or something like that. But 
He doesn't, so all right. Oh look, we have the chains of death hanging right here. Speaking of the chains of death, let's go through. Chains of death, we love you. We love you, chains of death. Hmm, very strange. I didn't hear anything yell at us or make a loud train noise or anything. And somehow I almost tripped over a spooky brick when I walked out of the chains of death. So let's bring it up here and set it down among the spooky crumbles. I know, I already heard you. <laughs> I assume that right here there probably was a jumping spider that is not there anymore. But look at this, guys. They actually have Beetlejuice. Holy crap. Let's see if we can get him going here. Come on. Here we go. You look He's not very loud, but I am so glad to see him. This is, I think, only the second store this season that I have seen him in. I think the only other one was the flagship store in New Jersey. Yes, I hear you, sir. We'll be with you in a minute. Okay, Headless Jack, here we are. Look how high he's standing. I think he is the tallest Headless Jack that I have seen yet. I think all the other ones were kind of hunched over, but he is t standing, like, straight up. <laughs> he's so huge. All right, Jack. It's hard to hear any of these guys in here because there's so much noise going on. So over here, look at this, guys. We also have Henry Hustle. I've only seen him in probably three or four stores, if that. All right, let's, here we go. Let's see if we can get him going. Here we go. Okay. I choose this one. <laughs> Yes, look at his face. Oh, that's right. The last store that I was in that I saw Henry Hustle, he wasn't working correctly. If you remember, his face, like the scary face, his neck face, I called him, was just peeking out. So let's do it Wanna one more time. There we go. <laughs> yes, Henry Hustle. Now, if Harriet Hustle were here, she would be right here beside him, but she's not. So let's move on. Oh, yeah, I see one of my favorites. It is Grim. I always call him Mr. Grim, but his name is just flat out Grim. Okay, go for it. I wish they were turned up a lot louder. Some of the stores have them turned up really, really loud. Here's these guys making the pumpkins back here at the Pumpkin Carvomatic. I'm seeing a lot of awesome stuff in here, guys, but let's venture over here for a minute and see if folk okay, know they don't have Sam. Well, okay, I stand corrected. They have Sam, but he's still in the box. All right, buddy, they're gonna let you out soon, I promise. They don't have Shorty, at least the animatronic, but they do have the mask and they got Jumbo, and they got Spiky. All right, let's go back here before we look at anything else, guys, see if they have any more animatronics set up. Yes, we have Ophelia. She is like the weirdest animatronic ever. Watch this. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'll be right there with you. You can't escape. You can never, ever escape. <laughs> Look at her eyes, how she she just stands there like in shock with her eyes going back and forth because there's a demon on her back who will you never go never away. Escape. I will follow you to your dreams. You are powerless <laughs> and this nightmare will never end. <laughs> That's cool. I've only got to see her in, I think, one other store. I think the uh, the flagship store. Oh, man, they got a lot of awesome stuff to look at here. But let's see. Uh, okay, well, we got Wacky Mole. Let's check him out. I'll be the first on your block to say, Wacky Mole, clump me over the head. <laughs> All right, Wacky, that's enough of you. Get your paycheck and get out of here. Oh, look, we got some more awesomeness set up out here. Okay, I don't know if these are actually gonna, gonna do anything, but we got the Wraith. We know what the Wraith does. The Wraith is awesome. Just goes back and forth and up and down and makes the ghosty sounds. 
And then we got Bubba here. Um, okay, wait a minute, I see. Damaged, both of them are damaged, but they're still cool. Somebody who knows how to fix these could get this for a good price, 94 bucks, and fix it up. Guys, this is one of the most stocked spirits I've been in this year. And oh, oh my gosh, wait a minute. We gotta come over here for a minute because look at this. Look at all the babies. First off, we got the burrito baby, holy crap. There's two of them, two burrito babies. Oh, uh, are you enjoying your rat dinner? We see this guy in just about every spirit we go into, but we don't see this girl. She's just like a pouting little girl. Look at that. I don't even know what she's supposed to be. Mischievous Mandy is her name. Her clothes are all ripped up and she's just pouting. Kind of reminds me of Firestarter. We can't forget Spider Biter Billy. Look at this, he's eating the spiders. And I've only seen this guy in one other store. His name is Ronnie the Rebel. Look at this, he has snakes all over him. How creepy is that? Is this snake biting his leg? I guess not, but it just kind of looks like it's wrapped around squeezing and biting. And look at this one on his head. What the heck? All right, let's go out here because they have a bunch of awesome stuff set up right here. Wait a minute, look what we have here. Some of the vintage hanging guys. This is the devil, let's see if he works. Oh, look at those eyes. And then we have this guy here, the hanging vintage monster, but we both know that it's uh, Frankenstein. His not working. Seriously, guys, look at this. This is the most packed spirit store I've been in this year. Bunch of animatronics over here we're gonna look at in a second, but look at this. We got four of the 36 inch animated Reaper greeters. Uh, he's not working, but that's all right. Let's move on over here. We have a sinister spirit doll right here. Look at that face. Holy crap, guys, they actually have Ghostface in stock. Look at this. How cool is that? Not only one, they have two. And look at this. They have Evelyn Leach in stock. They don't have her set up, but they have two of them in stock on the floor. How cool is that? Man, they got a whole bunch of stuff over here. Look at this. Okay, first we got Henry Hustle, and then here is Harriet Hustle. I just said that if she was set up, she'd be right up there beside him. We got the caretaker here. Kind of surprises me he's not set up either, but they want to sell them, so that's why they're sitting out here. Another Evelyn Leach. That makes three of them, guys. Get down here to Medina if you want Evelyn Leach. Fogging skull pile and another caretaker. They're bringing out more awesomeness. Look, we got a buzzsaw. Holy crap. I don't think I've seen a buzzsaw actually on the floor for sale anywhere. And... A barfamet. I'm not into the barfamet, but if you're into the barfamet, they got a barfamet. Oh my gosh, guys, it is just madness in this store with everything getting unpacked. Hush, wacky, I already talked to you. Let's go up here, guys, because I saw something else. Look at this. They have four Chucky good guys in stock. The full size Chucky good guys. How cool is that? I have not seen one of these in stock in a store this year, but they got them at Medina. And look over here. They got a whole bunch of Hugs dolls. They got the decrepit Donna, the eerie Emma, and the vintage Wolfman. I am so buying the vintage Wolfman right here, right now in Medina. Holy crap, guys, look, they also have the light up Pennywise balloon. Hold on, I, I gotta put down my vintage doll. Nobody touch it, nobody touch it. Okay, <laughs> where's the button? There it is. The balloon lights up, how cool is that? No, it's my Wolfman, you can't have it. And guys, look at this, we have a Sam Groundbreaker. I have not seen that in any stores either. And look, they don't have one, they have three. Holy Four! Holy crap, they got four of the Sam Groundbreakers. No, I was wrong again. They have five Sam Groundbreakers. If you want a Sam Groundbreaker, get down here to Medina right now. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm getting too excited. I just can't stand it. Let's go look for some more stuff. This has got to be my favorite doormat I have ever seen at a Spirit Halloween. John Carpenter's Halloween doormat. Welcome. Have a knife day. All right, guys, I'm so excited. I almost missed this stuff. Look, they have... Creepy Crimson Girl on a Swing. There's one, two, three, four of those at least. And then there's five empty Soul Girls on a Swing. Whole bunch of the hanging phantom ghosts. Look, they got a couple of the monster crawling hands. More phantom ghosts down here. Then they have the Cracked Skull Zombie Groundbreaker. Yes, look at that. How cool is that? I love the green. That is awesome. All right, then we got some inflatables here. The Scary Clown Archway. 
We got the jack-o'-lantern archway, the inflatable tombstone, the inflatable haunted spooky tree, inflatable skeleton, inflatable wolfman, inflatable Frankenstein, giant inflatable skull, inflatable reaper, and the inflatable scary clown archway. We have four Mr. Doubleheads here. A whole slew of the Pose and Stay skeletons and the life-size black light skeletons. How cool is that? Ooh, we got a bunch of hanging Sams. Okay, a bunch meaning three. Then we got all these spooky guys here. You gotta love the hanging props. Whole bunch more over here. I love this guy right here. Keep looking down here. This guy needs the Aqua Fresh. Oh, look, we have the Beetlejuice snake statue. Oh, he's got a button. Does he do something? Oh, his eyes light up. Okay, that's pretty creepy. Lots of ghost face costumes, and guys, look at this. Again, they have the chrome edition of ghost face for the, uh, the Scream 25th anniversary. All right, we gotta leave a bunch of stickers here. Let's leave some for the empty soul girl. And here's some for Ophelia in the Spooky Bricks. Here's some for Chucky. And yes, we'll leave some for Henry Hustle. All right, guys, this has been a very good story as we go through the Chains of Death one more time. Oh my gosh, look, they have the shorty pop vinyl. How cool is that? What in the world? Look at this, it's a spooky pen. It's a ghoul gnawing on a leg. Look at this, guys. If you donate a dollar, you get to put a star up here. Wait a minute. What in the world is this? Rick Astley? Holy crap. All right, guys. That is it for the Medina Spirit Halloween. That is truly probably the best spirit I've been in this season so far. Keep watching. I told you to stay away. <laughs> Alright guys, today I am in Florence, Kentucky, and I am about to go into the mall, into this spirit Halloween, right back here. I am excited. Let's go in and see what they have. Apparently this is a former Sears. Oh boy, this is going to be a tough one. I don't see very much. Alright guys, it looks like they have a whole bunch of stuff in stock on the floor, but not set up. But we can go through the spooky chains of death. And holy crap, right outside the spooky chains of death. Look at this. They have a zombie baby I haven't seen before. Snackin' Stevie. Wait, I have seen him online. He's eating a hand. <laughs> He's a zombie baby eating someone's hand. It looks like grandpa's hand. Okay, they have a good handful of the zombie babies, but before we even get into this stuff, let's go over here because what they do have, besides the spooky bricks, is a bunch of animatronics. Look at this, guys. First off the bat, we have Bubba, man's possessed friend. And look at this. We haven't seen these in any stores except for the New Jersey flagship store, the Pennywise Sewer Jumper. Look at that right there, guys. They have four of these available right now. One, two, three, four. And oh my gosh, look what they have over here, guys. It looks like they have everybody. Well, we're gonna find out. Okay, they have Mr. Dark. Look at this. Not only do they have one, they have two Mr. Darks. How cool is that? Look, they have a Mr. Howl. They have two buzz saws. Look at this. How cool is that? We have waited so long for stuff to arrive in these stores, guys. Look, they have two of the Night Stalkers. You gotta love the Night Stalker. One, two. They have two Evelyn Leeches. Look at that. I still don't get that. She's like holding her husband's head. We have a Henry Hustle in stock. And over here, look at this. We have one, two, three Ophelias in stock right here that you can buy right now in Florence, Kentucky. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm about to go off. Look at this, look at this. They have the elusive Crouchy doll. Holy crap. Not just one, not just two, but three elusive Crouchy dolls. They also have the vintage Wolfman that I bought the other day. Nobody touch it. Nobody touch it. And they have Uncle Charlie. Holy crap. Look, they have one, two Uncle Charlie dolls. That is so cool. I wish he had a little bucket with him, though. All right, listen to Crouchy. Yes, his spooky laugh. 
And let's get Uncle Charlie going. <laughs> you gotta love Uncle Charlie. All right, I'm about to get in so much trouble when I go back out to the RV because I am going to buy Crouchy today. Or maybe it should be Uncle Charlie. I don't know, which one? Uncle Charlie, Crouchy. Crouchy, Uncle Charlie. All right, let's go do a little bit more exploring and then we'll decide. Here is a bunch of jumping spiders, but I hear something going on back here. I hope they have some guys set up. Let's see, please, oh please, no! There's nothing set up, but this is kind of a cool little spooky little nook back here. I've actually heard that a lot of stores have been told not to, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Not to put out new animatronics, like to set them up as a display, because they're just getting everything in and they just want to sell them and it's, you know, nearing the end of the season. Excuse me, sir, was there something you wanted to say? Oh, now you're being quiet. Look, I start to walk away and he starts talking. You know what? I got something to say to you. Get your paycheck and get out of here! Holy crap, guys, look! They usually have these with the zombie babies, but look what they have. They have the cat dog. The two-headed zombie freak cat dog mix. The one that Spirit Halloween themselves said didn't exist. Here it is. Here's another. Here's another. Here's another. And here's another. Look at it. Two heads, a cat, and a dog. The elusive cat dog prop. And I know you're wondering how much he is, so let's see. $49.99. $49.99 for the elusive double-headed cat dog. Hello, rats! Look at this. I don't know if I've seen this golden skull. Hmm. $19.99 for a golden skull. That's pretty cool. What in the world? Look at this, guys. I told you this was an old Sears down escalator. And look at this. It's a Sears price checker. Holy crap. Oh, we got a couple more things over here. All right, let's take a look. We got the glowing corpse groundbreaker. That looks pretty cool. I don't think I've seen this guy in any other stores. Creepy crimson girl in a swing. They got one, two, three of those. No, actually, they have four. They got another one over here. And three animated doll greeters. Ooh. <laughs> I love how they laugh. <laughs> oh, look, they also have the light up balloon. Here we go. I love that. I love the way that looks when it lights up. That is totally cool. Pennywise jigsaw puzzles. Oh, look, they have some of those Sam Groundbreakers, too. They got two of them, and they have the Sam Sitting Doll. That is sweet. Look, no, I was wrong. They have two more Groundbreakers over here and another Sitting Sam Doll. We have a Chucky Greeter here. Michael Myers string lights. And look at this. The new Michael Myers Halloween movie comes out tonight, guys. Holy crap, I'm so excited. I wish I was going to see it now. And that brings us back to the zombie babies, where we have this guy who's praying for your demise. <laughs> and then we have this chick here that I said before is just like a pouting little girl. Like, how strange is that? And then we have Ronnie the Rebel with snakes all over his body. Oh, and I almost missed the light up Sam on a pumpkin. That is totally sweet. I love that pumpkin. I want to carve a pumpkin like that. Okay, this is what I was looking for. I wanted to see if they had uh, Sam set up or Shorty, and they don't have either of them set up. Oh, and look, they have the Slim mask. Now, a lot of people called me out on my last video because I accidentally called this Jumbo. It's Slim. I'm making up for it right now. This is Jumbo, and this is Slim. Oh, and here's something else that people are having a hard time finding. It's Shorty's Club. Look at this. I saw this on only one other store, and as I walked around, some small boy bought it. What in the world? Here's two things I have never seen before. Look, it's a Chucky Good Guys ruler. He must be murdering with the ruler. And what in the world? It's a Chucky knife that is a purse. You zip it, and okay, it's a Chucky bag. It's called a Chucky bag, not a Chucky purse. So if you want it, you don't have to have a purse. You can have a bag, or you can have a Chucky purse. Okay, guys, let's go ahead back here and find somewhere that we can leave some stickers. You know what? I really like this price checker, so we're going to leave a whole bunch right here. Oh, we've never left any in a skull funnel before. Let's leave some by the spooky bricks. You know, these guys are some of my favorites in the whole store. Let's see if these work. Oh, yeah, here we go. Right this way, the show's starting. We never dream of starting without you. <laughs> hmm, okay, let's try another one here. Oh, here he goes. Oh, this is the one that kicks his legs. Look at that. 
How hilarious is that? Let's see if this one works too. Nope, only one of them works. He bl flashes his eyes and kicks his legs. All right, let's leave some here by the spooky lights and the spooky bricks. I am so excited, guys, that they have all these props on the floor for sale. Kind of sucks that they don't have any set up, but they do have a whole bunch of those Pennywise over there, and I love it. All right, guys, that brings me back to Crouchy and Uncle Charlie. You'll have to stay tuned to see which one I got. Holy crap, I can't stand it, guys. Look at this. They actually have the Billy Butcherson pop vinyl. And look, they got Chucky, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay, they got Shorty back there, but we saw him the other day. Chucky and Billy Butcherson. How cool is that? All right, guys, that was pretty awesome. When I first walked in, I thought it was gonna be a bust because I didn't see anything set up, but they had lots and lots and lots of awesome stuff in there. Stay away! Oh my God! <laughs> And look what we have down here, guys. It's two burrito babies. The twin burrito babies. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, I just drove this monster back here five hours so I could go to this Spirit Halloween back here in Evansville, Indiana. Hmm, I'm very curious as to what this used to be. I believe it was a Babies Are Us. I could be wrong. Oh, we have to go in this door. Okay, let's go see what we can find. Hopefully awesome stuff. Please have animatronics. Please have cool masks. Please have cool props. I see some inflatables. Okay guys, yes, I am so happy to see that there are animatronics set up, animatronics on the floor for sale, and they took the initiative and put up inflatables in places where there should be animatronics that they're not gonna set up. That girl walking just scared the crap out of me. But besides that, here is an inflatable Frankenstein. This is the one we always point out at the other stores, guys. And I'm like, here's the six foot inflatable Frankenstein. Well, here he is. And right beside him, is a very small pumpkin stack. And look over here, we have the inflatable cat with the face. Look at that face, look at the teeth on that thing. Right behind him, look at this guys, they have a buzzsaw. I wish he was set up, but he's not, but that's all right, he's a buzzsaw. Let's check out this one over here. It's man's possessed friend. I have seen quite a number of these Bubba's in the stores this year. That is pretty cool. Okay guys, let's go on through the Halloween factory. I must go through the chains of death. Here we go. Chains of death, will they yell at us? Will they make a sound? Will they scare us? There was no sound in there to scare us. But I already see what I'm buying today. Hold on, let me grab one. Holy crap, guys, look at this. The vintage clown doll. This is the first store I've seen him in. He's mine. Okay, now that I've secured my vintage clown doll, let's go back through the chains of death. And look at this, they actually have Beetlejuice, and he's set up. All right, let's get him going here. Hello. There you go. You look like somebody I care at least. Maybe you could help me get out of here, you know, because <laughs> I got to tell you, I got these friends on the outside that I said I'd be, you know, and that's the kind of thing I have to be there in person, you know. So I'm just wondering, could you help me get out of here? I love how he just keeps talking. He just keeps going on and on and on. All right, Mr. Beetlejuice, looks like you've been using the Aqua Fresh, but you got a little something right there. Okay, let's go on over here and look at this. They have the Crimson Girl, the Crimson Swinging Girl, whatever her name is, but look at her hair. What in the world happened to this girl? She must have been swinging in a hurricane. Oh, look, we have a Grim. He is so cool. He's one of my favorites this year, definitely. Of course, I say that about all of them. Look at this tall, inflatable skeleton guy. Hello, spooky skeleton guy. All right, let's come back over to these guys for a minute. Look at this. They have the vintage Wolfman doll. They have Uncle Charlie. You gotta love Uncle Charlie. They have the vintage clown doll, two of them, because I'm buying this one. They have decrepit Donna, and they have Eerie Emma. Wait a minute, look at this hiding behind Eerie Emma. There's two more vintage clown dolls. Get down here to Evansville, Indiana, if you want to get one. 
I'll have to listen to him when I get outside because there's just too much noise in here to hear what he's saying. Oh, holy crap. Look, guys, I almost gave up. They have one, two, three more vintage Wolfman dolls and two more Uncle Charlies over here. How cool is that? Okay, let's go over and give the uh, Carvomatic a minute here. And, oh, we're missing a pumpkin. They lost one. Oh, and look over here. I noticed they have half a pumpkin going through. Okay, sir, I'm sorry, but you are fired for letting half a pumpkin go through. And you, sir, are fired for having a gap in the line. You're out of here. All right, let's come on back here and see if they have any other animatronics set up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I've only seen this in one other store, guys. It was a New Jersey store. Evelyn Leach. Thank you. She is so loud. Holy crap. All right, let's move over here. And I still don't quite understand it. Like, her husband's head is cut off, so she's sobbing. We have this sneaky guy here. We have this pouting chicky chick with the Princess Leia haircut and a 36 inch animated Reaper greeter. Oh, you can't push the button. Oh, how cool is this? They have the big inflatable archway set up. That looks even better than I expected it ever to. Check this out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven giant pumpkins. And there's like vines growing around the pumpkins making the uh, the archway that you walk through when you go to trick-or-treat. All right, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five empty soul girls on a swing. Show you what she looks like, even though you have seen her a million times. And then we have a, crimson, a creepy crimson girl on the swing. And look what we have down here, guys. It's two burrito babies. The twin burrito babies. You gotta love the burrito baby. If you have a burrito baby, tell me below in the comments. Otherwise, keep on the lookout. Hello, rat. Let's leave some stickers by these hats. Wait, what in the world is this? Here's two masks I have not seen. The seeing double mask, <laughs> what in the world? And look at this one, it's called the droopy mask. Look at his face, look at his eyes, what in the world? Oh my gosh, look at this one guys, it's called eyes on you. It's a face made up of all eyes. These suits remind me of the movie The Santa Claus. What in the world? I don't think I've seen this SpongeBob suit before. Look, it's got a hood. Oh look, I almost missed this. It's a Pennywise door knocker. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these before. Ah oh, crap, the try me button doesn't work either, but that is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we got him going. Do it again. No one wants to play with the crowd anymore. Play a game with me, would you? <laughs> that is pretty cool, guys. I like that. Oh, we got the Michael Myers light up statue with the pumpkin. That is one of my favorites, guys. I love this so much. Every time I see these, I think they're lightsabers. They're actually 48 inch black lights. Like, this is what you'd get if you have the Wacky Mole animatronic so that his candy corn teeth light up in the dark. Okay, let's look at some inflatables. They got the eight foot inflatable light up wolf man. What's this? Oh, inflatable ghost. Inflatable skeleton like we saw up front. Here's the jack-o'-lantern archway like I just showed you. This ginormous thing right here. I actually love that so much. That is so cool. Oh look, here's another hat that's just perfect for some stickers. Okay, let's leave some for <laughs> Evelyn Leach. Maybe that'll cheer her up. I know! And let's leave a whole bunch by Uncle Charlie, even though he doesn't have a bucket. Oh, look at this sweet Nightmare on Elm Street uh, snow globe. That is pretty cool. And they got a Chucky one, too. All right. Yes, look at that. That is sweet. Oh, here's a Beetlejuice one. Okay. Yep, look at that. I like the colors in that one. Oh, they have the Halloween Kills mask. Halloween Kills actually comes out today. Well, it came out yesterday. Like you could see the showing at about 7 p.m. in some theaters, but it really comes out today. Holy crap, I haven't seen this anywhere. A slim wall plaque. Oh, yes.
I like how there's popcorn in the background. Okay, I hear you. Oh my gosh, look at the Killer Clowns patches. They think these are pins, actually, the ice cream truck. Oh, look, kiss me. Not with that mouth, sir. What in the world? And I love dairy. Pennywise hairbrush. We got this vintage guy. Let's see if he works. Oh, there's his sweet yellow eyes. What in the world? I don't know if I've ever seen this one before either. The vintage dingus mask. That thing is creepy. Okay guys, that's it for Evansville, Indiana. I got about a four hour drive ahead of me still. So I am gonna take off. Uh, stick around, we got more states coming. Alright guys, today I am in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and right behind me is a Spirit Halloween that's in an old Macy's. There's the sign, and there is where it used to say Macy's. You can just barely tell. I don't know if you can just get in here from inside the mall, but we're going in this way. So let's go see. Hopefully they have some totally awesome stuff. Ooh, and I'm getting excited. Right up front. They have a waving Wally. You look like a natural for our freak show. If you need a job, I'll introduce you to the boss, but uh, all applicants must be dead. All applicants must be dead. <laughs> you gotta love waving Wally. He's from last year or the year before, I don't remember. Let's see if we can get him going again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy crap, guys. Look what is on Wally. Has good childhood memories of the carnival. Follow me. I promise we will give you some new memories you will never forget. You already did. You gave a memory of a spooky bug. What in the world? Where did that thing come from? All right, Wally. Here we go with the head cut off. I, hmm, I can't think of what her name is. I want to call her Ophelia, but that's not right. Evelyn Leach, that's what it is. I could not think of what her name is. The cut off head, and look at her mascara is streaming down her face. Look, we got a Mr. Howell here for sale. They don't have him set up because I've heard that they were told not to set up any more new animatronics, but it's cool that they do have one for sale. Then over here they have the fogging skull pile right beside Evelyn Leach. Then look what we have over here, guys. Shorty. Okay, Shorty, do your stuff. I think this is only the third store I've been in this season where I saw Shorty actually set up. Usually it's uh, Sam over here and you can't find Shorty at all. Okay. I love his blue shoes. And look, he only has four fingers on each hand. What in the heck? All right, let's head back over here. We need to go through the chains of death. Chains of death we're going through. Oh, and look who's waiting right outside the chains of death for us. It's Chucky in his good guys box. I've only seen these in two stores this season. They have Beetlejuice, but it appears he was just sold and he's getting packed away. Oh, look over here. We have a shorty for sale. And we have a Mr. Howl. Oh, and we have the Spooky Works. All right, there's nobody set up in here, but it is kind of cool that you can just come in here and walk through with the spooky tunnel. What would be really cool would be is if they put some more uh, chains of death in here. That would be sweet. All right, let's go back through this way here and see if we can find anything that we have not seen in other stores. In fact, let's do this guy real quick just because he's cool. Oh crap, he's not working. But here's Ghostface with his knife to gut you like a fish. 
Oh, what do I see here? We got a spiky side stepper. I don't think I've seen him in any stores. Yes. <laughs> Dang, he's he's so loud. Holy crap. Okay. $29.99 for that guy. He is so loud. Let's do it one more time. That is just pure chaos. Oh, and look what we have down here, guys. They have a sweet collection of dolls. Look at this. We got the vintage Wolfman doll. And then we have the vintage clown doll. We got three Uncle Charlies and hugs. Holy crap. All right, let's listen to them. Okay, I got this guy at home. Come on now. That's hilarious. The vintage clown doll is like the least evil thing in Spirit Halloween. Wow. Now that deserves a pie in the face. <laughs> That's like the worst thing he says. That deserves a pie in the face. That's hilarious. A train in the background. All right, let's do Uncle Charlie. Want a little candy? Come on. I won't hurt you much. <laughs> Look at his teeth. He definitely needs the Aqua Fresh. Come here. Take a little bite. You know what you want to. Okay, let's do hugs here. Come on, hugs. I got this guy too. I got all four of these actually. I hope they bring the big animatronic hugs back next year. Wow, you're a fast one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, rat. Whoa, look at that. What in the heck is this? Like a giant scorpion? Yes, it's a huge scorpion. How creepy is that thing? That reminds me of like something off of uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Hmm, okay, that's inappropriate. Oh, look, they have little Sam dolls. I have not seen these in any spirits that I've been to this year. Let's see here, how much is he? $27. It's a Sam doll with his uh, sucker and a bag. How cool is that? They have four of them. We have the Pennywise sidesteppers. Let's set them up here a little bit. Where's the button on? Oh, there he goes. Okay, I've heard enough of you guy. Oh, and we have the Sam side steppers up here too. Look, we have five of them. All right, let's bring one down here a minute. I have this guy at home too. Okay guys, which side stepper is your favorite, like out of all of them? If I had to choose between Sam and Pennywise and the, uh, the spiky one over here, man, I don't know, this guy is totally crazy and chaotic. Let's do him one more time. Jeez. I think that thing would send me into nightmares. So I think my favorite um, between the three is probably Sam. Because Sam is awesome, he's cool, he's cute, and he's Halloween-y. Holy crap, what is this? A light-up trick-or-treat wagon? Look at this! I've never seen this before. And if they had them in any other stores, I certainly must have just like walked by them or something. That is pretty cool. Okay, now these are awesome. Wait, first of all, here's a Halloween mug, Michael Myers, blood dripping around the rim, and it says, have a knife day. I like that one. This one I really like, Halloween too. Look at that, that is so cool and creepy and spooky. It's in the hospital. That's where Halloween took place. I mean, Halloween two 
took place in case you didn't see that one. And then of course they have more mugs down here for uh, the many faces of Michael Myers. Look, excited, sleepy, confused, jealous. That is too funny. Happy, sad, angry, calm. It's all the same face. Look at this, we got the zombie arm pathway markers. I love to see these ones. Look at that. That's like nightmare inducing sounds too. One more time. I like that. That's really cool. What if you had like 20 of these lining your pathway all the way up to your door for trick or treats? We got the hanging phantom ghost. Will it work? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things that these say, things say. There are a couple of them here. Um, well, there's this one here, and then there's a couple of them at Lowe's that say that. Oh, yes, the master will love you. <laughs> That is pretty creepy. Look at that face. It's kind of strange that they don't just have regular chains, like the regular chains of death you could hang from the ceiling. They have the neck chain with this giant thing that goes around your neck and one chain hanging down. Then they have the hooks chain, which is a longer one, but it's got these hooks on the end, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre hooks. And then you got this chain with a hanging bloody foot. Look at that. It's just a stump. Oh, they got two of the big hanging Sams. Those are cool. That head is like the size of a basketball. Oh, look at this, guys. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen this anywhere else. It's the Ghost Face Party Projector. Look at that. It changes color, and it throws the Ghost Face designs all over the walls and the ceiling. That is awesome. I love Ghost Face. In fact, look. I have my Ghost Face shirt on today. Hello, Skull Funnel. Let's leave some stickers by Uncle Charlie and hugs. And let's leave some in the abandoned spooky factory section among the skulls and the spooky bricks. What in the world is this? It's a rainbow face. It's a rainbow hat. You put your head right in here, stick your face out, and you're surrounded by a rainbow. And look at these. There's a shark hat. It's like the shark is eating your head. And there's a banana hat and an avocado hat. All right, let's see what kind of masks they have in this store here. I always hope to see things in these stores that I've never seen before. And I have seen this rag doll, this Raggedy Ann and Andy mask. Um, but I've never really looked at it. It's pretty creepy. Whoa, wait a minute. What in the world is this thing? Look at those teeth. Look, what the... All right, all right hold on. I gotta figure this out. What in the world is this supposed to be like eyes all over this mask and in a very strange mouth with fangs it almost looks like an ant man oh my gosh look it's a vintage robot mask hey there's a button too look at that it lights up look at the mouth <laughs> that's pretty cool this guy creeps me out to the wild eyes clown look at those eyes Oh look, this is almost like a buzz saw. It's not the same as on the prop buzz saw, but it's still a saw on the end of your hand. Pretty cool. Oh look, I almost missed it. They have an Evelyn leech for sale here, right by the door before you leave. Hmm, I was hoping they would have more animatronics stashed somewhere around the corner, but they don't. Oh, but they do have the Uncle Charlie costume. And hugs. And Annabelle. Excuse me, sir, I've already heard from you. And Annabelle. And the butcher. And Chucky. And Freddy, although, hmm, they're all sold out of Freddy masks. They've got like this one down here, and then they got this one here, which is my favorite, Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Of course, they have Friday the 13th. Oh, look, they have a hidden ghost face animatronic over here, too. How cool is that? I almost missed him right beside the ghost face costumes. Oh, what in the world? I don't like devil stuff, but here is one that I have not seen in any other stores, guys. Holy crap. Dead by daylight ghost face. That is scary. Here's a little secret, guys. I don't do eBay anymore, but these 
go for over a hundred dollars on eBay. Oh my gosh, I have not seen this in any other stores either, guys. Look, it's the Despicable Me Gru mask. Look at this, look at the nose. Oh my gosh, and look at this, guys. The real monsters. It's crumb. That is hilarious. That's not even, that's like just a union suit. That's one, one big piece, almost like pajamas. I thought it was inflatable, but it's not. That is awesome. What in the world? They even have Porky Pig. That one is inflatable. Of course, they have Hocus Pocus and Harry Potter and a few Michael Myers things, but this is really the only Michael Myers mask I've seen in this whole store, strangely. Okay, guys, that's it for that one. That is Cape Girardeau, Missouri, inside the old Macy's. Look at this bowl mask. It's like he's saying, say what? At least your mouth isn't sewn shut. My mouth is rotting away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, today I am in Jonesboro, Arkansas, where there is a wiener dog telling me to go in the spirit Halloween. Here it is. I believe this used to be a Pier 1 Imports, but today it's a spirit Halloween. I'm hoping they got their imports because I want to see lots of awesome props and masks and especially animatronics. Holy crap, guys. Who is this I see right inside the door? What? in the living world. I have never seen this before. All right, what's he gonna do? Let's get him doing something here. Come on, Mr. Skeleton Zombie Guy. He's not moving, but he certainly is making ghoulish sounds. <laughs> he looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. Look at this, he has skeleton feet, gray skeleton feet zombie or mummy hands and sort of a zombie face. I like this guy. I don't think I've ever seen him before. If you guys know who that is, make sure you tell me in the comments below. Okay, we don't know who he is, but we do know who this is. Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. There's four of them. They actually have four Beetlejuice in stock. How amazing is that? I guess the imports did come in. Oh my gosh, they have two Barfamets. And yes, I said Barfamet. <laughs> All right, guys, look, they also have two ghost faces in stock. It's a little dark in here because the light is coming in this way, so it's hard to see these things, but those are two ghost faces. And look at this. We have a Henry Hustle. He's a reduced price to 115. I can only guess that he was probably a victim of a TikTok charade. And then over here, look, 150, we have, who is it? It's Maestro and Little Daisy. How cool is that? 150 bucks. It doesn't say that these two are damaged, but I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Henry Hustle, head sits sideways and does not pop up correctly. Okay. And then on this one, the girl's neck is broken. That's almost cool. Oh, and look over here, guys. We have two Evelyn leeches right here. Remember on the movie Stand By Me when all the leeches were on the kids? These are a different kind of leeches. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. They have several Billy Butcherson pop vinyl figures. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And they have a Sam, and they have two shorties, and they have two, who is this? Love Ranger. What in the world? Cue the Barry White. Okay, let's traverse over to here. I was hoping that there would be some more animatronics sitting out. I know they're not setting them all up right now. Oh, look at this though. They have chains of death just randomly laying among the spooky bricks. And look at this. They have a whole bunch of shorties clubs in stock. Look at this guys. They have the light up ghost face costume. Wait, light up ghost face mask here. All right, let's try it out. 
Oh, look at that. That is cool. I kind of wish that his eyes would light up too, but that's still cool. So far, I'm liking this store, guys. Let's see what else we can find. What in the world? They have like a billion and a half astronaut helmets. Everyone wants to be an astronaut this year? Look at this, I've seen this white ones before, but look at this one here. This has a different color, like a blue shield, and I've never seen the black ones. And right over here at the side, look at this, we have another ghost face. Posable dummies, we have Chucky greeters. Empty soul girl on a swing, they always have a whole bunch of those. As well as the creepy crimson girl on a swing. Another posable dummy, another Michael Myers greeter. We're gonna look over in this section in just a minute, but let's see if there's any more animatronics over here. Dang, they don't have any set up over here. There's not even the skeletons that are up above telling us that we're fired. But there are plenty of spooky bricks and chains of death and clipboards and I don't know, whatever these things are, blueprints. Yeah, lots of random uh, spooky bricks and chains of death laying around. And I guarantee that these are gonna be for sale at the end of the season. All right, let's go look in this section. Hold on, right here on the end, we have a ton of Sam Groundbreakers. How cool is that? This is only the second place I've seen the trick-or-treat wagon. All right, we got a couple of Sam sidesteppers here. Let's do them both. These are the best when they're both going at the same time. Okay, I've heard enough of you, sir. Scary gargoyle pathway marker. Burning skull pathway markers. Hello, rats. These are cool, these skeleton candle holders. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. For all you bad word sayers out there. Look, we have a couple more animatronics here. Okay, we got a night crawler. He is reduced to a hundred bucks. Catches when going back down. I bet that would be an easy fix for only a hundred bucks. And we got a Hauntress here, 65 bucks, dang. Does not work, okay. Decaying Zombie Groundbreaker. There's three of those. Cracked Skull Zombie Groundbreaker. Let's see if he works. Oh, yes. Look at the green eyes on him. We got a Pose and Stay Skeleton. We got the Light Up Balloons from Pennywise from the It movies. I love those. That looks so cool. Ooh, we got some Flaming Pumpkins here. These are really cool. The flame stands 23 inches tall. They have four of those. We have Mr. Arrow in his head and Mr. Barbed Wire around his face. That is one ugly face. Get that tongue back in your mouth. And welcome to Skid Row. <laughs> we got a whole plethora of zombies here. Excuse me, ma'am, you need a serious new hairdo? We got the kicking clown here. I love those legs kicking around. Mr. Vintage Frankenstein with the yellow light up eyes. The vintage devil with the yellow eyes. The scary shaking nurse. I think she's scared because she just got fired because she wouldn't take her COVID shot. Sorry, nurses. Yeah, that's some serious bull. Look, it's like this guy had this guy in a headlock and he gnawed his arm off. Hello, other rats. Oh, I almost missed the whole stack of jumping spiders. Sorry, guys. I never meant to hurt you. All right, let's take a walk back in this little section here. They have the Malachi knife from Children of the Corn. They have the blood curdling knives. I think we just looked at these in like Walmart or something where the blood runs through them as you turn them. Look at this bull mask. It's like he's saying, say what? At least your mouth isn't sewn shut. My mouth is rotting away. <coughs> oh look, they actually have a Phantom of the Opera mask here. Somebody asked me about one of those a while back and I haven't seen one until now. Check it out. I don't think I've seen this one before either, guys. The Jolly Wally mask. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I know, right? All right, let's leave some stickers over here by the clipboards. And let's leave a whole bunch of stickers by this fine fellow, even though I don't know who he is. I'll see you later, sir. All right, guys. That is it for Jonesboro, Arkansas. I bought some cool stuff, but you'll have to stick around to see what it is later on. There it is one more time, and let's say goodbye to the wiener on the road. <laughs> I told you to stay away. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Holy crap, guys. Look at all this stuff over here. Oh my gosh, there he is. The elusive Johnny Punk. All right, guys, let's do it. One, two, three. What are those? I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> what are those? All right, guys, we are on the move again, and this time we are in Tennessee. We are in Memphis, Tennessee. Holy crap, this is where Elvis Presley lives. In fact, I spent all day yesterday at Elvis Presley's mansion. I got to see his airplanes, I got to see his cars, I got to see where he lived. Holy crap, it was awesome. But today, we are here for this spirit Halloween. Look at this place. I'm not sure what it used to be, but it doesn't matter, because all we care about is spirit Halloween. Let's go in and find some awesomeness. Dear spirit Halloween in Memphis, Tennessee, Tennessee, please have some major awesomeness. Oh, and I see major awesomeness upon entering. Look at this, guys. I'm so excited. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. They have all the baskets out looking like an awesome pumpkin patch. I wonder if we wait right here, if we'll see the great pumpkin rising from the pumpkin patch with our own eyes. I don't know, but what I do see is Beetlejuice. Holy crap. Come on. Here we go. You look like somebody I hear it late I got these friends on the outside that I said I'd be, you know, that's the kind of thing I have to be there in person, you know, so I'm just wondering, can you help me get out of here? It's like the kind of thing where I have to be there in person. <laughs> All right, let's move over here because we also have Buzzsaw. How cool is it that we have a Buzzsaw? Come on, Mr. Buzzy. Come on, Mr. Buzzy. Okay, he's apparently not going to work, but oh, here he goes. Now I see it. I saw it too. Okay, he's working. Let's get him going again. Don't forget to duck, uh, or you'll be a dead duck. Uh, don't forget to duck, or you'll be a dead duck. I don't think I've ever heard him say that before. All right, one more time. Come on now. You ever have an itch that you just can't scratch? Scratch it with this. Here. Let me help you <laughs> I love that he's here and he's actually working good. And look at this. I never noticed before, but look at his mouth. Look, look at like half his lip is ripped off or something. And it appears that that's actually how it's made. I thought maybe somebody just reached up there and ripped the lip off, but I guess not. All right, Mr. Lipless. One more time. Big fast. You have to be faster than that. <laughs> All right, let's go through here and see what else they have. I love the giant chains of death, but they also have the chains of death in here. Let's go through. Are you going to yell at us or send a train? Come on, chains of death, do your stuff. Okay, that was weird. There was no sounds triggered as we went through the chains of death. And look at this. I hadn't seen this before, but look how they spelled spirit out of all the little uh, spirit of children things. When you donate, you get to put your name on one of these stars. So every store I go into, there is one that says that Nate guy on YouTube. Okay, let's make our way to the pumpkin carve -o matic and see how these guys are doing. Do we need to fire them or are they doing their job? This guy is working correctly, but he's kind of lazing on the job. Job. All right, looks okay. Let's check out this guy here. Oh, all right. He's inspecting the pumpkins very well. Good job, mister. Guys, there are lots and lots of animatronics for sale on the floor here. We're going to get to them in just a minute, but I want to see what else they have set up first. Do they have Sam or Shorty set up? No, that's a bummer, but oh well. Let's pick this guy up and put him back where he belongs. Who is that anyway? I think that's, I think that's Jumbo. Correct me if I'm, no, that's not Jumbo. Is that Shorty? What the heck? Yeah, that's Shorty. That's Jumbo down there, and there's Shorty, and here is Spiky. Hello, Spiky. And there's Slim. I got in trouble because one day I called Slim uh, Jumbo, I think. <laughs> Everybody called me out. Okay, let's head back here and see what other animatronics are set up, and I see some good ones. Look what we have here. Holy cap. Okay, hold on. I just said holy cap. What I meant was holy crap because we have a Crunchy Bones. Come on, Crunchy Bones. Crap, she's not working. Come on, please. Please, Crunchy Bones. All right, she's not going to work, but they have her. I'm sorry you're not working. I still love you. Let's try the Harvester. Come on, Harvester. Here we go. Uh-oh. He said, now that I have you, and then it stopped. So apparently your soul gets saved this time, little girl. 
Okay, what's next? Oh, all right. Let's get her going here. What? She's missing one eye. I must have read the map wrong with my one eye. Whatever you do, I'll be right there with you. You can't escape. You can never, ever escape. <laughs> Especially with only one eye. I'm so sorry, Ophelia. Maybe you'll get one eye back someday. And we have Evelyn Leach. <laughs> I wish she said something. I don't know what it would be like, oh dear God, they cut off my husband's head. And what in the world is this? It's like a piece of Velcro on his head. Is there supposed to be something on his head that I'm missing right now? It looks like these guys are supervising correctly. Good job, men. And let's see what's over here. Oh, look, it's the spooky ladder. <laughs> I don't see a step pad anywhere. Let's see if it's set up. What should the spooky ladder do? Hey, I gotta entertain you somehow. Okay, let's head over this way, see what else we can find, guys, before we look at all the animatronics that are for sale on the floor. Okay, look at what we got here, guys. We have three Barfamets in stock. Look at this, one, two, three. Barfamet. I don't like you. But I do like Mr. Howl. Ow! And they have the Pennywise sewer grate. I've only been able to see that one set up and working in one place. Actually, I guess it would be two places because I totally forgot to do it whenever I was at the New Jersey store and everybody called me out about it. Everybody also called me out when I accidentally called Pennywise Sam the other day. <laughs> I know, you're not Sam, you're Pennywise. Get back to it. <laughs> okay, there's more up here. Wait a minute, let's not commit the crime of not going through the spooky chains of death. All right, up to the back here. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this whole line of awesome animatronics. And first off, we have a Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Then we have Ophelia. And look, she has two eyes. Then we have a Buzzsaw. Then we have a Crunchy Bones, Miserable Murray, and a Evelyn Leach, and a Harvester of Souls. This appears to be, maybe this is just all the boxes. Yeah, I think these are just all the boxes from the animatronics that are set up around the floor. All right, let's go back over this way because I thought I saw some more animatronics over here, but maybe not. We do have a whole bunch of Sam stuff though. There's an awesome hanging Sam in which I love. They're getting low on the Friday the 13th stuff, guys. But they do still have a whole bunch of Freddy Krueger stuff. The claws, they have a couple of different kinds of claws here. They got the sweaters. They have, um, oh, they got a couple of masks here. I don't see the Freddy Part 4 mask, the one that I like so much, but they do have two of these. And wow, they are pretty sold out of Michael Myers stuff too. I don't see any Michael Myers masks. Well, except for this one right here, which is, I don't know, that actually looks pretty good even though it's just a half face mask. You do have the awesome inflatable Oogie Boogie costume. That is sweet. I just saw these start showing up in stores. And look at the sandworm costume, guys. I don't think I've seen this before either. This is awesome. It's like a one-piece unitard or whatever you call it. <laughs> okay, let's go look at this spot right here. Look at this. Here's the Pennywise I was just playing with right on top of the sitting Sam doll. I would love to buy him right now. They have three, six, nine Sam ground breakers. I love him too. That head is like the size of a basketball. And I'm pretty excited about them having the vintage Wolfman doll. One, two, three of those and they have the vintage clown doll one two two of those at least and they have uncle charlie one two three four of those it's been difficult to find the crouchy dolls though everybody's asking about them and i've only seen them in maybe two stores maybe they do have a shorty pop over here though he's pretty cool looking and they have the slim wall plaque up there but he's a little bit too high for me to try out hello rats we got four Sam greeters here. I'd love to have some of that popcorn right now. I am one hungry boy. We have the trick-or-treat light-up wagon, which has also just started showing up in stores. Sam's light-up pop lollipop strings. I almost called them Polly Pops. Speaking of pops, we do have a couple of the Sam Pop vinyls up here. These are cool. 
We have this chick who's eating cockroaches, and then we have Miss Throwing a Fit. I think that's what I'm gonna name her, Little Miss Throwing a Fit. Look at that face. If this was my kid and she ever looked at me like that, I would spank her so hard. <laughs> then we got this ugly guy up here with the snakes all over him. I think his name is Ronnie Rebel, if I'm remembering correctly. But I'm kind of thinking Snakey Blake would be better. Yep, that's it. From now on, your name is Snakey Blake. Snakey Blake and Little Miss throwing a fit. Holy crap, guys. Look at all this stuff over here. Oh my gosh, there he is. The elusive Johnny Punk. All right, guys, let's do it. One, two, three. What are those? Oh my gosh, guys, they don't only have one. They have two Johnny Punks. Excuse me, Mr. Myers. I need to move you for a second because this guy down here, I have to tell him something. And what I have to say to you, Mr. Punk, is what are those? And you know what else I have to say, guys? One of those is coming home with me today. There is absolutely no way in this world that I can leave here without buying a Johnny Punk. Holy crap, okay, I gotta catch my breath. I'm so excited about Johnny Punk. Who, who would have ever thought I'd be excited about a Johnny Punk? But we turned him into something cool with the what are those. Okay, let's get back out a little bit here. Look, we have an Evelyn Leach for sale. We have a Johnny Punk like I already showed you. Hi, Johnny. Then we have Ophelia. We have a fogging phantom. In fact, we have two fogging ha phantoms. We have a 36 inch animated greeper that doesn't work. What the? I called him a greeper. It's a reaper greeter, not a greeper. What in the world am I talking about? We got another one here. We got another fogging phantom. Let's see what's behind Johnny. Another and another fogging phantom. And then we have the Michael Myers Greeter. Oh, we also have a Sinister Spirit Doll. Okay, let's take a look here. Both the Johnny Punk packages have been opened, it appears, and resealed. So, I don't know, man. I'm gonna buy one, but I just hope he works. All right, whew, I gotta calm down here. Let's take a walk around the store, see what else we can find, and then we'll come back to the Johnny Punk. Let's take a walk down here through Skid Row. Oh, look at this. I never noticed this before. There's a Mr. Little Clown and a Mr. Big Clown. If you can't tell on the video, this guy is small, and this guy's like twice the size. He's more like uh, life size. Like, his head is about the same size as my head, because I have a little head. And this guy <laughs> is like a shrunken head, like from Beetlejuice. We got these guys who definitely need the Aquafresh. And then we got this guy here who gets my vote for having probably the worst breath in Spirit Halloween history. He just looks like if you could smell his breath, you'd have to puke afterwards. Blech. I'm sorry, sir, I don't mean to make fun of you. I just mean that you could benefit from some serious mouthwash and maybe a stick of Juicy Fruit, I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how stupid I am in here talking about the Juicy Fruit and laughing my butt off in front of a whole bunch of people who are watching. All right, let's keep looking here. Look at this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six creepy crimson girls on a swing. Look at this, we have a grim tabletop gargoyle. I don't think I've ever seen this guy at all and he's not working, but we also have the animated gargoyle. See if he works. Dang, they need some batteries. I bet you anything that his wings flap. That is pretty creepy. We have the skulls upon skulls upon skulls. Skull, oh, it's broken, somebody broke it. Okay, look, the top comes off and you can put cereal in there. Haunted Cap and Crunch. Pennywise door knocker, let's see if he works. Play a game with me, would you? <laughs> no, thank you. Man, they got a lot of cool stuff in here. I'm having fun in this store. Oh, I love this. Welcome to Haddonfield. Have a nice day. That is awesome right there. Here's another welcome to Haddonfield sign, but I think I like that one better. That is sweet. I love the colors in that thing. Lots of Madame Leota throws. I don't think I've even looked at this yet, but... Pretty cool, what's that? Oh, it's a different Haunted Mansion one back there. Look at that, it's shaped like a bat. Whole bunch of Billy Busherson Pops, Pop Vinyls. I think that's Funko's, all right, yeah, that's the brand. I don't think I've looked at these yet either. Hotel Transylvania Dracula, what in the world? That is, that's heavy. It must be the mask that's so heavy. Hmm, okay, that looks pretty cool though. And Mavis, okay, that one's kind of heavy too. What in the world would be in here that would make it so heavy? What in the world? I don't think I've seen this yet. The inflatable Yeti, that is officially one of my favorites already. And you gotta love Grandma. 
Okay, let's leave a couple stickers in the marshmallow bucket here. Beef Boss, you better watch yourself because I am one hungry king of the world. I could eat you right now. All right, even though she's not working, let's leave some stickers over here by Crunchy Bones. And let's leave some for Ophelia, even though she only has one eye right there on the spooky bricks. And of course, we're going to leave some over here by Johnny Punk. We'll put them there because I'm not sure which one I'm going to get yet, but I'm definitely going to get one. All right, guys, that is it for Memphis, Tennessee, Spirit Halloween. Memphis came through with the Johnny Punk. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. All right, I'll see you guys later. What are those? I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are those? All right, guys, we are on the move. Today we are in Mississippi, South Haven, Mississippi, at this Spirit Halloween end. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look what just pulled up out front an entire truck, and I am hoping it is awesome deliveries of masks and props and animatronics and all kinds of awesome things. Okay, let's go in and see what they have. I don't see a lot offhand, but I am so excited that there is a truck outside, so hopefully they will be delivering all kinds of awesomeness. Let's go through the Chains of Death. Hello, Halloween Factory. Chains of Death, here we come. Chains of Death, we love you. You didn't yell at us, Chains of Death. Let's go back through the pumpkin floor of death. Okay, looky here, guys. I do see that we have an Evelyn Leach here. Let's see if she works. Come on, Evie, give me what you got. Lift up the head of your husband. Look at the eyes, how they're like bloodshot, but they're yellow. Very strange. Okay, Evie, go on with your honeymoon with your husband's head. Okay, let's check out the pumpkin carve matic and what in the world is happening over here. These guys are definitely fired. Look, we got this guy over here just loafing on the job. He looks like he's like looking at a laptop or something. The pumpkins are moving through this side, but they've paused over here because apparently this guy has fallen asleep. You're both fired! And we don't have Sam or Shorty either, but that just means that there is prime real estate waiting for whatever lays on that truck. We do have some awesomeness right over here though on the floor that is for sale. Let's take a look at this stuff. We have a Chucky's Good Guy doll, the life-size Chucky right here. They only have one, at least from what I can see. We have two of the sitting Sam dolls. These are some of my favorite Sam things ever. We have two ghost faces just waiting for someone to come by them. We have one, two jumping spiders, then a jack-o'-lantern archway inflatable, and an Evelyn Leach, and a Henry Hustle. Henry Hustle is a big favorite this year. All right, they got some cool stuff set up over here. Let's take a look. We got a Sam Groundbreaker here. We have my favorite doormat ever. Welcome, have a knife day. Oh, we have three more Sam Groundbreakers here. That's cool. Then we have four Sam Greeters. Gotta love the Sam Greeters, man. Ooh, it looks like they have a good selection of dolls here. First, we have Decrepit Donna. Hello, Donna. I like your face. Then we have one, two, three Uncle Charlies. You gotta love Uncle Charlie. He doesn't have a bucket, but he's still Uncle Charlie. <laughs> okay, then down here I see we have a Hugs doll, Hugs rules, we got a vintage uh, Wolfman doll, and look at this, behind him we have the vintage Clown doll. Yes, they have a very nice selection in this store. I'm still on the lookout for a couple more of those dolls, and when I find them, I'm gonna buy them. I like the layout of this store. Oh, look here guys, we have not one but two burrito babies. Holy crap, you gotta love the burrito babies. So many people have found these in their stores. If you found one, make sure you post a picture with your burrito baby on the Facebook page, that Nate Guys and Gals. And look here, we also have one, two, three, four, five, six Spider Biter Billies. You gotta love Spider Biter Billy. Look, he's got spiders all over him and he's eating the spiders. He's even got one right here. Okay, now. Looking at this, I'm trying to decide which spider would drive me the craziest to have on me. And it would probably be 
either this one because his legs are going up the nose or this one right above the eye oh and look over here guys these are starting to show up in stores we couldn't find them for a while but it's the double-headed cat dog zombie. You gotta love these things. When I was thinking about these before I could find them, I was thinking that there was like a dog head on this end and then the cat head way down here where the butt would be. But I was wrong. This is how it is, wait a minute. But I was wrong. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, look at this. This is kind of crazy. We got a whole bunch of Ghostbusters proton packs here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them right here. And then down the way, there's like 12 more. What in the world? They are definitely ready for everybody who wants to dress as a Ghostbusters. And look at what we have right here, guys. We have the experiment number four. I wonder why he's hiding here in the corner. He's $99. I'm tempted. Hello, rats. Oh, look at this, guys. This is so cool. Okay, in other stores, I have seen Adam a million times. The hanging Adam from Beetlejuice. But I don't think I have yet to see Barb. Look at this. Look at how the eyes are in her throat at the back of her tongue. That is hilarious. Oh, and she's holding the handbook for the recently deceased. That is awesome. They have two of them. And that's the first time I've seen her in any stores this season. We've got Ghostface and this plethora of ghouls waiting to haunt us. And what is with the octopus bones? What in the world? Like, does an octopus even have bones? Especially in his tentacles? We have the toe-tapping clown shoes. I love how it honks every time he taps his shoe. That's hilarious. We got the hand grabber mechanism, the lollipop string lights, the inflatable skull, the six foot inflatable skull, the eight foot inflatable wolf man. Okay, let's see if we have any animatronics over here. So far, I don't see any. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, okay, at least we have Wacky Mole. What in the world? His hand has fallen off. All right, he's not working anyway, but that's just funny how one of his hands has fallen off. That needs to be prepared. I'm sorry, Mr. Wacky. We'll try to get your hand repaired very soon. The skeleton supervisors aren't even talking to us in this store. Excuse me, sir, you have a couple of guys up front who need fired. At least they have the headless skeleton over here so you could get a picture with them if you wanted to. What is this desert raider mask? I don't think I've seen that one in other stores, but it looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Bane. Hmm, I may have never seen this one either. The dark clown foam mask. That one's kind of cool. His face is gray. All right, we got to find somewhere to leave some stickers for friends of Nate. Oh, look, there's a random discarded cat dog over there. And you know what? Speaking of the cat dogs, let's leave the stickers right here. We're going to leave them all right here by the cat dogs. So if you come into this location, they're right there by the cat dogs. Oh, yes, I see they have some pop vinyls here. How cool child's play chucky i passed him up in the one store i just might have to buy him today and look at this they have billy butcherson you gotta love billy butcherson i kind of wish they would put out a pop final of just billy butcherson's head look at this they have an animated mini head from the conjuring Ooh. okay that's spooky oh wait there's a couple more pops over here oh okay it's just a couple more of the Billy Butcherson ones. That's okay, I was hoping they would have more. Usually they have a whole bunch. Krampus must not have been a very big hit last year because this is the only thing of Krampus that I've seen. I mean, I've seen a couple things in other stores, but usually if they're do-gooders, then they uh, put a whole bunch up. Oh, we almost missed the light-up balloon from Pennywise. Where's the button? There it is. I love it. And the talking clown door knocker. <laughs> Looks like he needs the aqua fresh. Bloody industrial light. Hmm. Okay, it kind of flashes. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in here before. Hello, other rats. I was hoping they would have a Billy Butcherson's head, but if they had it, it would be in this area right here, and I don't see one. Oh, how awesome is this? They do have the Oogie Boogie inflatable costume, though. That is cool, and I don't know if I've seen that in any other stores. Oh, look, they have the slim wall plaque. Let's see. Yep, he works. Listen to that thing. That's hilarious. Another one back there. 
Okay, Slim, we've heard enough. They have the Chucky Good Guys hammer and they have the Chucky ruler for murdering. Lots of Sam costumes. And look at this. I don't know if I've seen this one, the crossbody bag for Sam. That is actually pretty cool if you're a chick. Okay, let's look at experiment number four one more time. I'm very tempted to buy it, but I just don't think I will because it takes up so much space and I live in my RV. <laughs> I say that all the time, but I do. I live in my RV, so I can't buy the big props. I have to buy small stuff. Sorry, cat dog. That counts you guys out too. And I already adopted one of your brothers, so that means that these two are going to stay here for another lucky fellow. Oh, look, this used to be a Gordman's. All right, guys, that is it for South Haven, Mississippi. And I confirmed with the checkout girl that the truck that was just sitting out here is now around back unloading lots and lots of awesome Halloweeniness. So if you want it, get over here and get you some stickers, too. I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs>I'm not even kidding, guys. It's like a maze in here. Holy crap. Look, people are just hanging lone baskets. Or is it haunted? Is it the haunted basket that's for sale? Mom, I want to be a basket for Halloween. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are those? All right, guys, today I am in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Does that mean everything's free at the Spirit Halloween? There might be something special happening over here because, first of all, there's a lady with a small scarecrow hat on. <laughs> but there's been a long line waiting to go in this particular Spirit Halloween. Now there's not, so I'm going in now. Okay, we've been cleared to come in the store, and holy crap, guys, I see tons of awesome stuff. Let's take a look all around the store. And right inside the door, I see an Ellie hatchet. This is the first time I've seen Ellie hatchet this year. Holy crap. And that is the last one left. I was just told that everything that is on the floor in here is the last that they have left of all of it. That includes Evelyn Leach, who's actually set up right here, and she actually has her hand on his head. Somebody had to tell me what that little piece of Velcro was for in there, because I didn't know the other day, but there it is. Let's see if we can get her going. Here we go, cry me a river. I saw another prop online where it was like a headless bride. It just makes me wonder if that one was based on this, even though that's the headless groom. Okay, let's come check out the Wacky Mole. This one seems to be all together. Remember the other day we were in a store where, like, his whole hand was busted off or something? Okay, come on, Mr. Wacky, come on. All right, he's not where... Oh, here he goes. He tried to trick me. He's not moving, though. He's talking, but he's not moving. Okay, Mr. Candy Corn Teeth. Yeah, then we have Ophelia right here. And she is working, because I can hear the ghoul behind her talking. Let's get her going again. Oh, look, and this one, she has both eyes. Remember in the store yesterday, she only had one eye? She read the map wrong with her one eye. Listen to how she whines. She's just in shock because there's a scary ghoul behind her. And then over here we have a Pennywise sewer grate. I'm glad some of these actually started showing up in stores because you just couldn't find them anywhere at first. This store is super busy, guys. But look at this. We have a Night Stalker right here. And holy crap, for some reason, he's 25% off. I would be willing to bet that there's something about him that doesn't work. They usually write it on the box when it doesn't work but I don't see anything except 25% off. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is insanely busy today. They're actually having a line outside because there were so many people in the store, 120 people. Let's see what else we can find. Oh my Lord, guys, look at this. I'm not even kidding. This place is so busy right now. Way up there is where you pay. The line comes all the way back here and over around. How crazy is that? And how crazy is it that I just found three more Evelyn leeches? How cool is that? One, two, three and there's something on here oh holy crap no i did not just find johnny punk in the busiest store in the whole sector 
What are those? If you didn't see, I actually just bought Johnny Punk the other day. I'm going to be putting him together very soon, so stay tuned. But right below him is the Sandworm Greeter. I love this guy, and I love candy corn. Oh, look at what we have here. We have Uncle Charlie. There's one, two, three, uh, and a vintage clown doll. I have both of these guys. Oh my gosh, I am sweating like a pig up in this piece. Holy crap, look at this, guys. This is the first place I have seen this costume. It's Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe they actually have this. They also have the Barnacle Boy costume, but it looks like that's really all they have for SpongeBob. Oh look, they have the Joker mask with the chin that moves when you talk. Oh, well, I think it moves. I can't make it move. <laughs> it must be on lock mode. I'm not even kidding, guys. It's like a maze in here. Holy crap. Look, people are just hanging lone baskets. Or is it haunted? Is it the haunted basket that's for sale? Mom, I want to be a basket for Halloween. Oh, look, I've never seen this before. They have multicolored spider webs all in one pack. Orange, green, and purple. And there's the white. They have the vintage hanging devils. Ooh, his eyes are yellow. They have the hanging kicking clowns. There's a whole plethora of them over here. Look, they're all kicking. This small child over here just pushed the button and said, look, this is me in school. <laughs> <laughs> we have the shaking reapers. That, oh, they're not shaking. Are you gonna shake? He's not shaking either. We have the green-headed clowns. Oh, there's the blinking eyes. And oh, look, we have the green-headed, big-headed clown. The green-haired, big-headed clown without a button. I'm sorry, sir. No button, no fun. And who is this spooky character? He's a green-headed clown, too, but he's missing one eye. We can't forget about the Reaper with wings. He's not working either. Or the hanging vintage monsters. What is it with one eye in this store? Look, his eye is lit up over here, but not over here. He also read the map wrong with his one eye. We have pumpkin carving goop scoops. We have the Pennywise light up balloon. Ooh, it's actually working. They have these shorties here, but whenever I push the button, all that happens is that this little light comes on on the side. I don't know what else he's supposed to do, but none of these ever appear to work. And if that's all they do, that's kind of lame. Wait, look, he has no nose. Where's your nose, shorty? Oh, this guy must have taken it. Holy crap, guys, there's so many people in here, it's not even logical. It's totally illogical. Let's try to escape down this aisle. Wait, what in the world? Look, here's monster bolts that you put on your neck if you want to dress up like Frankenstein. That is actually pretty cool. Wait, look, I just found all the eyes that are missing. What is this, a security scanner? Okay, if you're gonna dress up like a security guy, I guess. Ooh, here's some evil pliers if you want to dress up like an evil dentist and rip out some teeth. This ghost mask over here reminds me of the wow -Oh toy factory at the beginning of the Scooby-Doo movie. Wait, have we seen the vintage mummy mask in other stores? I think we have, at least in one store. That is sweet. I love the colors on that. And look at this, it's a vintage jolly ghost mask. He is a jolly soul. This is the perfect music for these costumes. What kind of hat is this? Giant Russian figurehead? Is that Drago? Excuse me, sir, please use the air freshener. Here's plenty of baskets, but there's one problem. I forgot the stickers. What's wrong with me? What in the world? It is Baby Patrick. And it's a Baby Strongman. I don't think I've ever seen so many people in one spirit store at one time. But I do see Hugs the Clown. And this one's called Big top terror but he kind of looks like he could be hugs little brother eddie pooter holy crap i found my costume it's he-man wait maybe i want to be fred flintstone and marion could be wilma or i could be shaggy it's like uber creepy in here oh hey uh how you doing there Ruh -roh. oh look at this i've never seen this before it's the vintage cat crossbody bag look at this killer clown chick look at the look on her face that is hilarious Oh, and they have Uncle Charlie with his bucket. I wonder if the bucket actually comes with it. It doesn't appear to, so you'd have to get your own bucket from the flower factory and paint the words free candy on it, and then I will give you stickers to put in your bucket. I've never seen so many children running around with weapons and actually getting scared. I guess that means I need to dress up like a chicken. <laughs> All right, guys, I've seen just about everything there is to see in there, but let's take a look at these babies first. Wait a minute. Something is very strange about this spider biter Billy. 
what in the world? He's like squishy and his face is different. I'm sorry, Spider Biter, I just had to squeeze your head for a minute. That That is even creepier than the other ones. This one feels the way it should. Her head doesn't squish, but his does. How weird is that? And then we have Snaky Blake. Does your head squish? No, your head doesn't squish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in a store trying to squish baby heads. Oh look, we almost missed this. There's a wacky mole down here. How cool is that? And a Sam Groundbreaker and a whole bunch of inflatables I didn't see. And they have the talking clown and the talking pumpkin door knocker. Are you gonna talk? Oh, he's just barely working. Let's try this guy. Nope, he's not working either. They must be worked to death. <laughs> All right, Mr. Halloween Factory, I'm gonna leave you alone. There's way too many people in here and I am hotter than a pig. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs>
You gotta love half a head Jack. But wait, there's more over here. I noticed that there are a couple of animatronics over here. Oh, great. Hello, Barfamet. I'm glad I can't hear what you're saying because it would all be barf. But here's one that I do like. It's the Scream. Is he gonna jump and scare us? I see you have your knife to gut us like a fish. But what in the world is up with this hand? Okay, mister, you're scary anyways. We'll catch you later. Oh, and down here we have Snakey Blake. Look at you, you little snaky fella. I think you deserve some stickers. All right, let's get back to the animatronics that are on the floor. Let's start over here because this is where we were earlier. And of course, we have another Snakey Blake. Hello, Mr. Snakey. Of course, right back here, we have the four foot inflatable light up eye, one eye. I must have rather map wrong with my one eye. And look at this, we have Shorty right here, but there's a 25% discount because his sound box is broken. Hmm, I wonder how difficult it would be to fix that. Oh well, all right, let's look over here. We have a black and red jumping spider. We have the eight foot inflatable skeleton. We have a fogging phantom. What in the world have I seen this in other stores? I think maybe one other one. He looks pretty cool. We have a ghost face here. I wonder why he's taped closed with yellow tape and a clearance sticker that says $5. What in the world? And oh my lord, look who's hiding behind them. It's the candy creep. They have a candy creep, guys. $329, how cool is that? Get down here and get it. Then on top of that, we have a flaming pumpkin and a clown toe tapper, okay. Another ghost face here. Oh, and we have another flaming pumpkin back here. More clown toe tappers here. A couple of reaper greeters. Look, we have two more fogging phantoms. They're so awesome. And then we have an experiment floor. How? Experiment four. I called him experiment floor. But look, he has a discount of 25% off because it has a broken motion sensor. Hmm, okay. Let's venture over to the side where we have another ghost face, okay? I heard you, sir. I heard you before. No talking. We have two Evelyn leeches. A Hauntress, yes! We have the Sandworm Greeter and three Sam Groundbreakers. A whole stack of flaming pumpkins and another animated doll greeter. What in the world? Now he's talking? Do it again, sir. Now he shuts up. How strange. Oh, look, they have Evelyn Leech set up over here. Okay. Here we go. Hello, mister. There you go again. I'm done with you, sir. Excuse me, supervisor. Could one of you take care of this fellow down here? Hmm, I'm having trouble finding the dolls. There's always at least one in each store. I think they overshot on the astronaut thing this year, though. Maybe I just don't get it, but why would there be a huge demand for astronauts this year? They do have a good collection of these hanging spookies, but I want to find the dolls. Where in the world are they? Do they have Billy Butcherson's head? No, I do not see it. And I don't see Sam's candy bar either. What a bummer. I'm still on the hunt for these dolls. I cannot believe that I can't find any of them. I cannot believe they don't have any, guys. They just must be completely sold out. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. A blood psycho mask? Look at that, half his nose has been sheared off. You know, it really surprises me that they don't have a Johnny Punk mask in here. Even though Johnny Punk is not the greatest thing ever, this is sort of like him. I could always buy a mask and repaint it like a Johnny Punk. But I really don't even see any that resemble him very much, like his facial features. Wait, this one is actually pretty close because he's got the tongue out. You'd have to rip off the hair. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really see any. Ooh, that's a spooky guy. That would really work for it. So maybe I'll keep it in mind for later. Oh my gosh, here's one I don't think I've ever seen. The Wrestler Pick Me Up. Look at that. It's like Nacho Libre. All right, I think that's just about it, guys. I don't see any dolls. I was hoping I would. I was hoping I would find one that I don't have yet. But uh, I guess that's it for this store. So we're going to take off. Stay tuned because we still have some more left. Halloween is not quite here yet. and a tiny sign. What in the world is up with that? <laughs> oh,
Alright guys, today I am in Asheville, North Carolina, and I came all this way just to go to this Spirit Halloween back here that has the smallest sign I've ever seen. Look at that little tiny thing. What in the living world is going on with that? I am definitely going to have to Photoshop a bigger sign in there for the thumbnail. All right, that was one seriously long, tiring drive, but I'm excited to go in the Spirit Halloween and see what kind of awesomeness they have. We're nearing the end of the season, so it's anybody's guess what we will see in here. They actually appear to still be pretty packed, but I don't see any animatronics yet. So let's make our way around the store here, see if we can discover anything totally awesome. And yikers, this is the smallest Spirit Halloween I have ever been in, guys. Let's venture back here and look in every crack and crevice to see if there are any. Ooh, I thought that was some animatronics, but it's not. It's a billion astronaut helmets. <laughs> Let's keep on moving here. Every corner, every crack and crevice. See what we can find. I don't see any animatronics, guys. I don't think I've ever been in a Spirit Halloween that didn't have at least one. Amazing, this is definitely a first, but we're gonna look at all the other awesome stuff. Starting with Michael Myers. I really like this mask. This is the 2018 mask. I don't see a Halloween Kills mask, although it might be somewhere else in the store, but here's the original. Let's just compare these two. I love the original movie, but honestly, I kinda like this mask better. But here is Halloween 2. That one's really not too bad, but in the movie, it looks horrible. I like this Michael Myers shirt. The Boogeyman, it says. Ooh, and I love these socks. I don't know if I've seen these socks in any other store. I actually bought these. I don't know if I've worn them yet, but I have them. And uh, these I haven't seen in any other store, though. Those are pretty cool. This shirt, I don't know. I do like it, however, I wish it was like fall colors surrounding him, that would be much better. Then right beside Michael Myers, we have Pennywise. This is actually a pretty cool mask, even though it's just the thin plastic one. I don't see any others though. But again, there's a whole mask section. So we have the new Pennywise, the Chick It, and the old Pennywise up here. Ooh, we have some Adams Family costumes here. And then right beside that, we have all the Sam stuff. Now, here's the light-up lollipop. Let's see if it works. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool. But the one thing everybody keeps telling me to find is his candy bar that you open up, and it has a razor in it. And I haven't seen that anywhere yet. Now, this is cool. We got a whole bunch of Chucky outfits here. And this is a pretty cool mask, actually. I like this mask. Um, we got the awesome hammer. And look at this. We got a knife that I am not sure I've seen in other stores. I think this is pretty cool. Hello, rats. Oh, look, they have the Sam lollipops that you can actually eat. I haven't seen these in a lot of stores. I think these sell out pretty quickly. Look at this, on the other side here, they have more Chucky stuff. And look, another knife that I don't think I've seen anywhere else. This one's called the Voodoo Knife. It's only $7.99. That is a pretty cool Chucky knife. Now here's the bleeding ghost face machete, which is kind of strange because I don't recall him ever using a machete in the movies. But look at that, that one works really good. The blood drains if you hold it like this, and then when you put it like this, it drains back in. That is actually working pretty cool. That's probably the best one I've seen of those. Look at this, this is a light up ghost face knife. It's not, probably needs batteries, but you push the button here and the blade lights up. That is pretty sweet. Oh, look over here, they have the baby head on a stick. This is the weirdest walking stick I've ever seen in my life. And he's one-eyed. He must have read the map wrong with his one eye. So here's all these astronaut suits. I'm seeing a ton of these in the store this year. And I think somebody told me that the deal with these is that they're probably pretty popular because of Among Us. But I don't know for sure. Is Among Us a game? I'm like... 
out of touch. <laughs> I'm like way out in space on these things. All right, here is their mask section. Let's check this out and see what all they have. Look at this. I think I've looked at this before. It's called Seeing Double. She has two sets of eyes. It's one of those digita, uh, digit eyes skull mask. You press the button and their eyes are kind of like the... Uh... Okay, well, it's not working. But it's... Oh, here it is, yeah. Are they going to move? Yeah, there they go a little bit. Do you have to move the mask? Very strange. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Grimm, or at least the workers. Okay. Look, this one's called El Wire Doom Mask. Oh, that's pretty cool. That would look awesome in the dark. If you can't see it, those wires are flashing. That is awesome. Okay, I don't see any more uh, Michael Myers masks or Pennywise. That's kind of what I was looking for over here. I thought that was Pennywise for a minute, but it's not. It's better than Pennywise, though. It's Crouchy! Look at that! How cool is it? Look at those teeth. He needs some serious Aquafresh. And look at this one over here. His name is Smiley. I don't know if we've looked at him before. Oh, wow, that's, that's really thick, actually. Usually the rubber on these is really soft and pliable, like on this. But this one is really, really thick. That's a good mask. I wouldn't want to wake up and see this guy staring at me at the end of my bed. You can go right back to your home, Mr. Smiley. Oh, and here's the vintage ape mask. And then down here they have, well, let's see, they have the vintage werewolf and this, the vintage clown mask. I bought the vintage clown doll, if you guys remember, or maybe I haven't even shown that to you yet. I don't know. But, uh... He is actually pretty cool. He's like the least evil thing in this entire store. Oh, and here's Nighty Knight. Let's see if his, yes, his jaw actually works in this store. Hello, Nighty Knight. Hello. This one cracks me up. Look, it's called Sweet Doll Mask. But what is sweet about that? Holy crap, look behind it, guys. We have a vintage vampire mask. I don't think I've seen that in any stores. That is awesome. And what in the world is this Botox disaster? Let's leave some stickers in Marshmallow's trick-or-treat bucket. Oh yes, you gotta love the Halloween sound machine. <laughs> Creaky door, I think. Mr. Howell. That really would be so cool if they had one of these Halloween sound machines that had, like, buttons for different people's, uh, different animatronic sounds, like Hugs and Mr. Howl and stuff like that. That would be awesome. Here's a witch hat. <laughs> okay. Spooky music. What's this, an owl? That was an owl? Okay, that's... Not any owl I know of. A ghost. And what's this one? <laughs> Crazy laugh. Okay, there you go, Halloween sound machine. Okay, we have some purge masks here. This kind of reminds me of Squid Game, actually. Which is, I don't know, I can't decide if I like Squid Game or not. It's kind of stupid. But I've made it through, like, I don't know, four episodes or something so far. Butcher Knife. Meat Cleaver. Machete. This one cracks me up. The Evil Medical Tools. Like, if you want to be an evil doctor and actually kill your patients for Halloween. <laughs> what in the world? Look, you can either be the bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos or the Cheeto itself. Oh, here's more Purge stuff on this side. Look at this. You gotta love old Abe. Okay, let's come over here and look at these clown weapons for a minute, because these are actually pretty cool. First is this awesome knife here. Look, it's like an upside-down, deadly, smiley face. We got the... Oh, it's a bleeding uh, machete with clown dots on it. That works pretty good. All right, let me get the striped handle on there. But this is my favorite right here. Look at the teeth on that thing. Clown Cleaver is what it's called. Look at that thing, man. I think if I could have one weapon from this whole store, it would be this. What in the world? A candy cane axe? Uh, oh, it's a tiny heart. Right, hold on, let's try it. Oh, crap. I wanted to see that light up. Look, it's got Christmas tree lights, 
twisted all the way up and it has the big Christmas tree lights here. I don't see the inflatable Patrick, but I do see inflatable SpongeBob. And I'm thinking somebody on my Facebook group posted a picture of them dressed up like Patrick and SpongeBob. Excuse me, sir, could you not poop right here? Okay, so I love the inflatable Garfield. I love the inflatable Porky Pig. I love, love the inflatable Gizmo. But I think if I were going to get one of the inflatables, it would be this balloon animal. I've showed you this guys in several other videos and I love it so much. Look at how shiny it is. That is cool and it reminds me of Nightmare, or what is it called? Night at the Museum. Nightmare at the Museum. <laughs> However, I also love the inflatable dinosaur and the inflatable Snoopy. That one is pretty cool. Oh man, I could totally go for some cookies and milk right now. Lots of Ghostbusters costumes and stuff, including the inflatable Stay Puffed, which is also one of my favorites. Look at this. It's a Monsters, Inc. purse trick-or-treat bag or something. It says Scarer of the Month. That is cool. Oh, look at this, guys. It is a Gremlins decal, a Gizmo decal. I would love to put that on my car. All right, let's make our way back over here. Oh, this is cool. I don't think I've seen this before. I've seen the suit that's all pumpkins. Whoops, I'm about to drop it. This one is called Bloody Skulls Suit, though. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I haven't spent a lot of time looking at the vampire stuff, but if you wanted to dress like a vampire, they got some pretty cool outfits here. Look at this one right here. Victorian Vampirus. That is pretty awesome. This is another Victorian vampire. This one kind of reminds me of Panic at the Disco. But look at this, the accessories are pretty cool themselves. They got lots of uh, top hats. This one almost looks like it's lace. And then we got the vampire goblet, vampire blood. Oh, look at this, the armor ring. That reminds me of Freddy Krueger. Look at that, you put your finger right in there and it bends with it just like Freddy's claw. And we get these fangs down here. I love these because they actually look real. And speaking of Freddy's claw, they have a couple of different kinds here. This is the one I would buy if I were looking at this one or this one. But this one has like the bendable claws on it so nobody could actually get hurt. This reminds me of My Chemical Romance if it were black. Welcome to the Black Parade. Here's a Jason mask I haven't seen in a lot of stores. I've seen this one down here in several stores and then there's just like the uh, the other one that's kind of soft and pliable but this one here i have not seen in a lot of stores pretty cool this is only 17 bucks and there's a lot of people on youtube who take these and then they make them look exactly like the masks that were used in the movie they do a really good job too pretty cool there's also this one which is only like six bucks if you wanted to get one just to play around with that wouldn't cost as much as the other but it would be pretty easy to get the paints just to make this one look like this one at least and then you could dirty it up and put like a blade cut in the top and stuff look at this guys it says squishy mouse i seriously thought it said squishy moose for a minute holy crap those are squishy Reminds me of the baby head in the other store. All right, here's a couple of cats that appear to need some stickers. There you go. All right, guys, that is about it for Asheville, North Carolina. They had a lot of costumes and stuff in there that were packed with that stuff, but amazingly, no animatronics whatsoever. And a tiny sign. What in the world is up with that? <laughs> I told you to stay away. Oh God. <laughs> Holy crap, they've even got rainbow poop. What in the world kind of monster poops rainbows? Oh, it's definitely this guy. Or maybe it's this guy. Or it could be this girl. Excuse me, miss, did you just poop a rainbow? I told you to stay away. Alright guys, today I am at Westgate Mall in Spartanburg, South Carolina, where I have heard that right inside there between those two thingies is a Spirit Halloween. Somebody asked me the other day if I ever get sick and tired of going to Spirit Halloweens, and this is why I do not, because they all look totally different, and this one looks totally awesome. Look at that. I don't have any idea what this used to be, but I don't care because I just want to go in and see the Spirit Halloween. I am totally exhausted because I drove five hours to get here today. Am I crazy? Maybe. 
But is Spirit awesome? Yes. What? That was very strange. The door wouldn't even open. Oh my lord, this place is enormous, guys. Which is hilarious because the one I just went in in North Carolina was absolutely tiny. The smallest one I've ever been to. Oh, hello, mister. Or is it Mrs.? I've never bothered to ask. Look, this is funny. They have three name tags down here and not one of them is correct. The correct one is Barfament. It's not Headless Jack. It's not Mr. Howell, and it's not the Hauntress, but this one over here is experiment number four. Let's see if we can get him to jump out. Come on now. Come on, mister. Come on, Mr. or Mrs. Mr. or Mrs. He's not working. <laughs> I'm stomping on this thing in front of about a thousand people in here looking like an idiot. That's okay, I'm used to it. Plus, I see more awesome animatronics over here, guys. Wait till you see these, but first, let's go through the chains of death. Chains of death, here we come. I love you, chains of death. It's the chains of death! Oh, you can definitely tell it's nearing the end of the season because everything's falling apart. Look at the floor in here, holy crap. And there's not many chains of death, only a few that could kill you if you walk right into them. Are you going to kill me? Are you going to kill me? I'm giving you a chance. Okay, find him out. Holy crap, even the pumpkin carvomatic has seen better days. Look at this, guys. This sir over here is missing his hat. Excuse me, sir, you're not in uniform and there are no pumpkins here. And then this guy over here, his hat is falling off backwards. Excuse me, sir, could you please straighten up your hat? And there are no pumpkins. What is this random ring? It looks like Cthulhu. Okay, so let's look at some of these things that they do have here for sale. We have the green light-up inflatable eye. We have Harriet Hustle. Holy crap, guys, we haven't seen her in a lot of stores. We also have the light-up inflatable six-foot skull and a headless jack as well as the wolfman and the skeleton and on the other side holy crap look at this guys we have all kinds of awesome stuff we have a mr dark yes he is my favorite this year we also have a pennywise sewer grate he's not very good but he is great we have one two fogging phantoms two ghost faces, and another Pennywise. We have the jumping spiders. Oh crap, what do I see here? Look at these dolls, guys. I'm so excited because it is the elusive Crouchy. Look at this, I actually found a Crouchy, holy crap, and a Good Times doll. I don't know if I've seen him in any stores this year. Oh, Crouchy is missing one of his uh, soft little button things, whatever that is. And this package is pretty messed up. At least he works though. All right, Mr. Crouchy. Look at this, we have Uncle Charlie. There's one, two, three Uncle Charlies. Then there's a vintage Wolfman doll. There's two of those. And up here there's another Wolfman and another Wolfman and another Wolfman behind him. And then the vintage clown doll. He's one of my favorites. He's the one that I was saying the other day where he's like the least evil thing in the entire store. And I'm gonna show you why. It's because the things he says is things like, you deserve a pie in the face. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so stupid. Okay, let's listen to what he says here. Come on. I was made for fun. I was made for fun. Yeah, he said, I was made for fun. Come on, let's go. I'm the happiest clown on earth, here to be your best friend. Catacomb gargoyle cloth? What in the world is this? Oh, okay, so you hang it across trees or something, and apparently it has four or five of those faces. All right, that's kind of cool. I don't think it does anything, but decaying zombie groundbreaker, they got two of those. Creepy crimson girl on a swing. We've seen a million of those this season. Holy crap, guys, look at this. This entire part of the Halloween factory is absolutely abandoned, which makes it kind of spooky. We do get to walk through, and oh, okay, these are still working, so you get to see what's happening in the factory, but there's no animatronics. What in the world is up with that? Yikers, this place is pretty jumping tonight. Who wants to be poo? Mom, can I be a poop for Halloween? What in the world? I don't think I've seen this in any other stores. Sanderson's sister ceramic mug. That is pretty cool. I wish it was a Billy Butcherson head though. So I know we've looked at this before, but it catches my eye every time because of that awesome green color. It's Oogie Boogie saying roll the dice and there's a couple of red dice. Oh, looky 
here we have another Barbara. I think this is only the second store that I've seen her in. Look at this. Look at how the eyes are in her throat. That is gross and also cool. We've got the Pennywise door knockers. He's difficult to hear, but he's cool. I know what this store was. This definitely used to be a Dick's Sporting Goods, because look at all the things, the signs up on the wall here, and this down here, the makeshift basketball court. I definitely recognize that. Do you recognize it? How about you? I know you recognize it, because your head is shaped like a basketball. I recognize it because I got shot in the head in the aero department. Look how many Frankensteins they have. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of you, sir. And holy crap, look how many aero arrowheads they have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think they have 13 of them. What kind of expert marksman could shoot 13 zombies in the head? Is it with poop costumes this year? I don't know, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> what in the world is this? A Night Stalker mask? That's not the Night Stalker I know. Wait, he's got a button. Let's see if he works. Crap, he's not turning on or anything. He's pretty cool, but he's not the Night Stalker we know. Holy crap, they've even got rainbow poop. What in the world kind of monster poops rainbows? Oh, it's definitely this guy. Or maybe it's this guy. Or it could be this girl. Excuse me, miss, did you just poop a rainbow? Hello, rat. Oh, we almost missed these guys. It's Little Miss throwing a fit and Snakey Blake. All right, I'm just curious. I have to see if they have squishy heads. No and no. What was up with that one that had the squishy head the other day? That was like off the chain. <laughs> we also don't have Sam or Shorty, but just for good measure, I'll leave some stickers right there. Oh, we missed a couple things over here too. Look at this, guys. We have a whole stack of Sam groundbreakers, a whole stack of flaming pumpkins, the sinister spirit doll, the animated reaper greeter, and the animated doll greeter with one eye. And of course, we have a barfo. Met. I'm really surprised we're not seeing more of these vinyl pop figures in the stores this year. Look, they have a raptor and they have a love ranger. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. All right, I still have a whole handful of stickers. Let's draw, so drop some in the chains of death. Let's leave some for Beetlejuice. All right, guys, I think I've seen enough of this store. I can't even remember where I'm at. I've been to so many of these places, but that's it for this store. I know it's in a mall. I think it was called Westgate, and I know that I'm in South Carolina. But anyways, I'm out of here. Stay tuned, because we still got a couple more before Halloween comes around. Stay away! We have the Sam Inflatable, and oh, somebody sneezed. God bless you. Was that you that sneezed? If so, I think I need the Lysol. I'm glad I'm wearing this mask, because that guy definitely has the COVID. I told you to stay away. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> what are those? Alright guys, today we are in Greenwood, South Carolina, and peeking out from behind the tree in the distance is an awesome looking spirit Halloween. Also, my generator just quit working and I'm not very happy about that, but I am happy about the spirit Halloween. Look at this. This is kind of cool. I like the shape of this, how it's smaller at the bottom and it gets bigger as it goes up. All right, let's go in and see what kind of awesomeness they have inside the Spirit Halloween. And holy crap, they have a bunch of animatronic setup, guys. Mark this day in history. Greenwood, South Carolina, I am so proud of you right now. Yes, this is what we want to see when we come into a Spirit Halloween and see the Spirit Halloween factory. Look at all the animatronics they actually have set up. Guys, I love hearing all of the animatronics at once going absolutely ballistic. All right, let's start with Beetlejuice because I hear him saying things I haven't heard before. Yeah, every time I record Beetlejuice, he says the same thing. Hold on, we're getting another one. All right, Beetlejuice, do it again. I'll get to you, and I'll get to you. We can't even hear him. It's so chaotic in here right now. I love it. All right, Mr. Spidey, let's get you going. I've missed you. Come on, I've missed you, sir. Come on. What in the world is this guy waiting for? Come on, mister. Wouldn't that figure. He was jumping at me a minute ago, now he's not doing anything. You're disappointing me, Mr. Spider. Come on, 
do it, do it, do it. Look at this, he won't even jump at me. What in the heck, he must truly be haunted. All right, sir. Every time I try to hear him, Mr. Scream jumps at us. All right, I'm paying attention to you. I see that you have your knife to gut us like a fish. All right, let's go on over to this side here where we have Buzzsaw. Look at this, first of all, if you bought the Buzzsaw, you would definitely have to fatten him up because he's got the big clothes to be fat, but he just looks like thin, especially from the side. Let's look at him over here. Come on, Mr. Buzzsaw, I'm trying to see the side. Look at that. <laughs> he's skinny from the side. But look at this, he's working. How cool is that? And I have a really evening all over this place. <laughs> he's working really good, actually. He even keeps moving once he shuts up. See, look. Okay, now let's see. There he goes again. I saw that. I saw that. I love how all of these are on the sensors. So they just start moving whenever you walk by. Okay, waving Wally. I haven't seen you for quite some time. Yikers, that almost got me. You look like you're <laughs> if you need a job, I'll introduce you to the boss. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> look at this. He's just constantly trying to saw my face off. I'm trying to listen to Wally here, if you don't mind, sir. All right, one more time, Wally. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least we get some laughing from Wally while this guy's trying to buzz saw my face off over here. All right, here's one we haven't seen in a piece. It's Mr. Howl. Look at his teeth. He needs the aqua fresh. He is a giant fellow. Look at the size of those feet, man. Imagine getting kicked in the head with one of those. You'd be out for a week. But look at the head. He could squish your head with those hands. All right, mister. I want to hear you howl one more time. Let's do it. Look at those eyes. Oh, you spooky fellow. Ha <laughs> ha You got to love Mr. Howl. All right, we got Wacky over here, too. All right, Mr. Wacky. I'm stepping right up. <laughs> I'll be first on my block to say Wacky Mole needs some Aqua Fresh. I love it so much, guys. All of them are just going at the same time. I know I hear you, Mr. Howell. All right, look over here, guys. We have a waving Wally here. And then we have a Harvester of Souls for sale. He's a big one. We have a Fogging Skull Pile over here. And a Wacky Mole. Oh, and look what we have over here, guys. Holy crap, it's a whole plethora of evil babies! We have this guy that we've seen in almost every spirit. I can never remember his name. What the heck is this guy's name? Oh, Gorious George. <laughs> That's what it is. He is gory. Then we have Little Miss Throwing a Fit. We have two of them. And look at her eyes. Look at this. I never noticed before, but her eyes are like reflective. How evil is that? Take your evil eyes and go back in. You're going to get a spanking. I told you to clean up your room. No more spirit Halloween. Ah, so all I have to do is clean my room and I get to go to spirit. This will be easy. Maybe they'll buy me a harvester of souls. <laughs> Wait, so all I have to do is stop munching this hand and it'll take me to spirit after I clean my room. I cleaned up all my snakes. Can I go to spirit Halloween? Woohoo! We get to go to spirit! Oh my gosh, you gotta love the babies, guys. Look at this. It's like a big toy store in here. That's why we love this place so much. And holy crap, speaking of toys, look what they have here. I cannot remember, guys, if I bought the vintage Wolfman doll. I know I got this guy. I Did I get Uncle Charlie? I don't even remember. I have bought so many things this season while I've been in these stores, and I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff. Oh, look at this. Hello, rat. And hello, cat. And hello, uh, that. Look, guys, it's a big scorpion, but it looks like a face hugger from Aliens. Ah! And look at this. We also have, oh, we have two hugs, but look at this one. It's like he's sad. It's okay, Mr. Hugs. You can go back to murdering soon. We have lots of posable dummy props. And look at this. This one's destroyed. It looks like this guy got hungry and tried to go after the dummy. Oh, we have the super bouncy Sam head. And two side steppers. Sam side steppers. Here we go. It's always best when you get them all going at once. Okay, mister. 
There you go. We have the Sam Inflatable. And look, somebody sneezed. God bless you. And we, <laughs> we have the Flaming Pumpkin. Some random guy in spirit saying God bless you to a sneezer. Was that you that sneezed? If so, I think I need the Lysol. I'm glad I'm wearing this mask because that guy definitely has the COVID. Whoa, look at this. I almost missed this. We got the spinning head Harlequin over here. Ooh, she is super spooky. Let's get her going here. Yes. She is super spooky. We have the Pennywise sidestepper. You crazy laugher, you. Oh, and we almost missed Stay Puffed here. I've seen a couple of these in stores this year, but I have not seen the Slimer. The Slimer with a butt. Okay, here's their section of masks. We'll come back to that, but we're gonna go over here first because I want to see if they have any more animatronics set up anywhere. I, ooh, well, over here. Okay, hold on. It's not an animatronic, but it is a fogging skull pile. All right, let's keep on looking here. I like to look all around the store because you never know, there might be animatronics in some of the cracks and crevices around here. Speaking of cracks and crevices, what in the world? It's a shrunken head. I have never seen the shrunken head in stores before, guys. You, sir, are coming home with me today. That would go so perfectly with a Beetlejuice setup. Okay, let's just come up here and look at this for a minute. You could get the Beetlejuice animatronic right here. You gotta love this guy. And then you could come back here and get one of those dummies we're always looking at. Sorry, sir, you didn't get me. All right, let's go back here a second. Right here, the poseable dummy. You could get a poseable dummy, rip off his head, and put the shrunken head on his shoulders. <laughs> what in the world? Holy crap, that's the biggest baby head I've ever seen. Look at this thing. It's called a huge heads crying baby mask. What in the world? This guy thinks it's hilarious. Oh my gosh, look guys. The smallest head in spirit next to the biggest head in spirit. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this guy before. He's just called Halloween Clown Mask. Look at that. He's wearing a little top hat. What do you think about it, Mr. Chicken? He actually kind of sounds like Mr. Howl, <laughs> a howling chicken. Oh, look, we have the crying baby, and then we have the happy baby. What in the world? Here's one I've never seen before, the sloth mugger hugger inflatable. It's a sloth that rides on your back. <laughs> I love that, man. I am actually so tempted to get that. Oh, this is a sweet hat right here. The good guy's hat. Oh, look what they have up here too, guys. They have, what is this thing called? I can't even remember. The voodoo knife. I saw this for the first time in a store just a couple days ago. And this one too. This is just, what's this called? Just the Chucky knife. I saw this for the first time in a different store the other day too. Look, we have the slim plaque here too. I love that sound. I wish like his tongue would go. And we also have the spiky side stepper. That is one crazy evil laugh coming from that guy. Oh, this is cool. Look, it's a whole pack of seven scary socks. Oh my gosh, they have the beef squatch costume from Bob's Burgers. Look, this wig is called Mr. Suave. Look at this. It's Chucky's hat from Rugrats. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh man, I would buy this shirt in a split second if it was my size. Krusty Krab Pizza, that's what I'm talking about. This is also one of the coolest costumes in here, guys the South Park Kenny costume. It's inflatable. And look at this one. It's Barney. Back in the day, all the kids watched Barney, but today they watch Nate. Oh, and you could get the purple hairspray if you wanted to dress up like Brick Thunder. Look at this. We got a zero jewelry tray. That is so cool. The only jewelry I have is my wedding ring, and that never comes off, but if it did, it would go in the zero jewelry tray. What in the world is this? It's like an award for being the Sanderson sister. You like me. You really, really like me. I love this sandworm right here, but I especially love the Beetlejuice sign right here. It would go perfectly with the shrunken head. Oh, and here's the Beetlejuice tombstone. 
This reminds me of Midge Munster. I think she did a whole setup in her yard of Beetlejuice. And speaking of Beetlejuice, look, we have the mask. We have a sandworm cane here. That is totally cool. And look at this. I don't know if I've seen this in other stores. It's a recently deceased handbook crossbody bag. That is pretty cool. And I love how they have the Lydia costume too. That's awesome. Holy crap, they even have Beetlejuice teeth. I wonder if they glow in the dark. All right, we're gonna leave some stickers with this evil plotting guy. And a few right here by Sam. And Mr. Buzzsaw has done so well at trying to cut my head off this whole time that we're gonna leave a whole bunch down here. Of course, Mr. Howell deserves some too. Here you go. I know, say thank you. Aw, oh, you're welcome. The real question is, will you still be watching that Nate guy when he looks like this? What in the world? All right, guys, say goodbye to the ghouls and goblins one more time. That's it for Greenwood, South Carolina. Holy crap, it is pouring down rain out here. Excuse me, sir, you not only have snakes on your head, you have a foot on your head. I told you to stay away. Guys, what in the world? I just had to find a place to park this monster at this enormous mall in Augusta, Georgia. This is one of the biggest malls I have ever seen in my entire life. And now we have to trudge over this way across these roads to get to the Spirit Halloween that is right there. What do we love? We love Spirit Halloween. What in the world? Part of the sign is coming down and it is pouring rain, so let's get in there before I get soaked. Here we go, Augusta, Georgia, Spirit Halloween, and I have no idea what this used to be. This way to so much fun, it's scary. All right, I'm excited, guys. I'm hoping there's some awesome stuff in here. Excuse me, ladies. Okay, here hey, we go. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Awesome. All right, guys, this is a pretty big store. I don't see any animatronics, but that doesn't surprise me because people have been told not to set them up anymore. Okay, guys, let's take a walk around the store and see if we can find any animatronics that might be on the floor for sale because you just never know. Over this way I do spy some jumping spiders. You gotta love the jumping spiders. There's a black and red, there's a black and there's a brown. There's one of each. Holy crap. This is a pretty busy store today guys and it doesn't look like they have any animatronics but we're gonna look around and find some of the most awesome stuff that they do have. Starting with the Ghostbusters. Look at this. They have eight proton packs and two inflatable stay puffs. They have the ecto goggles and the PKE meter, the Ghostbusters rubber gloves, and the Zedmore jumpsuit. And look at this sweet party pack here. It comes with cups and napkins and plates. If you were having a Ghostbusters movie night, that would be awesome. Look at this here. You string this across your living room and it says, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Look at this, guys. These must have been in the later deliveries, the voodoo knife from Chucky, because I've started seeing these pop in the stores right near the end of the season here. I am still waiting for the new season of Stranger Things to come out, and they do have a good selection here, but my very favorite is this one. Scoops Ahoy! Okay, look at this, guys. This is awesome. They have all these Sam costumes, including the deluxe Sam mask. Ooh, that's... Wow, that's rubber inside there. But what I like the best is these Sam plush figures. These are so cool. This is only like the second store I've seen these in. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Here's some pins from Trick or Treat. They have the Holly Ho candy bar with the razor blade. And look at this, we have lollipop earrings. Speaking of Sam, I love this reversible plush throw. This thing is awesome. It's super soft and it's huge. That's a little bit too big for for me, plus I bought that Scream one, so I really don't need another blanket, but that is awesome. Look at this, I don't think I've seen this. Michael Myers goblet that says every day is Halloween. That is awesome. Oh, and we have the spiky side steppers. Do they work? Come on now, here we go. He is the craziest guy ever. A haunted mansion book? What's in the welcome foolish mortals and look at this this is 
This is Winnie from Hocus Pocus. Oh, it's a bank. You put the money in her head. Here's a blanket I haven't seen, a vintage Halloween fleece. Look at that. That is sweet. A pumpkin, a cat, and a skeleton. Ooh, we have the vintage Wolfman doll. Yes, let's see if he works. Yes. He sounds kind of like Mr. Howell. Look, we have a hanging bloody foot hanging on the chains of death. And we have a hanging bloody arm on the chains of death. Excuse me, sir, you not only have snakes on your head, you have a foot on your head. And look, Little Miss Throwing a Fit has her head turned like she's pouting like, I don't have a foot on my head. Felt emo might delete. We've got the purge. You gotta love old Abe. And somebody was just telling me about this one, the vintage dingus mask. Apparently they have one of these at another store and it's misspelled. Look at this one, it's just called Funny Dude. What's funny about it? The big gap in his teeth? I have a gap in my teeth, is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I like cats and all, but what in the world is up with this creepy thing? I totally need to buy this captain hat to wear when I'm driving my RV because it's like I'm driving a big boat. Okay, so here's the Fortnite pumpkin launcher. That actually reminds me of a show that is on every year called Pumpkin Chunkin, where they throw pumpkins with a big machine. It's pretty cool. Then of course they smash. I don't think I've seen this marshmallow suit anywhere. It's like a marshmallow vampire. What in the world? Okay, this has gotta be the strangest costume I've ever seen. A garbage truck. What in the world? Holy crap, guys, the best costume ever double dare contestant what in the world does it come with a helmet it does it comes with a helmet and everything it's the blue team look it's chucky's glasses we saw chucky's hat in the other store and here are his glasses how hilarious is that chucky is the best he's scared of aliens i'm not even kidding when i was first looking at that i was trying to figure out what it said i thought it said potty shirt Let's leave some stickers for the Ghostbusters. Let's leave some stickers for Marshmallow. Oh, this is still one of my favorite costumes ever. He-Man. Tattered tights, okay. I swear guys, I can stand here looking at all these costumes, but when I'm hungry, all I see is the taco. Not the banana, the taco. Not the pickle, the taco. What in the world, inflatable bamboo? Excuse me, sir, your face is yellow. I think you really need to get to a doctor. Okay, Marion wanted me to find her some vampire teeth because she's gonna be doing like a makeup thing for Halloween on her channel. Oh, I should get her these. She would not like it. I could get her these, but I think what she actually wants is like a full set of vampire teeth. What in the world is this? You take a pill and turn into an evil scarecrow? Okay, we have these or these, but only the top have the actual fangs. So this down here would probably work because it's just the top with fangs. That's four bucks. She did not want to come in to pick out her own. Maybe I'll get her both sets just so she can choose for herself. That's only three bucks. These are cool too. I really like these. It's only two fangs though. That's only five bucks. All right, I'm gonna get them all three for her. I should get her like some of those ginormous hillbilly teeth. Ooh, maybe I should get her a wig too. Maybe I should get her a toilet. Guys, look at this store. It is absolutely hopping in here. Who in the world is this jolly guy? Taco. Let's look at these trick or treat bags a minute, starting with this one. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. That is sweet. Friday the 13th. Then we have from Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters. A, a taco! Oh my gosh, it's another taco. I swear, I'm so hungry for tacos right now. What a wonderful nightmare from Nightmare Before Christmas. And look at this one, killing it. Oh, look at this guy hiding over here. It's the cat dog. And Mr. Kicking His Legs. There he goes. Oh look, we have a talking reaper door knocker. Oh crap. Oh, he's, he's trying to work. Look at his eyes flashing. He's not quite there. You could use some aqua fresh. Guys, I haven't seen any rats in this store. What in the world? We got a couple of pops here. They're both Fortnite, Bright Bomber and Cuddle Team Leader. Look at this, it's a Krampus magnet. Tis the season. But what in the world is that evil teddy bear? Oh, we have the Raptor here. Hello, ghost. Here's a sweet mystery machine keychain. One day I want to actually own 
a mystery machine. That would be sweet. Drive around to all the spirit stores with a mystery machine. Ooh, it's the Love Ranger again. And we can't forget the loot llama. Snitches get stitches. You gotta love the bags of critters. Look, we have 30 black spiders here. And this one is all glow spiders. There's only 18 in there, but those are cool. And look at this. We have mini snakes. Look at this bag. It's Oogie's turn to boogie now. And let's leave a whole bunch of stickers for the cat dog. And one more pile of stickers right inside the door. All right, guys, that is it for the Spirit Halloween in Augusta, Georgia. That was fun, but it's time to go. It's getting spooky and dark, and my home on wheels awaits. I told you to stay away. Oh, God. <laughs>